on this wonderful Monday morning, Monday the 25th of March, and welcome to Sewing Street. Um, we have a wonderful treats for you in store today. Liberty, can I just say? Liberty, we have a brand new Liberty collection and a special prize. But to start off with, um, we're going to do the early bird. So, fab early bird for all you felters out there. There we go. Tweet, tweet, Dances tweet. Left, so. There's the early bird. So what we've got for you today is this fantastic mega bundle of felt. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at all these colours. All of these colours. Now, each piece is, is that six inches or eight inches? Nine, because I'm very good at estimation. Nine inches square. And look at all the colours. 40 sheets so there is every color you want you've got all the purples and the blues and then we move into petrols and teals and you will actually get all of these colors it's not like a random bundle you will get a nine inch square of all of these colors so if you so what's the oh, what's the price for this right so the what was the that's going to night so was 39.60 going to 1989 so if you love felt applique or maybe you do you make little felt purses maybe you work in a school or a group and you do crafting um, this is absolutely perfect look look at all of these maybe you make little felt animal brooches or something or you're going to do Christmas decorations you have got all of these or maybe you're making wreaths I mean look even just like the reds there's four of them you're actually saving more than you're spending. So those are all those colours. And then we look, we've got blacks. We've got one, four shades of grey. We've even got all the brown. So if you're doing animals, you've got lots of shades of brown here. Um, greens, earthy tones. Um, this works out as 49 pence a sheet. We've got three flesh coloured tones here. So if you do doll making, it'd be ideal for that. And look at the pinks. All of that. 40 sheets, each one is nine inches square. I'll just open another one out for you. 19 pounds and 89 pence. That's amazing. So that's the Mega Felt Rainbow Bundle. So what a fantastic thing to kick off our Monday the 25th of March show. And it's not random at all. You will get these colours because this is a specially collated um, bundle for you. So you will get all of these colours. None of them are repeated. Every single colour is different. £19.89. That's amazing, isn't it? Um, and you know, like when you just want a little bit of felt for something, and I know a lot of you do felt wreath making and felt applique, and it's having all of these different shades makes quite a difference. So maybe you want to do something in purple and having those close shades i love all of these earthy tones because i know a lot of the a lot of you do um felt animal we've done the felt animal books where you can make little dogs and cats and birds this would be ideal just for i mean there's just the those are just like your neutral earthy tones look at these and there's loads of i mean you can get felt applique just a little bit of felt decoration Quarter of the stock has gone already. That's in a couple of minutes. Amazing saving. You're actually paying 19.89 and you're saving over 19 pounds. So that's basically half price, isn't it? They're just gorgeous, aren't they? Love that color. Isn't that lovely? Ooh, that's nice. Now I'd put that with the orange. How lovely are those together? But isn't it lovely to just have all of these colours um, when you're doing little bits of felt applique? Or maybe you just want to personalise something. If you've made somebody a, a bag or a little pencil case, you can so easily, what I would do is print the, the name out or the letters that you want and cut them out. So you can print them into whatever font and what size you want and then print, um, cut them out. You could even trace them onto Bond Web and press them into place. Or if you didn't want to use Bond Web, you could just draw around them and cut them out and the really quick and easy way. Maybe you're making like dap bags or um, plimsoll bags for school and you want to be able to personalise them. Perfect. So look at all of these colours. Oh, I've just found the other purple. 
I thought there was more than one purple. So let's do purples first. So for any of you who have only just tuned in because you're waiting for the kettle to boil, this is our early bird, £19.89 for 40 sheets. They are all nine inches square. And look at the colours. So we've got purples, we've got blues, We've got navy, royal, petrol, denim, aquamarine. And then if we move into the greens, we've got emerald green, um, bright, maybe fur green, emerald green, very luminous green, lime green, yellowy green, mint. And then if we move into the oranges, you've got loads of oranges here. You've got really super bright like tangerine lighter tangerine, pale orange, you've got that mustardy orange, a yellowy orange, oh there's another green, put that one in that pile, um, reds, we've got burgundy, Christmas red, bright red and what's quite nice, look at that, we've even got two shades of red, so one is a bit more orangey, so if you're doing realistic natural looking things, whether you're doing animals, um, or birds or flowers, you've got so many here, you know, if you're making flowers, look at all the different petal colours you've got. Here's your flesh coloured tones. You've got light pink, neutral and um, more of a skin colour. Um, we've got three different shades of grey, light, medium and dark and black. And then these are your earthy neutral tones. Look at all of these, all of those. So. Get this while you can, half, over half the stock has gone, £19.89. Each sheet is nine inches square, looks like that. You will get all of these colours, it's not a random bundle. You will get 40 sheets and they're all different. Well over half of the stock has gone. But let's, um, let's see what's coming up on today's show and I will keep you updated with um, what the stock levels are. Anyway, coming up on today's show. So we're going to kick off now at eight o'clock with bulk buys. So this is where I can get you some good discounts. Personally, I'd like to say it was me personally, but it probably wasn't. It was probably more like, yes, yes, personally, um, I'm going to bring you the bulk buy. So this is where we've got some of our favourite items and we're, we're giving you a discount by buying more than one of them. That's the bulk buy theory. And they are lovely, really lovely. And quite a mixture of things as well. So if you want to save yourself a little bit of money, then that's in the next hour. Nine o'clock, we've got Susie Duncan with us. She is going to be launching the brand new Liberty Heirloom 3 collection launch. So we've got all of the fabrics in the Liberty Heirloom 3 collection. And we've got them as half meters, we've got them as fat quarters. Susie has used them to design a beautiful cushion. So we've got the instructions on their own and we've got the um, Liberty fabrics with it. Beautiful, beautiful collection. You're going to love this. And we've got various bundles that you can um, choose from. We've also got a little Liberty treat. I'll tell you that about that in just a moment. At 10 o'clock, Shashko. We love Shashko. We've got all sorts from books to fabric to threads to needles to patterns um oh and also in that show we've got some brand new extra wide backings nothing to do with shashko but they are beautiful um extra wide backings that we're going to bring you specially in that hour so if you love shashko whether you're a beginner we've got everything for you if you are more experienced or you want to add collection to your collection it's all there and i'm going to go through it bit by bit so you can see how it all works including um susan briscoe's 365 book which is fabulous then at 11 o'clock susie will be back with us with her flying in formation quilt so this is a really gorgeous lap quilt um, it's ideal for people who are new to patchwork or more experienced as well. You're going to learn how to do flying geese. We've got a collection of um, different kits. One of them has got Liberty in, some of them are planar fabrics. Susie's going to demonstrate and show you step by step how to make this. So if you fancy making yourself a lap quilt, well, it could be used for a lap, cot, um, picnic blanket, wall hanging you will love this and Susie's an expert teacher so loads to learn there and then it's Monday and it's 12 o'clock so it's um, Mandy Cameron is going to come in at 12 o'clock and um, for Yarn Lane and it's Wool Couture now we've got two brand new blanket quilts now whether you're a knitter or a crochet we've got one of each now I am absolutely loving these I'm going to show them to you now because they're on pre-order 
How gorgeous is this? This is in their beautiful cotton yarn. So this is your granny square quilt. Can you see how beautiful, because it's a cotton yarn, the drape is. And I love the colours. There's pastels, but sort of muted pastels. But hasn't it got a gorgeous drape? This is ideal for just popping over your knees when it's a bit cold in the evenings. Or wouldn't it be lovely to have just to pop down when you're having a picnic or just to wrap around you? It's gorgeous, isn't it? But maybe you've got um, a new baby coming up or you've got a christening or a birthday and you want to make something really special. That's gorgeous. And it's a great price as well because it is um, cotton yarn, but it's got a beautiful drape to it. But if you're more of a knitter, we've also got a knitting blanket. I really like this. Again, in, it's in these beautiful muted it's like log cabin in knitting. Now it's easy peasy because it's all garter stitch, but look at the colors. If I just, I love, isn't that gorgeous? Under 60 pounds, everything you need. And what we're doing with both of these kits as well is you're getting free needles. Well, a free hook with the crochet one, obviously, but free knitting needles with these. But aren't the colors lovely? You've got this lovely Parma violet, sage green, this dusty pink, primrose yellow, beautiful ivory and I love that blue again it would be ideal for um, as just for popping over your knees wrap round you but what a beautiful baby blanket because it's got a little it's a little bit more modern isn't it it's muted it's not sort of super modern but it's but isn't that lovely but you can see because it's this cotton yarn it's got a beautiful soft gentle drape to it it's not stiff at all isn't that lovely oh really really nice love that so we've got the knitted blanket and the crochet blanket and we've also got a bag and a cushion and some tops as well we've got our two jumpers and a poncho so we've got a bit little bit for everyone spring knitting and crochet makes that's coming up at 12 o'clock i'll just put those there right how to get in touch so if you haven't um shopped with us before or if you haven't bought with us before this is how you get in touch with us now and how to shop so two ways of doing it you can either phone us on our um, free phone number or you can visit our website so the easiest way to shop is if you visit us on www.sewingstreet.com and th that's it's the easiest way because you can see all the pictures on there so sewingstreet.com if you click on watch live this is what you'll see you'll see me there and, um, and then you will see everything that we've got to say. So we've got coming up on today's show, those are the items I haven't talked about yet. This is where you can get ahead because quite often what happens is that we sell out of things. So if you've had a look at the menu, you can see the things that are coming up. This is where everything that's coming up. So we've got all the Liberty fabrics. We've got Susie's instructions there. Um, then we've got oh, sewing clips. There's the rest of the Liberty fabrics. Oh, lovely um, best press. We've got Cherry Blossom and Citrus Grove in best press. And I've had a little sniff. Very nice. There's the mega bundle of the brand new Liberty. We are limited in stock. Just to give you a little warning on that. So if you want to get ahead with that. Now, here's all the Shashko. Lots and lots of different Shashko there. That is the extra wide backings I was telling you about earlier that we're not really... Nothing to do with Shashko, but Hannah just sneaked them in. And we really like them, so we thought, oh, we'll have those. We'll have those. Um, if you missed out on the Shashko needles the other day, they're back in stock. Have to be for our Shashko out, really, don't they? Um, and we've got all sorts there. All sorts. Right. Now, let me talk about Shop to Win. This is our special prize today. We don't often have a prize unless it's a special occasion. Well, it is. We are launching the brand new Liberty collection. So the prize today is anybody who buys Liberty fabric today, whether it's in a bundle, in a kit, whether it's just half a meter, whether it's a whole bundle, whatever, you will be entered into the draw to win the Liberty English Garden Quilted Thread Collection. Now, whether you buy on the live show or on the website, doesn't matter. Anyone who shops between now and midnight and buys something Liberty will be put into the prize draw worth £120. Now, these are all Aurifil threads, beautiful quality, long staple Egyptian cotton. They've been hand-picked by Liberty to match their collection. Now, look, it's in this beautiful box featuring Liberty. 
So it would be, it's got a nice magnetic closure, lovely Liberty print. We only have one to give away. But anyone who buys Liberty fabric will be entered in the draw. Doesn't matter whether you've bought just a half meter, whether you've bought the whole bundle, whether you've bought one of the kits, doesn't matter. Um, because some of Susie's kits with the Liberty fabric and the instructions, that's included as well. Worth £120. So these are all colours that suit the Liberty um, collection. It's worth £120. Not bad, is it? The winner will be announced on tomorrow's show. So anyone who buys anything from now until midnight will be put into the draw. The winner will be announced tomorrow at £120 in a beautiful presentation box right well let's start with some liberty so you can get your first entry into the drawer now i've got two extra wide backings here now extra wide backings are obviously perfect for um backing quilts because they're ex because they're extra wide but they can be used for other things as well they can be used for dressmaking home sewing they are quilting weight cotton liberty print now the great thing about them is they are so wide, 272 centimetres, 108 inches. Now, this is just half a metre here, but look how wide it is. So maybe you want to make yourself a Liberty dress. This is a very inexpensive way to do it because you won't need as much fabric as it says on your pattern. If you lay out all your pattern pieces and measure them across the 108 inch width, you'll know how much you need. So if you order, this is sold by the half metre, so if you want more than a half a metre, put that number of units in your basket. So if you want a metre, put two in your basket and it will be sent as a whole cut piece. But because this is part of our bulk buys, then we're going to reduce the price. 16 99 for half a metre. So maybe you want to make... Um, you, maybe you want to back a quilt. Maybe you want to make a lot of cushions. Maybe you are making um, to sell or you're making to raise money and you just want to make um, Liberty tote bags. And remember, if you buy this, you will be entered into the shop to win prize draw to win the box. So this is, isn't that beautiful? I mean, if you backed a quilt in that, it would be stunning. But it is very good for home sewing and also dressmaking. And don't forget that you will be entered into the shop to win. So that's the beautiful green um, Liberty Peacock dance. It's very, very inexpensive way of buying Liberty fabric because um, it's more than double the width, but less than, than the, half the price, if you see what I mean. Anyway, it's a really, it is. It's more than double the width and less than half the price. So that's the green one. Right, we've also got it in blue. Don't forget, if you buy this one, you will be entered into the prize draw if you want more than a half a metre. Now, this, if you've never bought Liberty fabric, it is beautiful. It's um, printed in Italy on the shores of Lake Como, um, and it is printed in such a way that it's really a deep printing. So the colours are really good. The fabric is ever so soft. It's their Lazenby cotton, which is a really soft quilting weight cotton. It's not, their, it's not their lawn, it is a quilting weight cotton. But wouldn't that be beautiful as a dress or a little wrap? Be nice just as a simple blouse. Maybe you want to make a pair of pyjamas, but just remember, because it's so wide, you get more for your money. At 16 99 every half metre you buy, you'll be saving a pound. And you'll be entered into the draw to win this amazing Aurifil thread collection worth £120. So if you've ever thought about buying the threads, you're getting a pound off for half a metre of the fabric and you're entered into the draw to win those. But this is beautiful, isn't it? Anyway, I'll let, keep you updated on what stock we've got. Remember, it is 108 inches, 272 centimetres in width, which is fabulous, isn't it? So anyone who buys anything Liberty today, whether it's a half a metre of extra wide, whether it's a bundle of fabric, whether it's just half a metre of one of the other fabrics, or whether it's fabric in a kit, you will be entered into the competition to win this amazing box. Now, it doesn't matter whether you buy it now on the live show or whether you're watching later or whether, you, um, or whether you've bought it on the website. There's loads of you who are shopping ahead on the brand new heirloom collection. You're all going to be entered into the draw. The winner will be announced tomorrow. So that's a nice cheeky little prize, isn't it, for a Monday morning? 
beautiful. Right, let's talk fabric. So carrying on with our bulk buys, this is bulk and you can buy it. Look at this, rainbow mega bundle. Now, this is all our beautiful quality um, quilting weight cotton, Rose and Hubble. Now there are 20 meters, no 10 meters, 20, 20 half meters. So let me show you the colors that you're gonna get for 75 pounds 80. Oh, but we're going to reduce the price. So look, we've got dark green, we've got emerald green. And then look at the blues, if I go in color. We've got navy, we've got like a royal blue, a more petrol blue, cloud blue, light blue, greeny blue. Then we've got the pinks and the reds. So we've got a pale pink, a fuchsia pink, a ro vintage rose pink, purple, bright red. We've got a pale yellow, a golden yellow. And then in the neutrals, we've got the biscuit tone, taupe, slate grey, light grey, and then a bluey grey. All of that, 10 metres of fabric, Rose and Hubble quilting weight cotton. Now, the regular price for this, 379 for half a meter that will be 75 pound 80 so it's amazing value anyway because remember this is beautiful quality this is the what half a meter looks like each of the half meters 44 inches wide half a meter long these we sell these normally at 379 for half a meter which is amazing because this is rose and hubble quilting weight cotton it's beautiful quality so if you bought them all at 379 for half a meter all of those would cost you 75 pounds 80 but we are going to give you a saving what's the saving hannah over 10 pounds saving so that takes it down to 64.43 so you are paying three pound 22 for half a meter i mean you know what it's like when you want some plain fabric maybe you want to line something maybe you're doing some binding maybe you're doing some applique and you've not got quite the right color this is the ideal opportunity for you to get all of those colors because you've got you know two shades of green we've got one two three four five six seven eight shades of blue there we've got two shades of yellow We've got three shades of pink. We've got purple. We've got red. And we've got all of the grey and taupe shades. Basically, you're getting, at full price, you're getting a metre and a half for free. So three of those, you're getting free. You're paying £64.43 for all of that. Ten metres. Now, we have got... Fewer than 25 left. Whenever we do these special bundles, we always get extra stock in because we, you know, they're always popular, especially when we put a discount on them. Now the, the stocks are getting low. Fewer than 25 left. So remember, you're getting a metre and a half for free. This is Rose and Hubble, quilting weight cotton, and it's plain cotton, quilting weight. Fewer than 20, these are going to sell out. If you want one of them, you need to get them in your basket. So you're getting a metre and a half for free if you were paying full price. I mean, this is amazing price for a plain cotton fabric anyway. And isn't it lovely? Even if you don't know exactly what you're going to do with them all, it's nice to have these in your stash. Um, it's quite good as well because you then know if you get one of these and you think, oh, I really like that colour. Is it what's lovely is that when you get one because they'll all have their they all have their codes on if there's one that you think I really like that color then at least you've got that as a sum then you've got it as a sample you've then got them as oh let me drop that one you're getting all of this um then you can keep a little swatch of that color and then because we well we try to keep all of the colors in stock all the time um, then you will be able to order more because sometimes, you know, when you see them on the website, you're not absolutely sure what the colour looks like. Then it's quite, it's quite nice. I would look at these. Then you'll be able to, you'll know, because they have the codes on, you'll be able to know which fabric is which. So I'm just opening up these randomly, actually. I've got, just so you can see how much fabric that you are getting for £64.43. 
Look at it all. All of these half metres. So much fabric here, isn't there? Just think of all the projects. I mean, all of the projects you can make and create for just £64.43. But when you think, if you've got designer fabric and you've got print fabric, it will go further. So if you want to do some patchwork and you need, um, you want a plain fabric to use around for the blocks, maybe you've got a beautiful piece of designer fabric that was quite expensive and you want to make a bag, use one of these to line it. And if you line something in a fabric that matches well or is a really great contrast, it makes quite a difference. So maybe you've got a beautiful cave fabric in, in glorious shades of you know the purples and the blues if you picked maybe this one that would blend really well then it just gives you that really nice finishing touch rather than your usual designer fabrics on them and they are gorgeous maybe you want to do a rainbow patchwork well you've got all of the colors of the rainbow here haven't you maybe bit of bar jello you could be lovely wouldn't it but look i'm still going these are these are all of the colours that will be sorted for your spring summer projects. Love this one. It's a real midnight blue. Gorgeous. You could, wouldn't it be nice to fold them all? If you've bought those comic boards, you know, the, um, the acid-free cardboard, you could wrap them all around. And then you've always got all of these fabrics to go for. So look at all of these. £64.43. We only have 13 of the bundles left now. I can't, I've got so much fabric, I can't even find it all to get it all out. This is a lovely colour. Look at this one. Look at that. I love that colour. It's like a fuchsia pink. And I love it with, with this red. I think that combination is wonderful. Look at that. Gorgeous, isn't it? And then we've got all of the, um, the gentler, the neutral shades. I'm still going... It's still going, still going, because you are getting 20 pieces here. It is like your coat of many colours. I'm, don't, don't start me singing. <laughs> don't start me singing, because I really can't sing. And then, I mean, I know, you know, this one, these aren't as colourful, these four, but they are very useful, because you can use them with your other... One of the best-selling fabric bundles we do, actually, is the neutrals because they go with everything else. So look at all of those. Right. Now look at it all. That is... Now, I mean, I know it doesn't look beautiful anymore, but that's a lot of fabric, isn't it? Look at all of that. £64.43. and pence. I'll just pop it there. We are on single figures on that bundle, so if you want it you need to get it in your basket. You're saving, well, you're getting a metre and a half for free, aren't you? £64.43, metre and a half for free. Anyway, loads and loads of you coming in. Please check out, because we're on single figures on that one. If you've already checked out on the early bird, if you've already bought all the felt, your PMP's done, isn't it? Three ninety-five for the day. It doesn't matter whether you buy one item or 395 items. And it doesn't matter if you buy something now and check out, and then at 10 o'clock this evening, you buy something else and check out. As long as you check it all out by midnight, your PMP is applied then. So the majority of websites, if you're a great internet shopper like myself, you will know that your PMP is applied to every time you order, isn't it? And then you, and you sit there and you think, oh, I need to go through because I've got to pay my PMP. What else can I buy? Well, we don't do it like that. We charge you one PMP per day. So it doesn't matter how much you order and when you order, but it, as long as it's before midnight, obviously, then that PMP is applied then. So if you've done your PMP, it's done already. But do check out because the problem that we have and why we run out of items is people put things in their basket thinking, oh, I'll have to think about that. It's not yours till you check out. But people often don't check out because they think, oh, well, I need to get everything to cover my PMP. But you can check out hundreds of times. Now, don't forget, if you shop on Liberty Fabric today, talking about before midnight, anyone who buys any Liberty Fabric today, whether it's online, on the live show, on the web, whatever, then you will be entered into the competition to win this £120 worth of Aurifil thread 
that has been handpicked by Liberty for their English garden collection comes in this beautiful presentation box. It doesn't matter whether you buy a kit with Liberty in, just a half metre of Liberty, just a fat quarter on its own. If you go on to sewingstreet.com and click on Watch Live and scroll down from there, you will see all the Liberty fabric that we've got coming up in the next hour for the new launch. Then you will be entered into the competition and the winner will be announced tomorrow. So for those of you who have just tuned in, I have to keep telling you because I don't want anyone to miss out on this because that would be a shame if you missed out, wouldn't it? Right, sew machine needle bundle, one of my favourite things. One of my favourite things, the sewing machine needle bundle. Now, these sh these Schmetz needles, these are the ones that I asked Barry the buyer to buy because they're my favourite. These are the ones that are um, actually recommended by Elna and Janome to use in their machines. They don't recommend many things, but this one's they do. I, these are the ones I buy. I have these all the time. And I like to have the whole collection. If you use the right needle for the job, you will get a better finish. Quite often, if you have skip stitches, broken thread, issues the most common reason why you have problems with your sewing is because you your needle is either blunt broken or it's the wrong one so in this bundle 32 pound 41 51 sorry um nine packs you are saving two pound 52 so what we've got in the bundle we've got the universal needle now this is the needle that will come with your sewing machine it's halfway between a sharp and a ball point it's a slightly rounded point so it will work with most fabrics and for most fabrics it's fine so, and it's a great needle to have, but it's not a specialist needle. So if you're doing other sorts of sewing, then you need specialist needles. Now, this is my favourite needle. Not allowed to have favourites, but I have. The Microtex needle. This is a very sharp needle. It's recommended to you for using with quilting weight cotton, which is probably why I use it more than anything else. Um, it's no good if you're stitching on thick canvas and denim. It's for... Um, quilting weight cotton, it's super sharp, it's brilliant for lightweight fabrics like chiffons, lawns, organ, organdies, that kind of thing, but I love the Microtex needle. Another absolute must is the jeans needle. It's um, got a thicker shaft, a very sharp point, so it's perfect for jeans, denim and canvas. Basically, if, one, if your universal or your Microtex breaks, it's because you need a jeans needle. Um, then we've got the quilting needle. Now this has been designed specifically for quilting with it will go through the three layers it is extra strong but it's also very sharp so if you're quilting don't use your universal that's got a slightly rounded point use the quilting needle you will get less skip stitches and you will get neater a neater finish um, then we've got the i'll go for the embroidery needle next now this works particularly well when you're doing machine embroidery if you've got a machine embroidery machine use this needle it's got a deep groove behind the eye which is called the scarf for the thicker embroidery thread to sit behind it's also designed to work at speed so when you're doing any embroidery, you're working at speed, you'll need this one. And also it means that those thicker threads, like those metallic threads, will sit in the scarf behind it. Um, then the leather needle. Now this has got a slightly chiselled point, so it's really good for using with leather and PVC and vinyls. What you mustn't use it with is um, PU. Don't use it with PU and don't use it with um, faux suede because it will tear it. Then I would use a Microtex needle, to be honest. But if you're stitching on leather or that clear plastic, use it with that. Uh, the top stitch needle, again, if you're top stitching, you're often using a slightly thicker thread. So this has been designed so it will work with those thicker threads and you'll get neater top stitches. Um, I've left these two to last because these are the ones that get a little bit confused. Now, if you are... If you're stitching on knit fabric, so not a woven fabric, but a knit fabric, you need a ball point because what you want the needle to do is go through the threads and separate them rather than pierce them, or they'll run like a pair of tights. Um, you get both of these in the pack. Now, jersey are for your, like, your T-shirt fabrics. The stretch is for ones that have got more elastic in, like a um, spandex or a lycra. So although they can both be used for stretch fabrics, this is your lighter weight ones and this is the ones that have got the elastic in. The needles are just slightly different. Now the great thing about the Schmetz needles, they're also colour coded. So you'll see each of the needles has two colours on them. Um, 
And it, I know if you go onto the Schmetz website, there is a key that tells you what colour means what, which makes them easy to identify. So you get all of those, £32.51. You are saving £2.52. And I would definitely buy these because if you've got them, you will then use the right needle. Because if you're constantly breaking your needle, it's probably because your fabric's too thick, you should have a jeans. If you find that the um, needle is snagging a bit, maybe it's too thick, use a Microtex. All of the needle packs are mixed sizes. So the universal goes 70, 80, 90, 100, because you need different size needles depending on the thickness of the fabric. Now, the weird thing is, and you have to remember this, that machine needles, the higher the number, the thicker the needle because it's done on a metric system so if it's a 70 needle then it's 0.07 mil diameter if it's 100 it's 0.1 so it's the higher the number the bigger the needle with hand sewn needles it's the opposite way around just to confuse matters but it's because hand sewing needles are done on the old um, system where they num named needles over 100 years ago, and that's done on a completely different, not even, it's not even imperial, it's some strange needle system, I can't remember what it's called, numbering, but these are metrics, so the higher the number on a machine needle, the thicker the needle, so you can try, so whether you're using, a, if you're using a very lightweight t-shirt material, use the 70 jersey, if you're using maybe a Ponte Roma, use the 100, but you can, because you've got the different sizes in the packs, it means that you can play with them. But it will make a difference, honestly. They have been specifically designed for specific fabric and they work better if you use the right one. Then you'll find which one do you like the best, which one do you use more, and then you can buy more of those, but replace them as you go. About eight, every eight hours of stitching, you'll need a new needle. And when you put a new needle in, oh, it's wonderful. It's like putting a new rotary cutter blade in. Anyway, £32.51, £32. you are saving £2.52. So treat yourself. Definitely worth having. And these are a beautiful quality needle as well. So that's all your Schmetz needles. Right, what should we do next? Threads. Let's do threads. Now we've done needles. Should we start with, do you mind which one? Oh, there are a bundle of them. Oh. Look at that, saving five pounds. Now, aren't these lovely? So what we've got, we've got, let's start with the pretty ones. We've got the um, metallic effect threads. These are gorgeous. Now, if you are using that, please do use embroidery needles in your machine because this thicker metallic thread will sit in the scarf behind and sew better. So if you want to use metallic thread, whether you are just hemming your jeans and you want a little bit of pink sparkle along the bottom, whether you're doing machine embroidery or maybe you're thinking, oh, I'm going to do add just a bit of a metallic. If you're quilting something and maybe you've, you're quilting a scene and there's moons and stars, just add a little bit of sparkle. So you can quilt with it, you can sew with it, you can hem with it. But they, it's, it's lovely to have a few metallic threads in your stash. You can even hand embroider with them as well. They don't have to just be used in the machine. Um, we've then got, these are 100% cotton threads in these beautiful autumnal shades of browns and oranges and yellows. But those are all um, cotton. And then this collection here, all cotton again, but these are in shades of blues and greens. So you are getting um, 20 spools of cotton thread and 10 spools of metallic thread for just 39.97. And you are saving a fiver. Isn't that fab? I mean, they're all value packs already and we're giving you five pounds off. So they work out at £1.33 a spool, which for cotton thread is amazing. These normally retail, when I've seen them, about £182 a spool. So that's a really good price. And lovely to have those metallic threads as well. You've got two golds, two silvers, and then you've got six mixed colours as well. I love that um, black one. It's like black multicoloured kaleidoscope. £39.97. And lovely to have all of those colours as well. So you've got all the autumnal shades of reds and oranges and browns, and then you've got all the blues and greens as well. So it's a really great collection to have in your stash so that you're using the right colour each time. And if you've bought the machine needle bundle, then you've got all of the right 
needles to go with them as well. And the beauty of the, um, the cotton thread is it works so well with cotton fabric as well because it has the, that matte finish to it. Beautiful. Love those. And they're Guterman as well. So you know that they're good quality. 39.97 for those. Do keep on checking out with them. Right. Magnetic fasteners. I've seen them. Aha. Three silver ones. So in this bundle, you they come in pairs, obviously. And in each pair, you've got a male one and a female one. And then the two. And then you've got the two back plates as well. So the male one is the one that's um, less attractive. Obviously, you're not allowed to say that, are you really? But you know. So, you, so you've got three sets. They've all got the male, the female, and the back plates as well. So three of them, 4 97 You're saving a pound. Um, these are really nice quality ones as well. I use them loads. You know when you make, just even if you're making the simplest tote bag and you just want something to close the top, you don't want to be bothered with the zip, just pop a magnetic fastener in. You just put it onto the line, attach it to the lining before you make up the bag. It makes quite a difference, doesn't it? Or anything that you want to attach. I put lots of them on the, um, on the cover of my dog crate because I've got a fabric cover on it and it flaps open a bit. So I put loads of these on them. But anything that you want to hold together, it might be just the flap of a handbag. It might be the inside of a, a bag that you've already got. Um, don't forget when you put them in to place, if you cut yourself a little square of wadding, then when you push this through the, the prongs through the fabric, put a piece of wadding between this and the back plate because sometimes when you're constantly pulling your magnetic snap against the fabric it can mark or tear it so just put a little piece of wadding cut the prong holes in and put that in between it could be just a felt or several layers of fabric but I would always put something between the two 497 now strangely silver bag hardware is always the most most popular now you can multi buy these you will get three but if you want if you want um many in your stash i always keep a box of these because i hate running out of them and they are really really useful so anything that you need to hold together or you want to be able to snap on and off 497 for three of them they're 18 mil in diameter okay we've also got them in gold should you prefer or maybe you want both because you don't know so let me show you what the colour of these are. It's quite a nice gold, actually. It's not, um, you get three again for your 4 97 It's not a really um, brassy gold. They are quite strong magnets, actually. She says, because you can't actually get them apart. There we go. They're almost, I would say, like a rosy gold. Can you see? See? There we go. But it's, um, they are almost a rosy gold colour. Well, then, I mean, they're not rose gold, but rather than that yellow gold, they're more of a pink, they're more of a pinky warm gold. Anyway. Well, you can get an antique gold, which is brown. You get a gold gold, which is yellow, and a rose gold, which is more pinky. So it's a really gentle gold, quite like those. 4 97 for three. So well worth getting yourself a few packs of these because, you know, when you want you want to put them in, I always think adding a bit of hardware to a bag makes it look more professional as well. And they are a nice, strong magnetic clasp, as you can see, because I struggled to get them apart. Once you've got them attached to fabric, they will come apart really nicely on their own. So pop those in your basket. Worth having anyway. I always keep a box of them. Right. Now, yesterday we had a William Morris quilt kit on. Lots, well, it was William Morris Day yesterday, wasn't it? And this, Stars Over the Lake, Buttermere. Now, we, here's the finished quilt. Now, we've got the kit. This is the kit to make the quilt, not the, obs, the quilt. So, shall I put it on the desk? Because I don't think I'm tall enough to hold it up. Let me put it all across the desk. So this quilt, oh, this is lovely. I haven't seen this. This is all William Morris fabric. Sometimes we do quilts, you'll get a designer fabric and a plain, 
but no this is all William Morris fabric it is beautiful now the finished size of it is 168 by 210 centimeters so that's double bed size it's a really nice now we the full price for this should be 249.99 but the price was dropped yesterday to 159.99 this is all william morris fabric we've only got a few left over from yesterday maybe you missed it well i missed it look at that oh it's got the strawberry thief in it you are saving 90 pounds i mean it is gorgeous it's in shades of navies you've got a bit of orangey mustard these lovely William Morris greys, there is no plain fabric. You've got also in the kit is the fabric for the binding. Obviously, you don't get the backing and the wadding, but you will get the binding fabric. But that is just gorgeous, isn't it? So anyone who missed yesterday and you want to make a £90 saving and make yourself a beautiful William Morris quilt. Remember, split pay is an option. We can do that on three-way split pay for you. So rather than paying all 159.99 today, um, you can do three equal payments of 53 pounds 33. So you pay 53.33 today. We will send you the kit, and the next month you pay the next instalment and the month after that, and then it's all done. Doesn't cost you any extra, by the way. It's interest free, and it's optional. It's entirely up to you. Some people like to spread the payments. Some people just like to pay it all at once. But if you want to make a beautiful William Morris quilt, I mean, and that is gorgeous, isn't it? absolutely gorgeous and all the colors have been hands selected so that they match beautifully but that is a glorious quilt really nice love that beautiful beautiful anyway that's just thought we just thought we'd we just thought we'd offer that to you today let me move the quilt from my table i don't know what i've dropped on the floor though something something's on the floor oh it's fine it's just a packet of noodles I thought it was something I needed. Freezer paper bundle. Three rolls of freezer paper for the price of two. Now, freezer paper is brilliant. If you've never used freezer paper before, um, originally it was designed for freezing meat. But we don't use it for that. It has a silicone coating on one side and paper on the other side, which means that it will stick to fabric when you iron it, but it won't mark and it peels off really, really quickly. So a lot of people use it for patterns. You could use it for, um, you know, when you're doing like applique patterns or maybe you've got bag patterns that you want to use several times. Draw on the paper side and then you can cut it out. You can then iron that onto your fabric it will cling and stick cut round it and it just peels off with no residue and you can use it over and over again now remember you are getting three rolls and there's a lot in each roll there is um 12 meters on each roll so right price comparison one roll elsewhere 10 pounds 80 and we are selling three rolls for 14.98 so if you Use a lot of freezer paper. I use it for applique as well. It's brilliant for that. You can use it for EPP because it, it will stick and it, it, it won't stick forever. It is a, temp, a temporary thing. Sorry, I got the hiccup. Um, it's a temporary thing and it will stick probably about 10 times. Then you have to use a new place. But it is wonderful because it, it, it's strange, isn't it, that it was originally designed for freezing items, but now we use it for craft. I use it a lot when I'm doing patterns and templates, particularly like a circle. So maybe I'm making a circular bag base. You can draw around the, your pattern or you could draw the circle, press it on. It's a lot easier to cut something out if the piece is sticking to it. Also means that the patterns last longer. So I cut out my patterns in this, put them in the envelope and then I've got them to keep. Maybe for dressmaking, obviously it's not wide enough for all big pieces but when you're doing those fiddly bits like um, collars and cuffs and all the smaller pieces trace round them onto here then they're much more stable and so much easier to cut out just for any curves but for applique they're really good if you wanted to cut out like little petals and shapes and leaves you can press them on you can then cut the fabric bigger if you want to fold it round or if you want to use if you're using like Bondaweb later, it's just a lot easier because it will stick on. No idea how it works. 
Don't know. Don't know. It just does. You you press on the paper side, and then this silicon side must sort of melt a bit or something. I don't know. But it won't mark the fabric at all, and it is really useful. So and it's it's great because it's um because it's twelve meters. You I mean it does last quite a while, but it depends on how much you use. It's nice that you're getting three packs, so you get all of three of these. I mean, elsewhere, we found it for £10.80 for a roll. We've got three for £14.98, all of that. Loads and loads and loads of that. Right, fewer than 20 of this bundle left now. And it's worth having, when you've got your three rolls, you, you'll, you won't have to be so sparing with it, and you will use it for more things. I mean, you could even freeze things on it, should you want to. It's actually really good for freezing things like individual chocolates and things that you don't want to stick to each other, because they will sit on there. And you could use it, yes, why Why meat? I'm not sure. Mm. But you know when you do those chocolate coated strawberries and you want them to dry, you know, you don't, not for freezing, but you can then peel them all off. Mm. Or maybe, you know, you want to separate out all the, um, you know, when you get all the reduced meat and you want to separate it out and you want all your burgers frozen separately ideal but i'm thinking you know chocolate coated strawberries because they won't stick to it you could put them all on there but it, it is really useful for patterns or maybe you draft your own patterns make you maybe make your own bags or maybe you've got a bag pattern that you like and you want to make it bigger or smaller you can draft it onto here keep these as whole copies and then you can just press it on cut round it much much easier there we go so three for two 14.98 for three rolls We've done that. Pins. <laughs> Hannah's confusing me. The magic pin. I love the magic. I love the magic pins. Now, the magic pins are brilliant because they are very sharp which is quite useful. They have got really nice ends because they're much easier to grip. They've slightly got little ridges in, so they're easier to grip and easier to see so that you can take them in and out. They all come, each one of them comes in the little box as well, so you keep them all safe. Now, the three different neat pins are for three different things. So you've got the quilting pin, which is the standard one. It's your regular pin. There's 50 in this pack. Uh, 0.6 mil diameter and they are 48 mils long. So these are used for most items, um, dressmaking, home sewing. I know it says quilting, but they're kind of your regular pin. They are so much sharper and smoother and slide through the fabric than ordinary pins. And because they have these comfort grip handles, which by the way, you can iron on without melting, uh, they make them they're just much easier to use and much easier to see the pins and also easier when they're all on the carpet, you can actually find them and they come in the little box. Then you get the patchwork pins. So these are slightly shorter and slightly finer. So they're 0.5 mil in diameter, but they're 36 mil long compared to these being 48. So when you are pinning small pieces of patchwork together, these are a lot better because they're a little bit shorter. And I like the fact that they have different colours, so you know which is which. And then finally, you get the applique pins. These are even shorter. These are just 26 mil length, and they have smaller ends. But again, they do have um, those comfort grip handles. Now, these are great for, you can see the picture, for pinning small pieces. So you know when you're pinning applique, and it, you need lots of pins, but they're all crashing into each other. This is where you need your short pins, and they're a bit finer as well. Also, they're really good when you're doing curves. So maybe you are pinning like a circular bottom onto a bag and you want lots of pins, you can get more in with these. So what's great, because the pins are so lovely, it's nice to be able to buy them as a whole collection. And then you've got them, and they're the sort of pins, because you know they are a considered purchase. They last, we've got Susie on deck, she loves them. She loves these. Now, we've got a special deal, look at that. Save a fiver worth it so maybe you've tried a packet you like them you know what they look like and you want some more of them they're, they're ideal for that or if you haven't used them honestly they are they are kind of your top level designer quality pin and you know what it's like with any of our haberdashery notions fabrics you know when you buy the quality items you look after them keep them and at least you can find them as well because they've got all the colored ends 
and they come in the little boxes as well. But using the right tool for the job makes quite a difference. And that goes for needles, threads, and also pins. So £40.97, you're saving £5 and you will have a box of each of the pins. And then you'll use the right pins for the job and you will find it's a lot easier. There we go. Yes, right. Let's do paraffin wax next. Now I've got three of these. Now the paraffin wax, three for the price of two, is a thread conditioner. So what this will do is, before you thread your needle, run the thread through the little grooves and it will put the paraffin wax on it. What this will do is it will prevent your thread from tangling and knotting and fraying and also make it stronger. Absolutely perfect for hand quilting, obviously, because then you can use, by using a thread conditioner like the paraffin wax, it means that your thread, you can cut longer lengths because it won't knot and tangle. Because you know when you're like when you're doing maybe you're doing EPP, whether you're doing hand quilting, whether you're doing embroidery, if you're do if the thread is constantly going through the fabric over and over and over, it will not tangle, fray, and break. But by just quickly running it through here, and you see on the cardboard you've got the grooves, you just run it through and it will condition your thread to stop it tangling and breaking and fraying. So absolutely perfect for all kinds of hand sewing. It won't um, mark the fabric, doesn't make it slippery or anything or unpleasant to use. It just strengthens the thread, conditions it so you can use longer lengths. And it does mean that you will waste less thread because obviously you need a certain amount for finishing and ending a thread. And also if it knots and tangles, then you have to unpick it or cut it off. So we're doing three for two. You are saving £2.49. Once you've used the paraffin wax, you will use it all the time. So then you'll need three, three of these because you will realise how much easier, however good quality thread you've got, if it's not conditioned, it won't slide through the fabric as easily and it will not tangle and fray. But using the paraffin wax, and it won't. £4.98 for three. It's a wonderful product. Really, really good. Oh, <laughs> Rebecca, you are looking so slim. Well done. What have you been doing? Well, Diane, I am really surprised you say that because I've eaten like a horse for the last week. I've been, I went, went on holiday, went on holiday to Canada. And oh, the food, the pancakes, you know. So I was skiing though, but I think I probably ate more than I skied actually. Although maybe the fear, maybe the fear. Can you lose weight through fear? Every day I said, I'm so scared. I'm so scared, but I've just got to keep doing this. So maybe that's that. I think it's just my dress, to be honest. But thank you. That was a very kind, very kind comment. <laughs> um, paraffin works. Right, what should we do next? Oh, can we do the iron cleaner? Because I love this. I am such a lazy ironer in that. Well, I'm quite lazy. I don't like ironing. But a lazy ironer in that I think, oh, I can just get away with just touching that bit of interfacing. And before I know it, it's stuck to my iron. Happens all the time. Never learn. I was thinking, and then I remember to put my iron cloth on. But um, if you do get things stuck to your iron, which I do regularly, this is brilliant. I remember when we first had these in stock and I thought, mm, bet they don't work. They're brilliant. So I keep a spare piece of fabric that you need to put underneath your iron because the iron's got to be on when you use it. So I have a bit of fabric that I just keep because otherwise it will mark your ironing board. Um, and then you just rub this on your hot iron. Oh, the smell, terrible. Um, because it burns off everything and it all smokes and stuff. But then you, I best open the window. However, you then get another cloth, which I do keep as well, and you just wipe your iron over and all of those burnt marks where you've got the interfacing stuck or you've got the iron too hot, they just come off. If you've got any marks that are then are still left, if you just rub it a few times, eventually they will come off. And it's unbelievable. I mean, I've done it before where I've ironed something and the base of my iron is almost coated in black and it all comes off. But obviously it's like... Um, a stick, it's a very thick paste. So obviously as you use it, you use it up. So it's really worth getting three of them. And it's one of those things that we just don't do. And you think, well, I'll just wipe the iron on the edge of the ironing board and that'll wipe it off. Doesn't really work very well. Um, worth getting, £9.98. Lake Louise was where we went for our honeymoon. Your phone made me very jealous. From, 
from Shelley. Oh, it is amazing, isn't it? I mean, I, I, unfortunately, the whole of the Lake Louise was frozen when I was there. I haven't seen it blue. I've seen the pictures of it, but it is amazing. And, but the most amazing thing is that I got to see Freddie, my son, because he's been there since October. That's a long time. I mean, I know he's 21, but he is my baby. It was so, so nice to see him. I mean, he's, and he'll be back in the middle of May, so I haven't got too long to wait now. But, oh, he's having the best time. And, and I saw the Lynx family which was the most exciting thing. I'd spent all week, there's a family of three lynx that live in the woods under the chairlift. And I saw them, saw them on the last day. But what a nice place to go for a honeymoon. That's lovely, isn't it? Oh. Now, anyway, anyone who has been there, you'll love it as much as I do. Now, anyone who um, shops today and buys Liberty, you have to buy Liberty, you can't just buy anything else, has to be Liberty, but it could be a fat quarter, it could be a half a metre, it could be our bundle of the new collection, it could be one of Susie's kits that have got Liberty in, you will be entered into the competition to win this amazing box of Liberty threads worth £120. Wow! Oracle threads hand selected by Liberty to go with their fabrics in this beautiful presentation box as well. Beautiful with Liberty print. This is the one you will get. Anyone who shops today, whether it's a fat quarter, half meter, bundle, doesn't matter. The, you will be entered into the competition to win 120 pounds worth of thread and the winner will be announced tomorrow. So I would shop ahead while we go in the break. Go on to sewingstreet.com, click on Watch Live, shop ahead. I will be back with you in a few minutes' time with um, Susie, who's going to introduce the brand new collection and show us what you can make with it. I'll see you back here in a few minutes. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your App Store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. 
Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Welcome back to Sewing Street. Now, if you've just joined me, you won't know about the shop to win. If you have been with me since eight o'clock, you will know about it, but I'm going to repeat it anyway. So anyone who buys any, oh, we've got Dan folding fabric. <laughs> Dan's folding quilts in the corner. He's, he's obviously trying to shop to win. He's shoplifting to win. <laughs> but it is with the blankets. We'll know, we'll know if that's gone. Um, now, anyone who buys anything Liberty today, whether it's a half metre, a fat quarter, a bundle, one of Susie's kits that have got the Liberty and will be entered into the competition to win this box of Liberty threads. Now, these are Orifil threads, hand selected by Liberty um, to match their English garden collection, come in a presentation box with Liberty print, worth £120, whether you buy online or on, um, on live on air or later on, whatever, you will be entered into the draw. Anyone who shops, buys anything Liberty between now and midnight will be put into the competition and we will announce the winner tomorrow. Woo, £120. Nice. Actually, right. I actually think those colours will coordinate. Yes, and actually, as Sue says, these colours will coordinate beautifully. And Lu Susie really wants this prize. <laughs> In fact, she really wants the box. I said, she can't have the box. Because otherwise the winner, yeah, she did this negotiation where if we gave her the box, she'd put an extra fat quarter on. No. Can you imagine the winner being sent this in a carrier bag? I think that's fine. No, I'd, I'd make a nice Liberty bag for it to really? go in. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I'd and then you could have the box. <laughs> no. £120 is yours. <laughs> bargain yeah and then we actually decided that Susie wasn't allowed to enter yeah. anyway so yeah because it would look a bit rubbish and the winner is Susie Duncan mm, I think it'll look a bit fixed yes I think not so Susie will not be winning this but you might be right so you just won't get a bag now right. now new collection now I'm um I'm going to go talk to Susie about it in a minute. Who's going to explain to us why, what and everything. Um, but I just want to get it all there so you can buy it. And then we'll talk to Susie who's going to explain it. This is the mega bundle. So one, two, these all half meters. Three, four, five half meters from the Liberty Heirloom 3 fabric collection. Two and a half meters in total. Now, because we're launching it today, we're going to give you a saving of three pounds. So forty-one ninety-five for a half meter of all of the five fabrics from the Liberty Heirloom Three fabric collection, brand new, launch today. Well, I'll go through them in a moment so we can see them more properly. I just want you to be able to get ahead with them because obviously we are limited in stock. We've only got what we bought, so once it's gone, it's gone. Forty-one ninety-five for all of those. Now, when we do these collections, they are very popular. So what we did is we got the warehouse, persuaded them to cut fat quarters as well. Because I know sometimes you don't want the whole half meter, you want just the fat quarters. Well, we've given you that option. Now, third of the stock of this, before I open it up, has already gone on pre-order. And anyone who buys these will be entered into the prize draw. So these are exactly the same fabrics, but... They are fat quarters instead. There we go, look. That's a fat quarter. So if you love the fabric, but you just want a fat quarter, 20 pounds and 95. When everyone has checked out, we are on single figures. So you're saving one pound 50, and that gives you for 20 pounds 95, an entrance into the shop to win draw. Which, if anyone wants to, if anyone wants to win the Liberty threads in the matching box, and they're Orofil threads that actually match the fabrics beautifully, coincidentally, you will be entered into the draw worth 120 pounds. Um, anyway, five 
backwaters. More of you have got this in baskets than we've got. So if you want this, you need to check out super quick fast. Now, if you love the fat quarters, we do have fat quarters in the bundles. So let me show you the kits. Right, this is the cushion. Susie has designed especially using this brand new Heirloom 3 collection. How beautiful. Look at the edges. That's the best bit. I like, well, I think that's the best bit. I like the, um, the prairie points in the corner. Yeah, I like the prairie points. Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? So look at that. You've got all the Liberty fabric on the back. You've got these prairie points that go around the edges. Very special finish. And this gorgeous star on the front. This is using the Liberty Heirloom 3 collection. Beautiful. Now, you get, so in this one, right, you get the full instructions, which you can then use again, using your own fabrics because the instructions are in here. You get fat quarters, one, two, three, four. You get all the fat quarters, five, but you also get the Wiltshire shadows. What colour is that called? That's oyster white. Oyster white, Wiltshire shadows, which is... Um, one of the, the Liberty tools. blenders that go with all of their collections. So you are getting six Liberty fat quarters in there and the instructions. Now, the fat quarters on their own have sold out. So this collection that I had earlier, they've gone now. Gone. However, so this is the only way you can get these now. Um, and you also get an entrance into the prize draw to win the um, threads pack worth 120 pounds so in this pack you've got and the good thing is is that once you've made this so you've got everything that you need here to make the cushion including all the points in the back and the front everything you need 34.99 full instructions and then you can make it again all got very clear photos everything you need you've got layout diagrams you've got all the cutting guide and you've got all those Liberty Fat Quarters. This is the only way you can get hold of the Liberty Fat Quarters now. Fewer than 20 of this bundle left now. Right. We've also, we've got the bundle as well. But in, instead of using the Wiltshire Shadows, which is in this one, we've put a white solid fabric in it. Again, obviously, entrance into the prize draw, full instructions. One, two, three, four, five. So the, it, the, the price is different because, because the plain fabric is just a white plain. It just meant we could make more bundles because we didn't have enough of the Wiltshire shadows to do it. So also, it's a little less expensive. A little more affordable. I can never get these words right. Cheap, expensive, affordable. It's more affordable. Yes, I can never remember which one you can say. It's more affordable. So you get the white. The other one has got the oyster. This one has got a plain white. And obviously you get the instructions as well. Fewer than 20 of those as well. These are going very, very fast. However, if you want the instructions just on their own, there we go, we do have those as well. So if you want to make the intertwined triangles cushion, 9.99. Now this would look lovely in a tilde. It would, but would also it not? in a cave. Or, or a cave or anything really actually just in a plane just a plane my original idea was yeah it would be nice in a plane rainbow colors yeah maybe you got the rainbow bundle early it'd be yeah. really good in that any of your favorite fabrics to be honest and all you need is um six fat quarters now obviously um susie's going to be going through this in a moment and showing you how it works and how to make it it is a really great cushion because it's got everything it's got your patchwork front it's got your feature border edge and it's got a patchwork back so it's a great set of instructions to have that you can use for your stash because we've all got six fat quarters haven't we we like to add only six <laughs> we'd like yes at least we'd like to say we have them but we know that we all have really anyway anyway um right where's let me take the mega bundle. Mega bundle you over to Susie. Over. And we're going to talk about the collection. Okay, I'll stop right. ironing. Morning, Good Susie. Good morning. Interrupting you with your ironing. Yes. So, before we launch into the cushion, yes. tell me about the heirloom collection. So, um, 
the heirlooms, this is number three. So what Liberty have done is they've taken five prints. Yeah, it's, nice it's really hot, that. <laughs> <laughs> um, they've taken five prints that they have reconfigured and redrawn from the archives and some of it's new. Right. And they have, with each release, they put a different colour tone through it. Okay. So this one, I would say, is the most pastel version they've right. we've had okay. so far. But you're still seeing the same ones through all the And others. it's always five? It's always the same five prints, right. but in different colour tones. Oh, okay. And the concept behind it is that it matches their timeless editions. So that's the Wiltshire Shadows, Lazenby right. Silhouettes, and your Emily Bells. Oh, okay. So all of those are... Liberty blenders, mm. but we call them timeless. But heirloom is that um, small scale collection that will actually coordinate with all of those all timeless of those. editions. Oh, I see. Yeah, I mean, and these are beautiful. They are stunning. Now, over half of the mega bundle has gone. So, if you want that, you need to get checked out because the fat quarter bundle has gone completely. But and over half of the um, half. Over half of the half metre bundle has gone. So it's like tongue twister. It is though, tongue twister <laughs> date, but we are also selling them individually. So this one is um, posy sprig. three posy sprig. Yeah. So this is posy sprig, um, and the, with this one, what the designers wanted to do was bring together tiny little spring flowers. Um, <clears throat> but with lots of background work, so you've got space to fussy cut, but you've all, they are all multi-directional. So if you're a beginner quilty, you haven't got to worry about right. placement. It also makes it incredibly economic for whatever craft, soft craft I you're doing. I love this shade of blue. It's I don't really even, subtle. To me, it's like 1950s blue. Yeah, it's, a, it's not quite a sky blue. Not no, it is blue. that real it's vintage blue. It is. Isn't it's it? a very Absolutely nice blue. gorgeous. That coordinates really well with the peaches, the pinks. Of course, yes, with it, all these colours in. Exactly. So this is eight ninety nine for half a metre. And you get an entrance into the drawer. Even if you just buy half a you could just buy half a metre and you get into the shop to win £120 worth of thread. Um, but obviously, if you want more than a half a metre, this is cut to order. Unlike the bundles, which are, you know, five half metres mm. bundle. If you want more than a half metre, put that number of units in your basket and it will be sent as a whole cut piece. So if you want to make yourself a beautiful Liberty dress. Or this would make a fabulous dress or blouse. Just, yeah. I mean, Absolutely. it is gorgeous. I'm thinking yeah. that with a pair of jeans. And then you could fussy cut from your scraps as you've mm. cut buttons to go Beautiful. down. Or the even white. like um, the binding on a uh, white yeah, the river, Yeah, or the revere on a you Just know, shirt gorgeous, collar would it? look amazing. I love that colour. Yeah. It's, it is that kind of home front. It's one of my favourite programs. It is a 19... Home front blue. Yeah. 1950s sort of 40s 50s yeah, vibe it has it, got it? it has got that yes. right so that's one of them yes let's go should we have this one next Hedrosian. so remember these are all in the bundle but i'm if you want all of them but if you this one i love the the navy color in this this is the most popular on pre yeah actually. not surprised see this is my is this dress. yours oh okay this yeah mine is definitely that dress. one that's gorgeous. It this is. is um the lining of a jacket, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean this is patches on your denim jacket yeah. elbows. Ooh. And you can see where the design came from. You can imagine walking past a hedgerow. As I drove in today, despite the rain, they are the hedgerows were starting to pop, weren't they? Yeah, I noticed on yellows. the motorway, which is miserable. Yeah. There were white. Yesterday. There was white. Yeah. I was like, those are flowers. I know. Yeah. Flowers. It's not snow. Yay! No. But, it's definitely flowers. But you've got your anemones in here. Mm. You've got daisies. You've got roses. You've got all those iconic spring, summer yeah, flowers that we it. love and see popping up. And I love the fact that you've got this sort of pale coral yes. and this sagey green against the navy. Yeah, it really does just make it make, stand. It really makes it and pop. And then with the line work detail and the brushstroke detail, it then gives you dimension to the flowers. So they yeah. actually look like they're cut. I think that is the beauty of Liberty is yes. that it's very detailed. It is. And yeah. and you think, well, how do they do that? And I think it is that line work. It isn't is it? the skill of the draw, you know, it's the artist just gorgeous, in the design isn't it? studio. They are amazing at getting the detail in there, which means that whatever size you're cutting, 
and for the project I designed we're cutting down to two and a half inches which sounds a lot but you think two and a half inches of fabric to get that amount of detail mm. in every two and a half oh, it's inch amazing, is isn't phenomenal. It? And remember, yes. this is quilting weight cotton. And I know that we sort of traditionally think of Liberty as lawn, but this is quilting weight cotton. Yep. So this is perfect for yep. dressmaking, home sewing, quilting. Yeah, absolutely. And it washes and wears really well. It's screen printed. So the colour is through the whole of the through the whole thing. So remember, anyone who buys this, whether you just buy half a metre, you are in the prize draw to um, win the thread. Right, next one. So this is Marguerite Meadows. So Marguerites are those beautiful little daisy type flowers and oh, you can definitely. see them dance. You can and it's got that beautiful vintage blue in it exactly. as well. And the coral and the navy. Yep. And the there is movement to There this is fabric. because they very cleverly designed the foliage in the background to be not straight. It's, it's all staggered. So it gives that flow through mm. the picture. And if you look at it uh, from different angles, I know if you look on camera now, you can almost see zigzags. I know I can, that's weird, because I can't really? see the zigzags you when I look at it. You can't when you're close up, but from a distance, yeah. you see a zigzag. How strange. Which is really amazing. But again, this is a fabulous one for borders oh, and course, for yes. um, your binding, because mm. you've got so much detail in the, in such a little yes, piece. Yes, it's beautiful if you're for making, binding. I mean, this is a bridesmaid's dress <laughs> for a little person. It would yeah. look amazing, wouldn't it? And it could coordinate with pretty much mm. every colour you're going to have. Yeah, it's in your, lovely. Your but wedding. even if, like you say, you wanted to bind a quilt, just half a metre, yeah. and you could bind the whole thing, Absolutely. and it is gorgeous, It's so isn't pretty it? with the colours, and it picks out so many of the other colours in the collection, but I'm sure that it you would find it would colour match in particularly with any of the preceding liberty collections okay because they are colours that are used time and time again through the liberty collections that's why i said to you the the prize draw box of threads although they were designed for english the um, did i bring that english with garden me? they actually coordinate so well with this collection as well so this is the this is the prize draw box of threads Look at it. So you've got we'll those get the box. Yes. Yeah, so it actually. You went. Yeah. Look, see that colour. Yeah. That colour. You've got the corals that go the, with but it. But the green in that. The, the green. Sage green is in there. But then you can use. You know. You oh, can I like introduce. The variegated yeah. The variegated well. as nice, your quilting would look amazing. Wouldn't wow. It? Yeah. So anyone who buys anything Liberty will be putting the prize draw to win these. Now you can see why I needed to win. Yeah it. this is why you <laughs> needed it yes but you see unfortunately we won't be able to give the prize to, to anyone. I'm not allowed. But it is £120 and it's yours. Perfect. Gorgeous. Have we got these available to sell? No. No. I think we should, should only have it in the prize draw. I think we should. But we've only got one left so that's why it's in the prize draw. Right next Yes, Liberty that's Marguerite one. Meadow. And then we've got the iconic Ditsy. Which, which one are we doing? going for? Let's do this big oh, one. Oh, we're going for the big one. So that's Floral Joy, this one. So this is a bit more open than the hedgerow one and is on a white background, which makes the flowers... Um, it almost seems like night and day, I think, in yes, this collection. Yes, Because you've it? got the dark background for one and you've got the light background for the other. That's but very vintage Liberty, it is, isn't it? It is. It's almost Mamie, but not quite. And you've, But you've got tiny little flowers. You've got your harebells and your um, little bluebell designs in here. Yeah. But again, the foliage is not straight. It's on, a, on curves it and is. angles. It is. What's this so one called? This then? is called Floral Joy. Right. Um, but you've got that beautiful blue that's not quite a denim and not mm. <laughs> yeah no it's gorgeous it's a really it? nice I love that blue. blue it's like a cornflower yes and the um corally pink color coming through yes and that runs through the whole of this collection yeah, isn't it so that coral pink if you like your wiltshire shadows so um ballet slippers would look lovely against this ballet slippers is one of the wiltshire shadows oh okay but any of the lazenby um, silhouettes would look amazing against this. Because we have got some we have. of these. We'll deal with this yeah, in a so minute. Yeah, so you've got oyster, you we'll talk any of those, yeah. But that's a really lovely one. Right. Movement Remember, these are, all these are all in the half metre bundle, but if you want, if there's just one that you fancy, this is where we're going through them individually, available by the half metre, but you can multi-buy if you want them as a bigger piece, and they will be sent to you as a whole cut piece. And then this is the final one, 
So this in is this little, heirloom collection. Little buds. And little you can buds. see tiny, tiny little this buds. This is proper, proper liberty. But if you it? look, as the camera's panning in, it becomes a polka dot from a distance. Mm. And then as you zoom in closer, you see the incredible detail of the dancing buds. Hmm. that even their colour tone isn't flat. They've got graduated colour tones within each one. So again, this is fantastic for all your small piece work. So reveres on cuffs, yeah. on EPP. collars, EPP, mm. but binding, again, yes. would be yeah. phenomenal. Borders. And this is where Liberty really comes into its own, isn't it? In this tiny, tiny yeah, scale absolutely. print. absolutely. Because of the quality of the printing, it's so precise. Exactly. And you also see not just one shape, of bud there are you know a good five six mm. different shapes of buds but individual leaves pop up every so often as well but it's the fact that you've got so much movement in it because everything's at a different angle yes absolutely so again gorgeous, no waste it? fabric which and it's lovely up. and maybe you've bought one of the others that you love you know maybe you've bought this one that one is going to coordinate beautifully yep, so if you haven't colors. bought the mega bundle but maybe you've bought one that one, look at the colours, how well it yep. coordinates and the scales of prints. So it even works so well. You could put, like, your waistband could be this for your dress oh, or a yes. tie, even. Yeah, that's true. You know, just to make it look a, a bit mm. zhuzhy. But again, you can do, like, the front uh, piece for your. Hi, piece. when I was in a, t a teenage in the early 20s, we had an, a Liberty in York, so I was able to make a lot of my clothes in there, mm. fabric from Sue in Derbyshire. Mm, how nice. What happened to Liberty in York then? I don't even know they had a store in York. Well, they did. They did, yes, obviously. It was an Used to. Yeah. How nice. I bet you've got some lovely Liberty clothes. Have you kept them though? There's the question. Right, you so those are all of the um, fabrics by the half metre. But if you want to buy all of them because you can't decide, which I wouldn't be surprised at, and save £5, this is. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. Three pounds, I have my glasses on. I can never work out what I can see. Save three oh, pounds. Ones as well. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got all the wrong pairs. Um, all five of them, five half metres for 41 95 saving three pounds. And they are all designed so that they go together. And they've been done by that by Liberty so that we know they do, because they're very good at that, getting things to go together and colours. 41 95 and you'll be entered into the shop to win to win the set of threads worth £120. Hand selected by Liberty and actually works beautifully with this collection. Anyone who buys anything that's got the name Liberty in it between now and midnight will be entered into the draw. Anything that says Liberty, basically, fat quarter, bundle, kit, anything, anything. Right, should we go through the coordinates? Yeah. Oh, we can see how it coordinates then. Are these yes. an individual, Hannah? Right. So these are the coordinates. So let's start with the darkest one, shall we? Wiltshire Shadow. This is Wiltshire Shadows yeah. in Navy. Um, it's probably got a much nicer name. In fact, I have to it say... Is, no, it is Navy. Oh, I'm always really They're disappointed disordered. by fabric colour names, but Liberties are very good. They do spend quite they, a lot yeah. of time. Other people's names. are just really... And you think, no, it's not that colour at all, but yeah. those are very good. Yeah. But it is... It is a navy that has got tone in it as well. It's not just a flat. Well, navy I know it's not just plain. because you get it's tone on tone with this um, iconic berries and foliage design. But I, it, as you say, coordinates really well. Where does well. he but look? This, if I put them with that. But if you use it, compare it to using just a plain fabric. Oh, it's got movement and depth, absolutely. hasn't it? Absolutely, and suddenly your quilt comes alive because of that. You've got that real iconic um, overall mm. design rather than you, it looks like just the pattern. Yeah, no, I think it's design. lovely. And yes. I've, I've used this sort of fabric rather than using a plane when yeah. you've got something with a bit of a texture. But look yeah. how well that goes with the bundle. Yeah, it looks really lovely. So that's the navy. We've Wilshire used shadows. it on the quilt, the big quilt. Oh, yes. Yeah, so the, yeah. the, um, the quilts there behind me, these are just ones that Liberty have made and um, Susie has been allowed to borrow for them to showcase their collection. We don't have instructions for them no. and Liberty hasn't created them and we have no idea why. But but can you see in the background of this one, this has got the um, this navy, navy yeah. 
Oh, the navy. And I've used Liberty it as the binding shadows. and the centre of this one. It as goes well. together beautifully. It does. Yeah. So that's the navy. Now we've got another couple of blues in the Wiltshire shadows. So this one, I think this is the next colour along. Oh, I need to give you the code, Hannah. <laughs> it's got the code um, GJYV12. So this is powder blue. This is more. Isn't it? This is called cloud. Yeah. So I'm just. If I put all of the bundle, you can see and how I think well they this go. This is a spring cloud, isn't it? And you, it really shows against. Oh, it does. In hedro it? bloom, because the centre of the big roses has got that oh, it's, exact it's colour. It's exact. In it. Oh yes. yes. So if you want a blender yeah. that will complement as well as match exactly, this is perfect. And remember, you will also, because it's got the word liberty in it, you will be entered in the price draw. Yeah. So that's um, the fabric that we've put on the side there is this fabric here. Eight, nine. So it's only eight forty nine. The, the Wiltshire Shadows. Um, it's a little bit more affordable. It's a great staple to have in your collection it anyway, is. isn't it? Because, I mean, you can see the print better uh, in here I than the navy. This half <laughs> done, instead of the oyster, if you had oh, that, yes. it would make the, the intertwined triangle bit mm. really stand out, all these prints. You'd get a totally different look. And the kits, the two kits that we've got for the cushion have sold out now. <laughs> but you can get the instructions on their own. So if you bought the fabrics, you could still make it. Yeah. Because the instruct the, the, the two kits have sold out. But this would be a lovely one to put with. It would be a that. really stunner. Yeah. Right. There is another blue one as well, which is slightly different. Um, it ends in one moment. Is that the sky? Um, yes, it does. Opal. Opal. Really? So this is just a paler blue. So if we just put it, so just so you can see the difference. Yeah, so this has got grey tones. That's the cloud and that's the opal. And this is the opal. So this is much more, I would say, baby blue. Yeah, much more, and yes. And this is your grown-up sort of cloud, um, not cl well, yeah, the cloud, but blue. the greyer yes. blue. This is definitely the March cloud we've had. <laughs> yeah, it, <laughs> it is. Weekend. Whereas this is your sort of yeah. cleaner baby blue. But you can see it, it goes. It still goes. They all go because they these I mean, colours have been this, selected to go on with this it. One. Yes, those two Absolutely are beautiful, together. aren't they? Yeah. Oh, that's so. Lovely. Again, if you did your collar, you know, a collar in this mm. to go to go with your shirt in that. Yeah, that's would gorgeous. look amazing. Yeah, it? just finished. Yeah. And luxury. Absolutely. Oh, and I well, eye-catching. Because that. That, it means that when you're wearing it, people f don't think, oh, they're wearing such and such, mm. so and so. High street stores. Whereas this makes it individual. Yes, absolutely. You feel yes. much, yeah, really good wearing yeah, because it. Because it's a, it's a standout piece. It's beautiful. Yeah. And by by treating yourself to half a metre of this, you, you can, can really add little details, exactly. can't you? Yes. So on the side graphics there for eight ninety nine, this is this the um the pastel liberty one, and Just then the, the main graphic is this the um, Wiltshire shadows. Mm. Right. I have another Wiltshire shadows. This oh this is the um that's oyster the white. The oyster white, yes. which is it's almost an ivory, but not quite. It's sort and it's of got a very subtle, it's slightly pink. Tone yeah, in it. which is why I get the oyster thing. Yeah. Oyster. I think it's almost skin tone. Yeah, it is. Now, this has been massively popular. I think it would make a really good... But, well, it coordinates so I mean, well. let me put these all you together with it again. It all. You can, so yeah. this is the one that Susie's used in her kit. Yeah. Now, remember, the instructions are still available to buy on their own, um, but you can create your own kit. In fact, if you bought the bundle of half metres and a half metre of this, you can make two cushions. Because you, you only need fat quarters, so if you, you bought could half meters, you probably make three. Really? Mm. How I nice could get that one be? and a half out oh, okay. of the bundle, mm. so you can you could probably make three out of that lot oh, if, wow. with careful cutting. Right. But yeah, it's and I we, I love when you interchange the different um, feature fabrics. The be mm. timeless. Oh, it does. It, it makes changes the, it, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it, the whole thing looks different because here, these pink flowers really stand out rather than with the, on the cloud and on the opal. 
the blues really pop yeah, forward. Yeah, they do, don't they? So it's it does I love it. I mean, this is a really great blend of the oysters. Absolutely. Obviously, to use yeah. with this collection. I, but I know a lot of you buy it to go with your whole Liberty collection. I buy this in the Bolt because I use it so much. It is yeah. a lovely. It's a very pale pinky, like an oyster shade. Mm. It is. This inside of an oyster shell. Um, doesn't it look lovely with our um, shop to win thread? If you were lucky enough to win this, yes. if you just bought half a metre of the oyster, because it's got the word liberty in it. You could do some beautiful free motions with this, couldn't you? They go really nicely, don't they? They do. Oh, that one. That one, love that one. That'd look at that. Amazing. You get variegated in that. Free motioned. Beautiful. There we go. And orophil free. Um, Variegated threads are incredible. Delicious. Cute. Yes, I love them. Yeah, I am a big. Right, we've got um, another pink. So this is almost like your baby pink, isn't it? This yes. one ends in 27. Yes. What's this one called then, Hannah? This is rose pink. Rose pink. Yeah. So again, beautiful. This one does go really it well really, again. Really makes the little buds pop, doesn't it? It does actually, yeah. just with the little buds, it's beautiful. But yeah. look at the pink, how it matches up with that. But if you're really doing, well. you know, if you are have, planning a wedding and you've got pink as your theme, it wouldn't it be nice to have little bags for your attendants? Yeah. Or for your, I mean, mm. if you can afford to make little gift bags tiny little gift bags with a candle in or something Beautiful. for your guests. I know, not necessarily everybody but you know special a chosen, ones chosen few chosen guests that it would be or one gorgeous, per couple wouldn't it? but <laughs> it, you know it's one per table maybe <laughs> no because you could get a lot out of it yeah, you could actually you, you could if you just get made a lot bags. of little gift bags but that but it's that just things like that that make a difference but using a wiltshire shadow as your blender mm. in a project makes a massive difference to how the feature fabrics look. Yes. Even if you're not using Liberty. First of all, question why. But, why? But <laughs> if you're not using a Liberty, using a, f a, a blender that has got detail on it makes the whole thing go wow. It does, doesn't yeah. it? It really, it, it does, because it gives it that movement. This one ends in 91. So this has got that coral tone in. Oh, yes, it has. So it really brings in that What's peachy coral. Called? So this oh, is Peony Blush. blush. Peony Blush. It yeah. always have nice names. But yes, this is much deeper and does pick up that. Yeah. And it does look it? like a blush. I mean, yeah, all, you know when you walk down the makeup aisle? Yeah. yeah and you, all the blushes look like this, mm. don't they? That is lovely, yeah. isn't it? So that's really Peony Blush. Colour. 8 49 for half a metre. Remember, you can multi-buy it, so, and it will be sent to you as a whole cut piece. And then the final ones, this is not Wiltshire Shadows, but it's no. still one of their blenders. This is Liv or the Timeless Collection. And I love this one. This is the Snowdrop Spot, and the I love snow this. Snowdrop Spot. It is directional because the snowdrops will not grow sideways, believe it or not. They are growing in but it lines. Is, what I love the fact, it's like a pay, it. it is a plain fabric, yeah. but with the snowdrops, when you just cut little pieces, you just get a bit, but if Absolutely. you cut strips of it, you see this whole, whole row thing. of snowdrops. So which makes it amazing for borders. And let me just put this collection yeah, goes so against well. it. Again, yeah. that gives you a different look, because this is more of a, um, a pinky beige. Yeah, it's a, it's not quite a taupe and it's not quite a pink, is it? It's it's sort of a yeah neutral tone. I think they call this nude, don't they? I, I know Liberty don't, but right, it is know, that shade. It's, yes, it's that sort of nude shade mm. of things, isn't it? But so really if nice. you want to use one of the Liberty blenders, very difficult to choose, I know, but obviously we've gone through them all, so you can see them. Um, don't forget, so we still have some of these mega bundles left, which is the half metres, but only um, only a handful of those left. The fat quarter bundles have sold out, as have the kits, but we still have the instructions available, and you can create your own kit if you like. Um, don't forget, anyone who buys anyone who buys anyone who buys anything Liberty today will be entered into the prize draw to win this box of threads, £120, worth £120, and the winner will be announced tomorrow. Right. So, Susie, you're going to show us how to make this amazing kit. Well, we might not make it all. Well, <laughs> some of it. Now, the bundle, the kits have sold out, but we still have the instructions left. You need six fat quarters. 
to make this. We still have half the half meter bundles left and we have the um, Wiltshire Shadow. So you can create your own kit if you like. And remember, if you buy half, six half meters, you can make two to three cushions or use bits from your stash. So 9 99 Right. Well, if you buy extra half meters of your favorite one of the blenders, use that for your backings. Right. Instead of the oh, instead extra of fabrics. It's got and fab you'll actually yeah. be able to make two cushions. Fantastic. Using the bundle okay. as well. So, so yeah. um, how do we make it then? So how do you make it? Well, first of all, I have just realized that I have gone color blind. <laughs> right. <laughs> in the instructions there is two layout diagrams that I colorized mm. and in one of them I've called and in the cutting guide you've got the correct cutting measurements but I've muddled blue and green oh <laughs> so you just have to reverse blue and green. blue and green okay so what I've called green is in fact blue, blue. but it's you will know that I've got it wrong because one of them says border fabric and it's obvious that that's blue to anyone else than Susie Duncan, who clearly has gone colour blind because yeah. <laughs> I thought that was green. Right. <laughs> um, so apologies for that one. Um, but I will, I will uh, make amends on that one. But yeah, crazy. I've only just noticed as well because I was reading it all through and then I thought, but my border's not green, it's blue. How weird. Um, so you're going to follow your instructions, <laughs> switching those. But I've also given you, in the, towards the back, there's a plain one. So if you want to colour this to be your own design, oh, okay. you can do that because you may not want what I've done. Mm. Um, it was, you know, that's just my idea. But if you cut it the way I've suggested, you will have enough leftover to do... Um, your prairie points and you'll have some left over after that to do at least half another cushion right okay more. so that's why I said if you bought half a meter of one of the mm. the um, timeless editions then you can add in that as your backing right you'll and get then you can get cushions. even more out of it yeah. fantastic and um, the instructions are written so that the prairie points will I've done eight per side I think it is um, because I didn't want them too close together. I've spread them out quite mm. wide. So if you want closer prairie points, then you're going to have to cut more but if you Well, if you follow the instructions, then yeah. you get ones like that. So you get, you know, okay. you get what you have there. But once you've done... The first thing you're going to do is make a load of half-square triangles. And I've, again, given you specific instructions as to which um, fabrics you match to do your half-square triangles. So I'm going to go through a half square triangle, the technique that's in my pattern. There are loads of different ways of doing half square triangles. Um, you can do whatever suits you and works for you. But this one, um, with the amount of fabric you've got, worked really well. So um, I like to mark my lines because I tend to chain piece. Then if I've marked them, I'm literally sewing along a line. I'm not having to think, oh, don't forget, <laughs> add a quarter. I can just go for it. So what I do is place my quarter inch line on my ruler along the diagonal on the wrong side of the fabric and mark with a friction pen or any other fabric marker the quarter inch. Turn it round and place this time, make sure that half inch line is on the line you've just drawn. Your quarter inch is going through your diagonal and again, you're gonna mark out the other side. So I've got the tram lines there that are exactly a quarter inch from the center. I'm gonna put that right sides together with another one of our fabrics and then I'm gonna use a pin to hold it. Um, I, because I chain piece, I do pin it and also I find, because you're going up one side and down the other, you do find the fabric will walk slightly. The measurements I've given are plenty. I've allowed for wobbles, okay. shall we say. I've not gone for the traditional add seven-eighths of an inch mm. business because I can't be doing with measuring. No, I'm the same. I go add an inch. Add an inch. And then I you've like got to leeway. Trim. Yeah. But I think it's especially if you're a beginner 
If you're working on very narrow margins, you're going to struggle, aren't you? So that's why I've gone for the um, extra. I was, I was like that extra because even though I think I sew straight and I draw my lines, I still trim slightly different amounts off each yep, one. Absolutely, you do. And it just makes it a bit easier. So that's great. So, you know, even if you're new to this, you can still follow the instructions. Absolutely. And um, Susie's put plenty of room for manoeuvre. Yeah, I like, you know. I like to make it life easy. The other tip I have, if you're using a machine, if your sewing machine has a... Um, well, with the 782, you've got the HP plate, and with the 780, if you've mm. bought that before. So you've got the HP plate, which means you've oh, you, there's no way your fabric can get caught and going down. And the 720 down. Pro. Exactly. I so that. Yeah. So if you have those, use your HP plate or your straight stitch plate, because then it's not going to disappear under the feed dogs, because you're starting on points, mm. aren't you? Um, and so that does make a difference. I think when you, when you when I first got my machine with the HP play, I, I thought it just meant it went faster. I hadn't realised it means that also the fabric doesn't get pulled into the machine. No. So you don't get that loss of fabric or having to use an extra piece of fabric before you sew. You can start stitching right on the edge. You can. And the, and the foot is quarter of an inch. <laughs> it's brilliant. It's, I know. Brilliant. Who'd have thought that they'd have thought about it? I know. It's wonderful, isn't <laughs> so it? So I've then cut those apart. Um, into straight down that diagonal and I'm now going to press them out now you can spend as long as you like working out which way to press if you want to but mm. my advice press them all to the darkest fabric um, or for each one and that way you won't have too many that don't interlock really nicely. okay so just press them but the dark if you side. want to sit here and work out all their interactions and press accordingly fair play to you but my life's too busy to do that so they don't look very square at the moment so what I'm going to use now there are lots of ways of squaring off I like to choose the so what ruler are you using I'm there? using the stripology squared mini mm. because it's the one that has a two and a half inch right so when you say about trimming these down half so square triangles there's different I guess everyone has their own way Absolutely. But is this using this, does this save you time? Well, it means that um, I can quickly see because you've got your diagonals marked. So I can check that my diagonal is going along my seam line that I've just mm. sewn and through the um, opposite corners. Okay. And then I'm going to cut up the two and a half inch up. lines. Yeah. So my two and a half inch square, it's a shame that it's white okay. really, is this one here. So uh, having positioned it, the centre so cross, you know it's yep, perfect. I can then cut up this side yeah. and this side, pull that away and get rid of my trims, turn it round 90 degrees and realign. But this time, these horizontal lines will lie on those cut edges mm. I've just made. And then I will again cut up. Oh, we've got a price compact. That is brilliant because I, d I love half square perfect. triangles. I, yeah. I haven't got one of these. And <gasps> I do a lot of trimming. Yeah. And that's brilliant. Because yeah. what I tend to do is trim lots of them all at the same yeah, time. I do. Yeah. But then I have to turn it all round. Yeah. And this way you don't. You don't. And you don't have to. So this ruler's just back in stock. $39.99. Now, I always. I always look on that Long River website when I want to yeah, price I comparison. Yeah, I do. I do. It's the easiest one to go mm. to for that. Isn't so, it? how much then? Well, on the Long River, we got um, Hannah's done a little price comparison for us. Fifty pounds and ninety. Is that ninety six? Weird price. Weird price. But exactly the same ruler. Crazy. I mean, obviously, we're not. We haven't price comparison anywhere. That's the one place that I always look. And if you're trimming lots of half square triangles, yeah. which to be honest, you know, if you're a patchworker, you will be, or if you're just starting, it's kind of the basic, after you've gone from a square, this is the next This thing, is the isn't next it? move. Um, but it's also good for your quarter squares because it's got those double diagonals. Oh, I see. You can do your quarter squares. And it's got. And what size square does it go so up to? So it will go from two and a half to six and a half oh, inches. But wow. for cutting fat quarters mm. or scraps this is a fab ruler and it's a really good one for on the go because it will fit a small 
Oh, um, that's true. Cutting yes. that. So if you do workshops, you've got your eighth or... and three eighth markings on here. You've got your half inch, so you mm. can do quarters. You can do um, seven eighths. You can do every single cut you ever could ever want. And, and I it's guess got because both it's, sides, um, because it's creative grids, they yeah. will have tutorials. Absolutely, yes, they do. So, yep, there's extensions. And I on would it. suggest you look at that. I've had some creative grid rulers for years, and then realised there was a tutorial, and didn't realise my ruler did the things it did. I know it's amazing. So, isn't it? <laughs> so with this one, when you turn it round, yeah. you're on a quarter cut size. So if you do need to cut quarter cuts, quarter inches, some I mean, some people like um, two and a quarter for board, you know borders because yes. then that gives them a yeah. one and a half inch border. So you can work out. You can use this ruler. This so is you can buy it like I would buy this. I mean, look at that. So you're saving twenty pounds, basically, yeah, aren't would, you? This is an absolute must. If you were to buy it on the Long River, for, and I would buy this for my half square triangles, and then find yeah. out it did other things too. Absolutely. But that is yeah. genius. It's really useful. Fifty pounds ninety six on the Long River, and you can square up blocks wow. as That's well with it. That's actually ten pounds difference, isn't it? So you don't have to just square up half square triangles. You can square up your blocks because it goes from the two and a half right up to okay. the six and a half. So whatever size blocks you're doing, you can square it as well. It's just a really all good all rounder, but it's handy size. Well, we had this on uh, last month and it sold out, and we've sold over half of the stock now of what of this one. I really want one of these. They are incredibly useful. Mm. Yeah. I mean, as you say, I spend my life for this project. I did a lot of half square triangle right. cutting, um, but I had a quilt that I was doing recently that had two hundred and seventy yeah. <laughs> triangles. This was an absolute. Oh godsend. well, just the fact you can do yeah. both sides. Yeah, both sides. And you can at once. still lay them all yeah. out and do both sides of lots. And of my them. tip, if you're doing mm. loads and loads, yeah, what I would suggest you do is get some sticky note or a sharpie, whichever you prefer and just put it just to the other side oh, of the line you're cutting. So you're not having to look. So that you don't have to oh, get it wrong. <laughs> yeah, no, I would do it, yeah, like a post-it note yeah. or something. Yeah, I didn't know if we were allowed brand Oh, rings. I don't know, is that a brand? Sticky oh, note. It's a bit like sellotape, isn't it? Yeah, but um, that would be my top tip. So top tip, and if 39.99, remember it's over 10 pounds more on the Long River, actually. Um, can we see the price comparison? Over £10 more. Use Susie's tip of putting a post-it note or something either side just to make it quicker. But you might be doing a cushion where you've only got a few. Yeah. But you might be doing a whole quilt. That's got too many. But if many. you're, I mean, this, <laughs> that for me, that is a must-have. Because I, I have, I still haven't got the whole um, strip on it. Have No, I know, I know, and I don't know why, but this to me, you know how we all have a ruler or a tool that we see and you think, yes, that's the one. Yeah. This would make a difference because I love a half square triangle. These two, I would. So have been this is what without. you get if you if you no, buy. No, that's a different one. When oh, that's a different. That's that's the quarter, the quarter one. That's the quarter okay. one. Right, but that you, one's if you want to cut your um, if you're cutting. Oh, we haven't got quarter this. So, increments. But what but you will is, do yeah. when you get it is like with this one, you will get a um, instruction Booklet. sheet with it, and no, then on that know. there's. There's always a QR code. There is, and but even if, if you've lost the instruction sheet, if you go to um, a Creative Grids website yeah. or YouTube, mm. you can just put in the name of the ruler, Stratology and you, it will mini. take you to any of the tutorials that are there on the on the um, available to watch. So you can learn. You know, oh, okay. different Because I think it. it is with the all of these rulers, you don't realise, you tend to use the your ruler for the same thing. Well, so I presume this on. has got the same... It's got the non-slip grip between so each of the So if you've got slots. other rotary cutting rulers, because other brands are available, um, the great thing about Creative Grids is these is the non-slip texture. Bitty and things. What, what they do um, differently to other slot rulers companies is that they put it between each and every cutting slot. I slots. wonder what it is. It's like a tape or, or I wonder whether they like come off. paste something on it yeah, and it, it makes it it's, rougher. It's almost like they've engraved it because it doesn't come off, it doesn't wear, but it is... Mm. it is. Because I've still got some of my non-creative grids rulers that I bought before I discovered these. And I used one the other day and it was slipping all over the place. Yeah. I'd forgotten yeah. what 
what they're like. And it, oh, I know. I was cut, I've got technology. an old ruler that's metric, and I needed to cut something metric, so I was yes. using that, and it was all over the place. Yeah, yeah. You don't realise how good those grips are. I think you don't also use them. because <laughs> they get specific designers. Yes. Well, well, not creative grid designers. Well, but it, they're, they're quilters okay. that design them. Um, and that's what, what, you know, they, they know what they need when they're coming to Yes, so it'd be like so me saying, I want it absolutely. to do. Yes. So yeah. Gudrun Erla yeah. obviously does a lot of half square triangles. She, yes, she does. But like you say, you could use it for just cutting very narrow strips. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. And you can see that there's diagonal lines there. So that's obviously a strip method yeah. that you can use it for. So Which when you I get yours home, do go onto the Creative Grids, Grids website. Just spend, you know, 10, 20 minutes looking at it because then you'll realise what it can do. Because I think we're all a bit guilty of get, just rushing in, going, I'll use it for that. And then years later going, no way. Is that what it did? Anyway. Right. Shall I quickly do a prairie point? I know yes, we're running I would love to see a prairie point. So this is where... So um, Hannah says, don't worry about time. Oh, OK. I don't, <laughs> Hannah. I have no concept of time in my life. Um, so this is where if you haven't best pressed your fabric before you've cut it, first of all, you've not read the instructions <laughs> because you really do want to best press fabric. That so you're if you're to new bias. to like what what's Susie talking about, best <laughs> press is, is a synthetic starch. So it's not like that super, super crispy starch stuff yeah the, the one where we all walk around like this it's a synthetic <laughs> starch that has been designed specifically really for sewing however i do use it with my for my general iron i was going to say i use it for everything um it is the most amazing bit of kit it doesn't um affect your fabric other than it it sort of straightens the fibers and makes them behave, behave. You know, they don't go off piece it makes them it makes it slightly crisper but it washes out. Yeah, you can you can instantly tell if a piece of fabric has been best pressed or not because it just feels different. It feels smoother. Now, which one have you behaves. got? Because we've I've got, got cherry blossom. We've got some new smells because I said to Barry the buyer. See, I call them flavours and that's really yes. bad because um, you don't drink it. I so. said, I always buy the lavender one. What other yes, smells I have do. we got? And he had a look and he found us all these new smells. Yeah. This is a new one. This one is cherry blossom. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. It is all right, isn't it? I it's like a ve one. it's very light. I thought it would smell a bit like old soap or something, but it doesn't. It smells of cherry. I know what you mean, like floral gum. Yeah, I really yeah. thought it would, but it, it no, smells it, of... It does, like a bowl of cherries. Yes. Mm. And the great thing is, is because I have the lavender one, it makes your ironing board sort of... It does. I was just going to say that, it, it? and it lingers for a long time. So I use a wool pressing mat. Yes, so do um, I. And so my, because it's wool, it's absorbed even more than a normal ironing table. So uh, the smell it's I get beautiful. in my workroom is amazing. But the, it is just a brilliant bit. So I was, so, I mean, it, and also it doesn't matter whether you buy the non-scented or any of the scents. It's just which one you like. But that's gorgeous. That's just a light cherry flavour. It flavor. is. Um, and it's a swizzle applicator, so you can turn it off. So for safety, yeah. I'm not. And it's not aerosol anything. or anything. It's pump no, action. No, it's pump action. But so once you've used Best Press, it you've had it. It delivers really. a fine mist. And you, yeah. You've had it. You have. you have to use it all the time. Yeah. What it does do brilliantly is when you've got a fat quarter with all those creases in it, um, yes. you can never get it out with water, can you? And you, you don't want to keep steaming your fabric no. before you sew because with quilting, the more steam you put on it, you only want to steam when you get to this stage. Yeah, it's, it's funny. Done. I used to be a super steamer, but since I've got Best Press, I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't use steam at all. No. Because I find that spraying with best no press and a hot iron. No water in my irons. Hmm? No water allowed in my irons. Oh, no, I don't use it anymore because of the best you press. You don't need it. Um, so you're just going to best press. You just mist slightly onto your fabric and allow it to just settle in. So I usually do, you know, my full fat quarter. By the time I've misted mm. the whole of it, the beginning is ready to go. Right. So you want it to settle in. Otherwise, it's... What's the point? It's a bit like putting conditioner on your hair and then <laughs> just instantly washing it off. Oh, OK. That's, you know, a waste of money. So you then can press it out and you'll, get, you'll feel that it gets a really nice crisp. And if you want something to be super, super crisp, then you can reapply. It's something that will build up. So, so if I bring you a fat quarter here, you can't buy these anymore because they're sold out. 
then we can see. So you know when you've got, do you want me to put this in? Can you see if I don't put this in the do middle? Do you want it in the middle? Oh, no, we can see there. Look at yeah. that. Good. So now, you know, when you buy your fat quarter or your half meter and all of these creases are in there, I'll move that. Um, yeah. Do you know what happens to those when you let yes, them iron? Yes, they disappear. No, they go black. Yes, yeah, they, the numbers disappear because they're heat. Yes, yeah, brilliant, isn't it? They're it's thermal. very annoying when you do it because I've ironed over these stickers before. Yeah, I used, I've gotten into the habit of sticking mine on the ironing <laughs> board. <laughs> because they go completely yeah. black. So yeah. you spray. There you go. It all, I mean, and these haven't been folded up for too long. If you buy one that's been folded for a while. Oh, I've had, you know, fabric off the bolt that's been on there for ages and it's still ironed. So we've only put it this side. Oh, that smells foul. It does. If I did try this side where we haven't sprayed, you can see yeah, it it's doesn't still quite there, come it? out, does it? No. But it's really, but the difference in feel. Oh, yeah, now this is a that. super crisp yeah. one. But the good thing is with best press, don't mm. worry. If you don't want that um, stiff feel to the fabric later on because you're dressmaking with it, don't panic because if you wash the piece, it comes out anyway. Um, so it doesn't remain heavy and starchy. It, it will just wash out. It doesn't clog your needle, which is the other one. Very like important part. That's so nice starch. now that's been best pressed. Right, Prairie Points. Prairie Points. We so got a bit sidetracked. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, sorry I got Easily done. Easily done. Do we need to be in the centre? Um, can be, yeah. Is that better? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Here we are. Hey. We're back in the room. So you're going to cut... Um, the squares out. I've given you a size which will give you a prairie point that's about an inch and a half high when you're finished. Okay. So, but if you want them any bigger than that, cut bigger squares. You need to cut but I guess you squares. can just play with that once you you've can. learned the technique yeah. from your instructions. There is a formula. Um, so, the height you want, mm. double it and add half an inch right. for your. But follow the instructions. Yeah. Work out how to make it. I think with, See, with I love a formula. Yeah, and I love it. I write my own formula yeah, I for do. things as well. I am. I, I write a formula for the other day, working out something, and it was add this plus that plus this for ease plus this for. Yeah. It's like chemi my chemistry yeah. formula. I love that. We were talking about that last night, and I said, "Oh, do you want to know what the chemical formula is?" And they're all going, oh, "For goodness sake!" <laughs> no, I only like a formula for quilting. Yeah, no, I love. Lovely. So, but do follow the instructions. So, Once you've learned how to make these, obviously, then experiment, practice, make smaller ones, make bigger ones. Exactly. But make them like this. To, so you fold it in half. So fold it in half diagonally. And if, the more precise you are, the better. Right. But it's not the end of the world if it's not quite right. But you want them as, as good as you can get, really. And if you've got a quilter's clapper... Mm. that's really handy as well just to hold down the seam okay. once you've pressed it um, but you want to then fold it in half and press again right so you've now got a four fold triangle okay yeah so you want to get that as pressed as you can and then you'll build up so I'm going to imagine this is the edge of my cushion yeah um, with you know so the whatever. very edge all this the way is, right, so okay. once you've done all of your piecing mm. and it is literally just follow the diagram just watch the orientation piece them and put them quarter inch okay. together so squares and half yep. square triangles and they all go together in a set design so I've right. done all I've almost finished putting that one together then you come to the then you'll put a border all around it and the reason you want the border to break the design mm. edge is because if you just start prairie pointing a border let me bring without the, the border over. It will, it will just be, we can move the iron. So let me just show you what Susie means. So yeah. can you see here? There we go. So we've got the border breaking the design. Yeah, no, that really works. Yeah, because if you don't, it's going to be A, too many seams and bumps mm. and lumps, but also your design feature disappears. Yeah, but I like the fact that you've used a big print for the border. So yeah. although it breaks it, it frames it. It does, yeah. And features it. Yeah, so remember so. that we don't have the kits left, but we do have the instructions. You need six fat quarters of fabric, but we do have the bundle of the Liberty anyway, so you could make your own. Right. So when you come, you've come to do the um, 
pro points. This your border fabric. So this is going to be the border for the one I'm doing here. Right. So the border fabric will be on the outside edge. So that will be joined there. Okay. Yep. 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 Your prairie points. You're going to start by interlocking them. But what I would suggest you do, and what I'm going to do, just to make it more sensible, is I'm going to. We're going to imagine that all these are joined together. Okay. There's my border on here. What you want to do is start in a corner mm. and lay them out in whatever order you're going to lay them out. Sorry, I've chosen a fabric that matches. Don't worry too much about their overlapping, how much they're overlapping at this stage. Just go with the flow. I've only pressed one. I, have, I thought I pressed a few more. They've obviously disappeared. I did have a few more pressed, but that's okay. You get the idea. Yeah, I've got um, the idea. So once you've done a whole side, <laughs> yes. roughly, so it is eight per side, so start at the beginning, go to the mm. end, then you want to do the shuffles. Oh, uh, okay, so then you go just to move. find the mid midpoint, right, and make sure that number f the two number you know, you've got four that side, four that side, and then work your way so that they're even distribution. Mm. Yeah. So, so that saves on measuring then. You yes, just you can measure it by all means. No, Life's I'm liking the too short. No, I'm liking the shuffle it, judge shuffle it. Shuffle it, judge of, it. Yeah, yeah, much so better. When you bring them together, you're going to lift up what the one on mm. the left and tuck in the one on the right. So oh, I like it's that. inside and will hold. And then what I do is just grab a clip and hold those two together. And then the same for the next one. And you want to try and make them the same overlap each way. Then you're going to run, unless you feel super brave, I would suggest you base stitch that into okay. place. Um, otherwise, you're going to have a lot of pins everywhere. <laughs> and do you do that on machine? I do, but it's, a, it's entirely okay. up to you. If you don't want to do that, that's fine. But Because then what you will then do is put your backing pieces over the top in position mm. so these will be going like this and you're going to stitch the whole thing all the way round. so when you turn it through these yeah, just, pop out but they look nice on the um on a cuff yeah absolutely but really yeah. overlap or down the front of a coat yeah, yeah be really nice oh, but prairie message. points um, I love prairie points made a yes. crocodile quilt for my grandson and just decided to edge it with prairie points amazed how easy it was for Maggie and Ayrshire yeah. what a great idea they, I think I'm thinking round the edge of my denim jacket yeah anything like that but it even just inside a border rather than on the outside edge like we have for the cushion oh, I see. if you do it on the inside edge inwards. you can face in you can face out completely yeah, and give it that look. real 3d exactly well that's fab thank you so much that's Susie. All right. um, it's been lovely seeing how all of that works and i know we haven't had as much time for demo no but, that's um, all right at least we've had a long conversation about well yeah and cutting yeah which but is great. which is the fundamental of quilting so right yeah. Um, so we are, the kits have sold out for this, but we do have instructions. We do have instructions alone. If you want to create your own kit, you'll need six fat quarters. But if you buy the bundle of the, um, the have we got the half meter bundle left? Very very low in stock. You can still make. You can make two then, two or three possibly. But there's the instructions on their own. Or you can use your stash. You can use whatever you like. If you've got maybe just a little bit of liberty you could use a little bit and use some plain fabric so this is what the cushion looks like full instructions 9.99 then you can make loads it's got a patchwork back beautiful front and the um the prairie points hooray i've bought the pattern i have masses of material in my stash i can't justify more material just love the cushion though oh, thank, you, thank for, you maggie oh thank you maggie i know and i think that's that's great that we have the options where if you want an identical one you could buy the kit but if you know that you've got loads of fabric in your stash and it is just six fat quarters then you can buy the instructions 9.99 and then you can create it yourself beautiful or use this block and make a quilt yes and put prairie points around the edge of your quilt well if you increase the size overall of each of the squares it will make a big quilt oh yes yeah, so you could just yeah just think of all there's lots and lots of different options but you could use up your whole stash use a different 
fabric for each of the squares and you yep. could make like a sample quilt. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for joining me for this hour. I'll Absolutely. see you back here Another in an hour. hour. Yeah. We're just under an hour now. Yeah. Um, with your next um, lap mm, quilt. Yeah, new. Brand line. new, brand new. More top tips and sewing advice from Susie. So don't forget that Susie will be back here at 11. So if you've got any other questions, um, come back for then. I will see you back here in a few month, minutes time. Months, even. <laughs> You, um, I know you've break. been away a bit. It's but. a long break. No, <laughs> minutes. In a few minutes' time for the Shashko Hour. So if you love Shashko, always wanted to try Shashko, we have got everything for that. But also, we're going to start off with uh, mine and Hannah's favourite brand new extra wide backets. I'll see you back <gasps> here in a couple of minutes. <laughs> Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one P&P with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to SewingStreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. 
Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Welcome back to Sewing Street. So now this hour is the Shashko hour. So we've got lots of Shashko fabric threads, kits, books, all. However, nothing to do with Shashko. We um, we saw some new extra wide backings on the system. I love an extra wide backing because it's not just about quilting. It's great for homewares and dressmaking as well. These are gorgeous and they're brand new and they're moda. And Hannah is going to come on and be my glamorous assistant. These are absolutely beautiful. They're called Gradients Auras. And this one is turquoise. I love it when people say turquoise, don't you, Hannah? Instead of tur I say turquoise. turquoise. But I always think it sounds dead posh. Turquoise. turquoise. Look at this, turquoise. Do you say turquoise? Look how wide that is. Gorgeous, isn't it? It's like the sea. Ooh, just tripped over the camera. <laughs> it is like the sea, isn't it? It's sort of blues and greens and, and bubbles. But it just random. What's great about it actually is that um, the so non-directional, which is always useful, isn't it? Now what you can't tell from there, it's really soft. It's really, really soft. Now, it's 14 99 for half a metre, but remember, it's 274 centimetres wide, which is 108 inches, so that's more than double normal quilting weight fabric, but not double the price, less than double the price. And that is beautiful, isn't it? Now, that's what half a metre looks like. So, quilt backing, obviously, brilliant for that because it means you don't have to join the fabric. However, it's also great for dressmaking because you don't have to buy as much fabric. Um, you have to measure your patterns to see how much you'll need to buy. Just lay them out. Um, really good for homewares, but it's brilliant for bedding as well because it's wide enough. When you think of the width of that double king size bed, you could make um, duvet covers, sheets, brilliant for tablecloths. Thinking summer tablecloth, be lovely. How about lightweight, lightweight summer curtains or even curtain lining? Um, Hannah wants a jumpsuit. I mean, it's beautiful. I love the fact you've got these big splodges of turquoises and greens and then purples here and there. And then the little dots, which are almost like bu bubbles in purples and corals. $14.99. Remember, it's moda. And I, you just have to take my word for it because you can't tell. It's really soft. It's beautiful. So we also have it in other colourways. So that's the turquoise one. We've got it in pinks. But I'm, I'm thinking, if I was dressmaking, what a fantastic maxi dress would that be? Absolutely beautiful and floaty because it's a quilting weight con, but it has that very smooth, super soft touch feel. Um, cushions, beautiful set of cushion covers. You think how many you're going to get out of that? I mean, if you're making to sell, you can get a lot in that. You know, if you just think, well, well, I'm going to just make a load of drawstring bags at the school fete. Everybody wants a drawstring bag for PE kit and stuff. You could make loads from here. Work out how much you need. Now, if you buy a half a metre, that's just one unit. But if you want more, it will be sent as a whole cut piece. Just put that number of units in your basket. So if you are using it for quilt backing, I always recommend get two and a half metres. Um, that will cover your big sort of double king size bed. If you're doing something um, smaller, you might not need as much, but if you can't be bothered to work it out, if you get five units, 
then um, that's pretty much what you need. But you never need that. You'll have loads left over. I mean, isn't that stunning? You've got pinks and yellows. And again, everyone who's checked out so far has checked out multiple units. I'm not surprised. I mean, I'm thinking even just pyjamas would be lovely in that because it has got that really, it's very silky soft. Actually, it's lovely. In fact, I'll tell you what it reminds me of. If you've ever bought um, Tula Pink backing, it has that feel. It has that kind of satinized feel to it. It isn't, it isn't satin. It is pure cotton, but it is super soft. That's the pinky color. And then we, and then we also have, this is called Prism, not Prison. Prism. So this has got all of the colours. You know, I mean, I'm thinking, you know, wouldn't it be lovely, you know, if you have sort of lightweight summer curtains in the window, if you've got a cupboard that you want to put a, a curtain on just to cover things up, how beautiful is that? It's got a real lovely modern art vibe. I mean, you could just use this as a quilt, just as the front of a quilt and just quilt it. Because it is gorgeous, isn't it? Do it as a whole cloth quilt. It's like a, a piece of artwork. $14.99 for half a metre and look at the width, 274. So this is the same as the other two, but it's got all of the colours. Fabulous, isn't it? Yeah, this is the first time it's been on there. That's, it's brand new. That's why, for some reason, we've put it into the Shashko. It's just a little sneaky one. It does look kind of sequiny, confetti-y, doesn't it? It is gorgeous. I'm sure all of you out there can look, think of those things. I'm thinking summer outdoor tablecloth because you wouldn't need very much. What I would say is measure your table and add 12 inches all the way around. I always like a 12 inch drop to my tablecloth. It's enough to hold the tablecloth down, but not too much that it then you end up sitting on it. But it's just about right. Um, but you think of all the um, the bag patterns that we do. Some of the um, Becky Alexander Frost patterns would look amazing in this. Lining, you know, maybe you're making um, an overnight bag or something and you want a really snazzy lining. When you imagine opening up going, whoa. But remember, I know you're thinking 14 99 for half a metre, but you are buying more than double the width. But that is a fantastic lining, isn't it? Or jacket, what a lovely jacket lining. Oh, shirt. I tell you what, this would make most beautiful shirt. But the majority of you who have checked out have bought multiple units. Now, I do have one more. One more. It is from this collection, but it's completely different. And um, strangely, this is the most popular on pre-order. Yes, um, so this one, let me just spread it out. There we go. Now it is extra wide, this is just half of it. So you've got the black background, but can you see it's um, pixelated? So it's all, the whole thing is tiny dots. So you've got all of these swirls and leaf shapes and curvy shapes. It is very bioluminescence. That's where the, those animals under sea that glow and they, yeah, like plankton, they have bioluminescence. It's gorgeous, isn't it? That would be nice as a curtain lining, actually, wouldn't it? How lovely would that be, since it's going to be on the um, outside? That is glorious. And again, I'm thinking, you know, some, wouldn't that make them loveliest summer dress? Because it's got that real nighttime black, hasn't it, with all of these colours on top of it. That is beautiful. So it is part of the same collection. So the colours in this will go with the colours in the other fabrics, but it's just, they've almost reversed it. So it's got the black background. Gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful. Again, nice for um, bed linen. But you know, for quilt back in it, I just think that just makes it a bit different. But you know, or maybe you're doing a quilt and you've got to put borders on it and you don't want to piece your borders. Get an extra wide backing fabric. Then you never have to piece the borders. And this would look really stunning, wouldn't it? It just means, you know, when you have to, because if you've got like a double bed size quilt, you can't do the borders in one. But if you've got extra wide, you can. Glorious, isn't it? Oh, one more. 
that I, I, I saw this one. I absolutely love this one. I can't believe this is extra wide. I really want this. Now, this is Don, Dan Morris. Don, Don. I, I, I saw Don. I saw the picture of the dog. And, that, and, and then he ended up as Dog Morris. Now, this is extra wide, but look at it. I can't believe this is only 11 .99. I absolutely love this because I remember having one of those. Did you have one of those, those little wooden dogs? And then you push them along and wheels. And we've got the xylophone, the rocking horse, roller skates, <gasps> Etch-a-Sketch. Oh, that was before Game Boys came along, wasn't it? Yeah, I had one of those as well, where you put the little cards on and click them, click, click, click. Rubbish, weren't they? Rapsy rubbish, but we thought they were great. There they were. No, but compared to what you can have now, you've got the little car, the ABC blocks, um, the stacking rings, tricycle, little aeroplane. I never had one of those. I think that was for the rich kids. Did you? Uh, I never had a um, model aeroplane. But isn't that gorgeous? Super wide. So it really is your... Um, Vintage toys, isn't it? Um, I mean, I, you know, I'm thinking maybe is that that you make like curtains for a child's room or is it for drawstring bags? I don't know. It's just, just gorgeous. Maybe use it for plique. Maybe you fussy cut it out. Christmas toy sacks be ideal, wouldn't it? Oh, look at those little trucks. Or toy storage. It's, I mean, it's lovely. Or you can use it if you've made a children's quilt backing. Or it doesn't even have to be for children. This is so nostalgic. All, ad, all of us adults all look at this and go, yes, yes, I had that. Had that. I know. You see, these are wonderful. I love I love the Etch-A-Sketch. That was, that was about as technical as it got in those days. <laughs> oh, I've got an Etch-A-Sketch. I love them quarter of the stock of this one has gone it's only 11.99 and remember this is extra wide so you are getting more than double that's 108 inches wide again think about bedding it's 100 percent cotton wouldn't that make a loveliest duvet cover or match matching lampshade you could go for the whole thing couldn't you match the whole room so you could make um you know fabric storage boxes out of it if you used um, like a bosal in our form, then they would be nice and structured. If you made a cube box, you could put loads of toys in it. But I think the nostalgia of it, actually, wouldn't it be lovely as a shirt? It would look great. Everyone go, oh, I had one of those. <laughs> I think I want one of these. That is my favorite. My favorite though, my favorite is the dog. <laughs> It is just lovely. It's just charming, isn't it? When I saw this on the table, I went, I've got to do that one. It's just lovely. I even had the roller skates. Weren't they rubbish? The ones that you strap to your shoes. And if you skated too fast or if you were going downhill, they fell off. And you'd end up like with your heel on the floor and half a skate attached to your toe. You have to be the certain age. I bet loads of you out there remember it. I bet you do had the strap on roller skates and then they invented roller boots didn't they wasn't as much fun as the strap on roller skates where you'd be going down a hill and half of the skate would fall off and you'd be on the verge but we were very bouncy in those days weren't we didn't we just bounce back loads of you coming in for this half of the stock is gone i don't know why that's 11.99 it's dead dan morris it's extra wide Oh, well, we'll go with it, says 11 99 I love that. But again, it would be lovely for a plique. You could um, press a little bit of bond web to the back and then cut around it and then you can press it onto other things. I think it would be lovely curtains. I mean, obviously, you'd need to put quite a bit of um, blackout lining and maybe if I was going to make curtains from it and, and I really wanted it to be the front of the curtains, use um, a th like a bump interlining rather than your normal curtain um, interlining and then it will be th slightly thicker or a blackout lining as well but you know like with a door curtain where you put bump interlining I would use that because it would just make it a bit thicker but lovely Roman blinds mm. right let's talk Shashko I would like to start with the book because I hadn't seen this book and I 
I don't know how I haven't seen this book, but this is genius, this book, because it's called, it's written by Susan Briscoe, who is the queen of Shashko, really? She is. She knows everything about Sashko. Look at the price of that, $16.99. That is amazing value. So in this book, there are 365 patterns. So there's one for every day of the year, unless it's a leap year. <coughs> but, you know, um, the good thing about it is that there are all the patterns. So I'll show you to start with. There's all the patterns with the names of them, how you do them, how you trace them, how you mark them, and then the stitch um, direction. Now, what she says in it is you can just make these to practice your shashko. You can use them as inspiration, but what I love about them is she suggests join them all together and make a double bed size quilt. And I'm thinking, how great would that be? Now, it starts off with if you've never done shashko before, don't worry. This assumes no knowledge whatsoever. It starts off with tools and materials, what thread you need, what needles you need, how to mark the fabric, what fabric you need, tips about stitching, how to use the pattern directory, how it all works, and then we move into the patterns and look at them all. Well, I go through all those 365 of them. So you could do one every single day because they're little as well. I think they're five or six inches square. Um, they're quite small, so it wouldn't take very long to do them. I'll have to read it. It's something like that anyway. Um, you could do one every single day, couldn't you? And how lovely would that be? And then, or a bit like, you know, when you do your um, temperature quilt and you have, but you could catch up, you could do like a week's worth. And it's all hand stitching. So you, what you could do is like at the beginning of the weekend, you could mark out, say, seven squares. And then every day you could just sit down, time for you, like an hour, probably not even that, and just stitch that one square. I mean, isn't that beautiful? So it explains all of these and they, and they have been put into sections as well. Mountains and small squares, steps, crosses and squares. I mean, there's just so much here. Obviously, you don't need to make it into a quilt. You can just say, well, I'm going to make nine of them and make it into a cushion. You could do them in coloured thread. You could do them all in white thread. I mean, S Susan's used a mixture of all of that here. But look at them all. Zigzags. Oh, I like these. Look at that one. The Jagged Asanoha. They've all got the English names and the Japanese names as well. And this is how she explains about making the quilt. Now look, look at that. That is all of them. So this stunning quilt measures 96 inches square and is an easy design with narrow sashing strips and small cornerstones. So what she does is she joins all the squares together with little sashing strips. So what you could do is you could wait till the end of the year and join them all together. Or you think, well, I'll, when I've done one row, I'll join those together. I mean, it is stunning, isn't it? Obviously, she says you can use your chasco blocks for other projects. But I think, look, she explains exactly how to cut the strips, how to join it together. And I think I would start joining them one row at a time so I could keep adding to it. But what a lovely journey that you could work on throughout the year. I mean, obviously, you don't need to take a whole year to do it. You could stitch really fast and do it much quicker. But um, I love the idea of stitching a block and collecting them and keeping them and then, you know, and then becoming something bigger. So it is like a, an absolute labour of love, isn't it? And she tells you what you need exactly to make it. But again, it doesn't need to be a quilt. You could use nine of them for the front of a cushion, use 12 of them for the front of the tote bag. But it is a directory because as I say, remember it assumes no knowledge. So if you've always wanted to have a go at Shashko for 16.99, 365 blocks, plus all of the tools, materials, details, techniques, tips, it's all on there. And she tells you exactly how much fabric you need if you are going to make all of the blocks as well. I think that's a lovely book. I'm very tempted. Can you imagine how stunning that would look? And you just work your way through it. And that's the joy of it, isn't it? This is slow stitching. This is mindful stitching. Love it. So 
do consider that just 16.99 right now obviously in the book it tells you there is specialist equipment now we've got the shashko needles back because they had sold out very important the shashko needle they are longer than normal needles so that you can get all those running stitches on them they have slightly larger eyes than a normal needle because the shashko thread is thicker and they have super sharp points because obviously you've got to stitch through a cotton fabric. So really, if you're going to do your shashko, it's best to get the right needles because the stitches are all running stitches. Um, and to get the more stitches on your needle, you are going to need these. It's worth it. And we keep selling out of them. £3.49. These are the needles that are recommended specifically for Shashko. 3.49. Okay. Right, now if you want the proper thread as well. So Shashko thread is a cotton thread. Is this the, this one, 983. So Shashko thread again is a pure cotton thread. It is thicker than normal than stranded cotton. Um, it is of a specific diameter and a specific weight and it's non-stranded, which is brilliant. So you don't need to split it. So you can do shashko with stranded cotton and you use several strands, but the beauty of using the right thread is that you don't have to separate it at all. It will fit into the shashko needles. Now, it's also um, very inexpensive because it's 4 dollars and you're getting 100 metres. Now, for the real traditional Shashko look, you'd be using just this colour thread. But as you can see from Susan's block, she's used lots of different colours and we do have it in other colours. But this is the traditional. 100 metres, just 4 99 Right, we've also got the coloured threads. Are these all of them in here? Okay. So we've got a bundle of of coloured threads. Oh, that's these. So these are the smaller ones. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. So now these again are your Shashko threads. So they are exactly, they're, they're made in Japan. They are the right um, fibre, weight, everything else. So you've got a ivory grey blue, pink, green, mustard, and a denim. And then you've got variegated blue, green, and pink. So they'd be absolutely brilliant for stitching the patterns in this book because of all the colors. Now, 19 pound 90, 10 skeins, 20 meters on each one. So you can mix and match. Now the colors will work beautifully because they're quite nice, subtle colors as well. So they will sit on the fabric and they are designed specifically and I would suggest you do use the Shashko thread because it is the right weight. You know, when you're going to learn a craft like this and it is lovely because Shashko is slow stitching, it's hand stitching, it's where we can sit in front of the telly with a box set on or we can just take a little bit of time for ourselves, sit in a nice comfy corner and just do a little bit of embroidery for yourself. And um, whether you are going to make a whole quilt and you might start off thinking I'll make the whole quilt and then just only do 10 squares. Or whether you just think, well, I'm going to learn this, use this for how to learn to do things. I think it is a wonderful hobby. And that's why I'm a bit passionate about that book. When I realised the premise behind it all, I think it's genius. So those are the um, 10, 20 metre skeins. Right, we've got some other thicker threads as well. But they are, uh, well, no, thick, more of them. So we've got the, the mustard. Again, these are the 100 metres. So this is if you want to use other colours, 4 99 So again, they're all the same weight, all these Shashko threads. So maybe you don't want to use all the different colours. Maybe you think, well, I'm going to do mine all in ivory, mustard and green, for example. So this is the mustard, 100 metres for 4 99 and it will look, and the colours have been chosen because the traditional colour um, that Shashko has worked on is your sort of deep indigo blue. And that looks beautiful on it. And then I've got green and that, this is one of the, so all of the colours that um, Susan is using her, her quilt are these colours. So that lovely green 
Again, looks lovely with the fabric. Right, then I've got turquoise. Has that got a name? Aqua. And again, that looks lovely against the indigo navy fabric. Just four ninety nine. Right now, if you want um, some more inspiration, oh, this one's not open. Um, this is again designed by Susan Briscoe. So, if you want a little bit more inspiration, you just want to do some. The, the um, card deck is brilliant. I like the fact it's called the ultimate card deck as well. Fourteen ninety nine. Now, in here. You've got an instruction booklet to start with, which tells you about the tools, the materials, the threads you'll need, the needles, which are the needles I was just talking about, the, the fabric. So modern versions of the old hand-woven fabrics are made specially for Shashko in indo, indigo and other shades. So you can obviously use um, the traditional fabrics or you can use um, like a cotton linen blend of fabric. It's often done on denim as well. So all the information you need in there, again, assumes no knowledge, explains how to do the patterns, how to transfer them and how it all works. So this could be, again, your beginner's guide to Shashko or if you have done a lot of Shashko and you want some more ideas for patterns, that's where this comes into its own because it's the deck of cards. So each card, I'll just show you a few, is a different pattern. So what you've got, on one side, you've got what is the pattern and a photo of it and a bit of information on um, the history behind it. Like, for example, the rhyme on lighting, lightning spiral is an ancient pattern. It tells you what it was used for. And on the back, it tells you how to mark the grid and shows you the stitching direction. And that's important because Shashko, it tends to be worked in one go. So you don't have to keep cutting and breaking threads. So the, the reason for the stitching direction is it shows you which way you can go without having to start and stop and all of these cards are the same so if we picked like a spiral one again there's the name of it a bit of history and then how to work it so there's so much in here there's 52 cards with pattern inspiration and techniques so if you love your shashko or if you're new to it and you'd like to have some ideas of what to do this is brilliant and it is an addictive hobby well like all sewing but I think because it's very easy to pick up and put down I know a lot of people who cross stitch off and move on to Shashko because um, everything is marked it's kind of a halfway point between that you know whereas cross stitch is very um, predictive exactly how you have to do it you have to do so you're um, squares in exactly the right place on the in the following the fabric threads and with more surface embroidery it's a bit more interpretive where you fill a space with some satin stitch but with shashka it's kind of halfway between because you're drawing the lines on the fabric and you are stitching along them so if you love embroidery or you love cross stitch this is a really nice um, embroidery that sort of meets in the middle because I know a lot of people don't really want to be too creative and so Shashko is more, um, tells you exactly where you've got to go. Now, we've got a denim bundle because denim is often used for Shashko. Now, these are eight ounce denim fabrics and we have three of them. So these are fat quarters. Oh, no, they're not. No, they're not. They are fat eights. They're fat eighths. So this is a really good way to start. So you're getting three fat eighths. £3.74. Right, let me open them up. Look at that. Th £3.74 for three fat eighths. So actually, what a lovely good starting thing. So may, even if you've bought the book or maybe you've bought the pack of cards or you've got some Shashko patterns already and you're thinking, oh, I'd love to make a, um, a weekend bag or a cushion. What you could do is, you know, you'd, you could cut these into squares and do the patterns on them and sew them all together. I would 
I would get the cream thread because that would look lovely across. In fact, the colour, any of the colours will look lovely across there. I mean, to be honest, the mustard looks quite nice, doesn't it, with all of them? Um, then you can cut them into squares and you can have a patchwork shashko effect. So if you're thinking, I'd like to have a go at that. I mean, traditionally, shashko has worked on these sort of fabrics. There are more specialist fabrics they use nowadays, but denim, all good. All good. Isn't that lovely? 374. Yeah, I'm not sure that, yeah, that does sound like a bit of a mistake for three fat eights, doesn't it? Even if you're not using it for shashko, but you want to make a patchwork denim, £3.74. They're all the same weight as well, importantly. They are eight ounce. They're lovely, aren't they? And then you've got the, the three different shades. Uh, it does say it's washed, but I still, if I was you, to be honest... I would wash the dark one before I stitch with it because although they are washed, I don't think I would trust that. I would definitely, if because of using the cream thread, I would wash them just to be sure all the dyes come out. Right, I do have some pre-printed panels as well. Oh, yeah, sorry, they're under here. Right, Susan Briscoe again. Which one are we having first? I've got 37. Right, now, this is another really good way to do your shashko. So, these are designed by Susan Briscoe. The markings are printed on to the correct shashko fabric. But the beauty of these is the markings wash off. So once you've stitched them, you can then just wash them and they'll come out. Now on the panel, you've got eight circular designs and then you've got eight square designs. So, oh, and we're going to reduce the price to 16 99 So what you can do is you can make that into a whole wall hanging or you can cut them up and make them into individual items. So you could make the circular ones into cushions or the fronts of bags. The square ones could be used as borders. I know she uses them for lots of different things. Now, it doesn't include the thread or the needles. So you will need to buy those separately. But this is the traditional fabric. I'm going to take one out just so you can see because then I've got others which are the same but different patterns. But just so you can see what happens inside. This is what you'll get. Do not pre-wash it because, um, yeah, and it does actually say, marks disappear when washed. But this means, yes, they don't, don't use steam on your iron if you're going to press it. This does mean if you want to get started with Shashko, and you don't want to do the marking, maybe that's the next stage that you move to, you want everything pre-marked, um, then all you have to do is follow this because all the lines are marked onto there. You will need to buy some thread and needles. I mean, this, that, if you can obviously go very traditional and just get the skein of um, ivory um, or get the coloured one. And then you could make, I mean, there's the picture that's on the front, you can see they've made a whole wall hanging from it. However, you can cut them into individual pieces as well. It's gorgeous, isn't it? And this is the proper um, shashko fabric as well. I love it in the denim. Let me just put that down. Another blue one. Um, 18. So, same thing, but this time you've got squares... So you've got eight squares and then you've got eight smaller squares in between them. So we're going to reduce that to 16 99 So really, it just depends. Or, you know, you could buy a few of these and join them all together. You could make a whole quilt then, couldn't you? But those are all the designs you'll get on this one. I love the fact they're pre-printed. And then once you've done it, it, so if you haven't stitched perfectly, it doesn't matter because they just wash out afterwards, which is brilliant. Which number? Um, 48, 64, 61, 94. Yes, 
Right. So this one, this is like, um, is it, is, yes, a lighter blue. Is it that one there? A lighter blue. So that's the colour of it. It's more of a bluey grey colour. Oh, right. So that image shows you the designs. Actually, that's better because this is folded up so you can't see it as well. Sixteen ninety nine. So it is a really good way to start. All of these larger panels are 108 by 61 centimetres and we're going to reduce all of these larger panels to 16.99. So if you've been looking on the website and you wanted to shop ahead, we will reduce them. So if you've seen on the website all of these larger panels, we will be reducing all of them to 16.99. Right, we've got some little Shashko kits. So if you want everything in one go, we've got a, we've got a Sew with Beth one. This is the table runner. Oh, not that one, this one. No. Oh. Oh, these big ones. Yeah, sorry. That's me not looking. <laughs> okay, so these, this is a great kit because you've got everything in here. So this pattern is for shash comb foundation paper piece wall hanging. It also includes instructions for matching cushion and how to extend your work to become a quilt. So everything that you need is in here, actually. So you've got, look. You've got the Shashko thread, you've got the, neat, the proper Shashko needle and you've got all of the printed fabrics to make that. And we're going to reduce that to under £40, to £39.99. That's beautiful, isn't it? So you can do a little bit of foundation paper piecing to make um, the kimono designs and then you can also do some Shashko as well. So what a lovely kit. Nice thing to have for yourself. You know, when you want a kit where you've got everything then that's brilliant, isn't it? For just £39.99. Now, if you love that kit, we've also got it in another colourway, exactly the same, but looking red this time. So again, you've got the plain red fabric, you've got, and this, and, and it is the proper Shashko thread in there, and you've got the Shashko needle, all the fabric. Um, you've even got the wadding in there as well to make the whole wall hanging. And it does so, it's a wall hanging, but what they so said, the wall hanging is 21 by 36, but if you want to make it into a quilt, um, a 53 by 72, the instructions are in there of how you can make it bigger to make it into a quilt as well. But I love that. In fact, they're quite nice together, aren't they? If you wanted both of them, they look very nice together, don't they? You could have them as matching. But again, what a lovely thing to do. Bit of machine sewing, bit of hand stitching as well. Quite nice to mix the two together, isn't it? Nice. Next. Mm. <laughs> Going to be a bit sneaky. A Liberty Fat Quarter Bundle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this is a little bit sneaky because this is a Liberty Fat Quarter Bundle. But only because I had Hannah sneak this in because she wants to mention our shop to win. So anyone who buys anything Liberty today uh, is entered in the prize draw to win this box of Liberty selected um, Aurifil threads. And if you buy this, you will be entered into the competition. Only one, only one box, anyone who orders anything from Liberty to debt between now and midnight, um, either on the website or live on air then you will be you will be entered into the competition so these are nice because they're kind of shashko sort of colors aren't they oh these were used on Kara's show where she did a borrow bag because they are kind of those colors aren't they but you know they're they're liberty and today is the liberty competition so you could mix these in with your other shashko or you just love those. I mean, they are beautiful. Those shades of navies and corals. And I love the way that that one picks up. And, and even these fans look a bit shashko as well, don't they? Beautiful. Just a, a little, it's from the Arthur's Garden collection, red spot and blue floral fat quarters. And you will be entered into the draw, which is always good. Everyone loves a prize. Which one should we do next? 
the book. I love the book. Now, if you haven't, if you weren't with me earlier, this book is fantastic. So you have, I've talked a lot about Shashko now. So if you if you want to buy any of the panels, those the big ones or the smaller ones, and you're brand new to Shashko, this includes all the techniques, all the fabric, all the materials, how to trace, how to sew, what you need. But that, that's just the beginning. 365 patterns, how to sew them, how to make them. Make one every day. Mark a load out, make one every day. They're fairly quick to stitch. Work your way through them. You could do, and then you could just make a few, make a cushion. Or, now look at this. You could make the whole Shashko quilt. In here are the instructions of what fabric you'll need. Um, because these are all joined together with sashing as well, just to make it that, it probably just neatens it off a bit, to be honest, and really sets it. And she gives you um, a lot of information on the sort of fabric that you'll need to buy. But how gorgeous is that? It will make a 96 inch square quilt when it's finished. Now, what I would do is I would try and stitch one a day, probably have to do like a few at the weekend to catch up and then join them to go. You could even then join them one row at a time and just keep adding on to it or save them all. Keep them all nice and kept apart. I mean, I just think for 16.99, look at the information that you're getting in this for all of these different designs. And I mean, it is an absolute work of art. You, you don't even need to put it on your bed. You could hang that up, couldn't you? It is a real talking piece. And it's just a way of you having a bit of concentrated, mindful time where you do this. Imagine by the end of the 365, you'd be an absolute Shashko expert. You'd be whizzing through them. What a lovely book. Anyway, only 16.99, I think that's great. It is written by Susan Briscoe, who is the queen of stitching. So buy the book. Have a think about the materials you need. We nearly always try to, I mean, I'd buy, definitely buy the needles now because we sell out of those. But we stock a lot of the threads and the fabrics on Sewing Street. So you could wait till you get the book and then choose all those. Get your needles now because we do sell out. But I think that's a lovely book. Um, whether you're complete beginner to Shashko or have been doing it for a while. Now, the large panels that we haven't reduced yet, we'll do that during the break. So if you want to get one of those, um, then do check out. But the, you will only pri pay the final price anyway. Right. I will see you back here in a few minutes time with Susie. She's back with me to show us her brand new quilt. Um, one of them has Liberty Fabrics. The other two have got plain fabrics. It is gorgeous. Again, you know, it's going to be a really lovely technical instructional hour. You'll really enjoy this and I'll see you back here in a few minutes time. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one p and throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard p and is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week.
did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even after we finish broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one P&P with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to sewingstreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Uh, welcome back to Sewing Street. So um, Susie's back with us with her brand new design, the Flying Information Quilt, which is gorgeous. Can we show a picture of it? Hey. <laughs> no, that's the quilt. That's the, that's the kit. That's a beautiful picture of the kit. But could we have... Hey, that's the <laughs> Get quilt. In the end. You see, what you do is you cut all that up, throw it up in the air, and it comes back <laughs> Just as like that. this fabulous quilt. So this is like a lap quilt a cot yeah. quilt yeah lap quilt size picnic so you know picnic yeah. size um mm, yeah just wall a hanging. smaller one yeah wall hanging yeah. if you want even a tablecloth because if you oh, don't put that's true actually. you could put um thermal lamp in instead of mm. quilting cotton and then it would be a tablecloth that is fully that is protective of your table i know it well. is it is gorgeous so it's a lesson in flying geese 
It is. Flying geese two ways. Flying geese two ways. So it's brilliant. It's brilliant if you want to learn a new technique. And it's beautiful, isn't it? Now, we've got it as three different kits. So remember when Susie was with us at nine o'clock, her kit sold out. Just a little warning for you. Now, this bundle is the only one that has Liberty in it. And you know what Liberty means? Yes. Liberty means prizes. So anyone who buys Liberty today, now if you've only just tuned in, you won't soon. know this. If you've been here since eight o'clock, you will. Um, anyone who buys anything Liberty Fabrics today will be entered into the competition to win this box of thread, hand selected by Liberty to match their fabric collections in a Liberty presentation box with Liberty print, magnetic opening, worth 120 pounds, um, three variegate, two variegated threads in here, and then the plain threads that go with their fabric collections, all Aurafil thread. Now, only one of Susie's bundles, this one here, has Liberty in it. So if you wanted to be entered into the draw, then this is the kit that you need to buy. And then and look you will how be it coordinates. And look that how one. that look. Look yeah, how that coordinates. That whatever Liberty collection you got. No, honestly, thread. whichever Liberty collection you got, this box of thread coordinates. Aurifil thread, hand selected by Liberty. £120. And anyone who shops Liberty Fabric today will be entered into the prize draw. So in this kit, $39.99, obviously you get full instructions, which we'll talk about in a moment. Then you get half a metre. Look at these. That's beautiful, isn't it? Mm. Little bit, little Wiltshire shadows to go it with is. it. And a plain white. So you've got four half metres of fabric. And that is enough to make the whole of the front of the quilt. That's amazing, isn't it? isn't it beautiful? It makes you think of spring and colour and crocuses. It does. Makes yeah. me think of crocuses. Don't know why? Because it just does. It's the, it's I think it's that green. they have really fresh green leaves. It's that they? real, yeah. it's like, you know when the trees yeah. start getting their leaves that and then the leaf. trees are like dripping with green and it's only a couple of weeks and then they go darker. Yeah. It's that green. Yeah. Proper spring green. So that's that colourway. Now, we've also got it, if you're more of a navy person, so we've got it in this colour. Now, this one isn't Liberty, so you can't be entered into the competition, but these are um, different fabrics. So we've got a lovely pale blue with orangey yellow flowers and then a larger print of the, of the same colourway. And then we've got a lovely um, marbled navy and then the plain white. So, and full instructions, obviously. Beautiful, isn't it? So it just depends what colour wear you want. Do you want the green or do you want the blue? Then, that's $32.99. If there are less than 20 of this one available, let me just show you the main fabric. And this is the one that Susie will be demonstrating with. Isn't that stunning. gorgeous? Absolutely stunning. I mean, that as a skirt would look amazing. That would, wouldn't it? It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Hoffman Fabrics. Um, so that's the blue one that Susie will be demonstrating in. Mm -hmm. And then finally, if you're more of a dusty pink kind of girl, gal, boy, person. Oh, I like that one. This has got a bit of gold metallic in yeah, it. Yeah, I think it has. Yeah, I've just glanced. No, that's got a shimmer to it. Look. Yeah, it's Lewis and Irene. This is Lewis and Irene. So we've got the dusty pink with the feathers with a bit of gold. We've got these flowers that. with little gold crosses. And then we've got this larger print. I'm going to open this one out so you can see. This would look lovely on a little girl's bed. Yeah, it would, it? wouldn't it? You know, when it? they move in from cot to bed. Isn't that beautiful really with beautiful. the owls on it? Mm. And then obviously you get the white that's used as the background. It's gorgeous. And this or one has new got... baby quilt. Yeah, new baby quilt. Play mat, you know. It's got um, the copper of the moons is metallic. Mm. Beautiful. So we've got the Liberty Green Fresh. We've got the Navy Floral. Or we've got the Lewis and Irene. Now, the finish size of the quilt is 38 inches square. Right. Right, we'll show the Liberty, put the Liberty one back in. That's the, sp the springy green one. Um, 
A message from Christine. Love, love, love Liberty. The quilt is stunning and shop to win. So wonderful. Christine, you're right. It is a stunning quilt. And oh, I think Dan's okay? just <laughs> fallen into a bucket. <laughs> We're That's laughing, but about. you know. <laughs> you know what it's called. Are you all right, Dan? Are you still, still yeah, alive? Fine. It's called it's Guess fine. That Noise. Yeah. <laughs> The giveaway was the bucket you came in with, though, wasn't it? <laughs> no, but it sounded like he'd fallen into a bucket. <laughs> Not very good at something, that noise. <laughs> now, this is the only quilt kit that's got the Liberty in, so this is the only one that if you buy, you will be entered into the competition to win the um, Aurifil thread. The others aren't. So, um, also, if you have your own fabric, you will need four half metres... Um, you, these are the instructions on their own, 9.99. Susie's going to talk us through them in a minute and explain what you learn and why and how and when. Um, but if you want the instructions on their own, 9.99. Okay. Right. They are hefty instructions. They are. So, so I like, I'm always interested to know first why, why, what was the inspiration? The inspiration. Um, so... I, I was just asked to design a quilt and yes. um, I like flying geese. I love a flying when geese. When I fi first started, I thought they were a bit dodgy. You know, I thought it was because you have to be quite precise. Right. So then I thought, well, but they give you such a different look when you put them together side by side. You can create squares within squares. Yes, yes. So I think they're a very clever block to mm. learn. Um, but there are lots of ways of doing it, and I've chosen two here. One that's pieced, and one that's done with foundation paper pieces. Oh, okay. But in the instructions, if you don't want a foundation paper piece, I've also given you the instructions for triangle pieces. Right, okay. So you can so use you whichever can method you are. So in effect, you've got three methods of So flying this is geese. quite a good learning quilt. It is. So not only do you yes. learn flying geese two methods, you also get to make a quilt at the same time. It, exactly, and it's not too big. And if you only want, if you want to stop at this stage, you've got a large cushion. Yeah, that's true. So it's up to you how mm. big you take well, it. Well, also it's manageable to quilt. Yes. Isn't it? That was my other idea because a lot of people have bought, treated themselves to sewing machines recently. Mm. So I thought, actually, it's quite nice sometimes yeah, to have is, a smaller yeah. scale. Yeah, no, and, with and I make more this size because they're more useful. You know, I can put one in the car. It can be, a, you know, a quilt to snuggle mm. somebody in if they're in the car cold. It's useful for picnics. It's great yeah. for a baby's um, play mat. And they're just nice to hang on the wall body. as well, aren't Absolutely. they? Absolutely, yeah, just as they a look decoration. Lovely. On the back of the sofa. Yeah, and if you just bag it out, you can use it as a tablecloth mm. or just, as you say, just to decorate the back of the sofa. As a yeah, and it's kind of less intimidating season. from a yeah. beginner's. And if you want Absolutely. to, the best way to learn something, anything, is to just make it. Yes, isn't it? yeah, you can watch as many mm. videos but as you, you like. But you need to get your scissors out. Yeah, <laughs> hands on. Right, so where do we best. start with this then? So, um... Obviously, you're going to choose which fabric is going to do what. There isn't much oh. choice because your fa your plain you'll probably want as your yes, to, yes. to fill in the gaps, as it were, because otherwise it'd be too busy in this section. Um, but then it's a choice of which one's going to be the border, which one's going to do this bit, and oh, which one's yes, going to be okay. that. So once you've decided that, then you're going to cut it out. Now there's cutting instructions for two of them first of all and then you have to make the decision am I going to foundation piece or am I going to triangle piece Ooh. because that will affect how you cut the rest right okay so once you've done that you can then get going if your foundation paper piecing which I'm going to demonstrate now for the flying geese you will need to photocopy this page the last page okay um and I have put a, a one inch test square in there. Right, that's And I have yeah. told you what the final measurement of okay, the dotted so you line can check should be. That you've done it right. So when you photocopy it, photocopy it exact. Don't shrink, enlarge, mm. whatever, because it will be the wrong size. And I would suggest you. And I presume you can just do it in black and white. Uh, yes, I mean, I, mine automatically does colour, so I just keep <laughs> it going, you know. I just, life's too short to yeah, fiddle around with something. You can tick the black well, and white box. Mine works by Wi-Fi, so I'm, I'm in a completely different yeah. part of the house. So I'm not going around. I know, but when you do it, you can yeah. select at that point. Absolutely. 
<laughs> um, but what I would suggest is that you use foundation paper okay. itself. Don't you? Well, don't certainly don't use standard copier paper because it's a bit too thick. Get the cheapest one you can get. Yeah, yeah, which is um, good. Or ideally, foundation paper, foundation paper, paper piecing paper. Yes. paper yeah, is, we have it on the website. Yeah, Cal it is really good. Have, yeah, I love it. Cal Jones. It is absolutely brilliant because it mm. tears really successfully when you need it to, not at any other point. It also doesn't blunt your needle. Mm. Whereas copier paper, because it's denser, may have a tendency to blunt your needle. Okay, yeah. So my top tip number one for this show is, <laughs> is change your sewing machine needle before you start and change it when you've finished your foundation paper piecing. Okay. So leave that bit to the end um, of your piecing because it will deaden your needle slightly. So once you've got your piece, um, incidentally, there is a, a colour chart in there as well, so you can colourise to see what yours would mm. look like. But when you've got your pieces, you're going to cut your squares, and I've pre-cut mine, here they are. And then you're going to cut them in half diagonally, which I'm sure we can all do. Just with a ruler and craft knife or rotary cutter, whatever you prefer. Or if you do prefer a pair of scissors, but you want it in half. Now the pieces that I've got you to cut for this are bigger than the piece you need. Um, and that is to allow, again, for wibbles. So on the screen now is the Carol Dirks foundation paper, 14.99 for 100 sheets. Yep. It's brilliant. I use it all the time. Love it. It is. Love it. It's really worth it. It is. Makes and it photocopies. You don't it. have to use it, just use no. cheap, cheapy, cheapy photocopier paper. But once you, it's a bit like with all of our sewing equipment and tools. Once you've used it, you realise how much better it is and, and how easier it is. Yeah. And why didn't I use it before? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so with foundation paper piecing, um, I know I've demoed this before, but and a lot of people have done it on Sewing Street. You have to remember you're working upside down and back to front. Yeah, okay. Um, which goes against the grain of all sewing because <laughs> it's not right always. It doesn't seem logical. So the first thing to remember is that the wrong side of your printing should be against the wrong side of your fabric. If it isn't, you're doing it wrong straight away. So the other thing to remember is to allow for seam allowance which is why this appears too big. So it's allowing for that quarter inch seam allowance. You want to place your first one over the base, over the area that says A1. And I use a Soline glue pen just to put that one into place. So for the first one? Just for the first one, so that I'm not trying to battle with everything. From then on, it's a case of uh, almost like an upside down jigsaw. So you're, you're trying to, to quilt this together, patch it together. I'm just going to straighten you up a bit. Yeah, good luck. Middle. I don't think I could ever be straightened. There we go. The straighten you up a bit. Um, <laughs> you're trying to fill in the piece, the next piece. So what I always do is place it where it needs to go and then flip it. <coughs> Excuse me. Because then you know when I've stitched that, it's going to fill the right space. Don't worry if it goes over because we can trim, but you don't want it to fall short. So just make sure everything lines up and works. Then you're going to carefully hold it, or if you want to, put a bit of fabric glue on, but I don't tend to for this. I don't pin because then it just becomes lots of pins in the way. But what you are going to do is stitch on the line from the beginning of the line to the end and I tend to go out into the seam allowance anyway okay but don't go beyond there so and the other thing is I'm just going to slide this under before I do this when you stitch you want to reduce your stitch length to at least 1.8 I tend to go to 1.6 and the reason for that is you want to create almost a perforated edge so if you're not sure on placement 
Use your needle up, needle down button to make sure you're in the right place before you start. And then you're just going to stitch that. Now, because we've used the plane, it, I didn't have to worry about right sides together. I knew where, which was right. You're then going to fold it back on that line. And if there's any excess, you've got the add a quarter ruler, which is a phenomenal bit of kit because it's got this ridge that exactly mm. lines up against your um, fold in your paper and you can trim off anything. That's not bad for a guess of a quarter inch seam allowance. Is it? Right, so there we go. That's the add a quarter ruler on screen now. Twelve ninety nine, and it's that's the six inch one. It's brilliant. Again, I use that all the time. It is a good little. I use it not just for this, for other things. For lots of things. Yeah. Because it is exactly a quarter of an inch. Now you want to then. Hang on, finger we can't press see that. This. There we go. We want to finger press this over. Yep. Now. Just about move yourself up a bit. There we go. There we are like this and then I'm going to press it with the iron but I've got my iron set at a lower setting than I would normally have the reason for that is I'm ironing on paper and I don't want smoke in the room it's not a good look is it no we have to stop the no we'll only set the, the fire alarms yeah. off and we'll be in all sorts of trouble then so my next piece has got to cover this area here so we're going to repeat that process so I'm just going to make sure it's going to cover flip it and stitch it. Not worried about any overhangs, excess or anything like that, just as long as I've stitched. So again, hold it in place and stitch on those lines, but stopping and starting at the beginning and the end. Fold it back, bring in my add a quarter. You don't have to do this stage of trimming if you don't want to. It does reduce bulk later on, but it's up to you if you don't want to do that. But you do want to press. If you don't press, it's not going to work effectively. But you can see that you get precise points and placement of things and it's great for unusual shapes so if you want to do yeah, a yeah it's a funny one isn't example. it so because fpp is for me like two things it can be this sort of as a replacement for patchwork yeah but it's also pictorial and yeah and then a completely almost like a different beast yeah but using the same method absolutely it and it but it allows absolute complete accuracy absolute accuracy so yeah. although it's you kind of think it takes longer because you've got to deal with paper and printing and cutting, and, no. but it is 100% accurate. And I guess, and if you haven't done FPP before, this is a really good introduction because this is very, very simple. Whereas when you start getting onto pictorial FPP, yeah. which is tight, smaller, sometimes can yeah. be smaller pieces, then learning the technique this way is really useful it is yeah and once you've done it a couple of times the first one you the first one block you'll do you'll you'll think that i've gone completely loopy telling you how to do it and i do describe how to do it with pictures in the book which is why the pattern is so yeah. <laughs> such a big bulk. but it is quite a good way of of learning and you know what if you've not done it before you could just give it a go and you know, just yeah. use some normal printing paper to have a little go of this and then you yeah. can choose which method you use. And the reason I chose to do this, these centre flying geese like this is because I really wanted that accuracy yeah. of them flying, um, which flying geese isn't, doesn't always come up as accurate as you might like. <laughs> You know, it's a, one of those, unlike a half square triangle, because you're reliant on your quarter inch completely to be right all the time, sometimes it can go yes, a little yeah. bit off, can't <laughs> it? Or if you don't quite press one side as much as but the other. But also I think you need to think of this quilt pattern as a learning thing. Yeah, absolutely. Thing. A journey. It's yeah. a learning journey where you get, as a bonus, a really nice quilt at the end of it. Absolutely, yeah. Um, and that's what I try to do with my patterns, is make it so that it's extending the knowledge you have banked 
Um, it might be yeah. a technique you've done before, but hopefully it's a different way of doing it. Cause, well, I know, and I think... You know, there's more, one, more than one way to scramble an egg, as my mother would say. <laughs> <laughs> but you can then choose, because everyone Absolutely. has different ways of doing yeah. things. And then yeah. it's the only... Well, I found that learning so much from all of you lot here. I think, oh... Yeah. Oh, I used to do it that way, and mm, actually this way is easier. Yeah, or you just find a different way. I actually find FPP very therapeutic. Yeah, no, I love FPP. Because it's very methodical. You know, it, everything's done. You're following a line. You're not trying to guess where a seam's got to go. It's I used to really hate it, but that's because I'd never done it. Yeah. I, think I used to look at it and think, oh, no, I don't like that. That's only because I couldn't do it. But I think we instantly get scared the minute we involve something else, like a piece of paper. Yeah that's quite a scary commodity. But it is lovely to have that guaranteed accuracy. Absolutely, it's brilliant. So I'm just doing the final trim on which there's nothing to trim. Perfect. So we're going to press that over. And then this is the bit I love because you've got all <laughs> this pressing. It all looks a bit dodgy because it's, you know, things are overhanging where you wouldn't normally mm -hmm. have overhang. But so the bundle that Susie's demonstrating with the kit is the one that's in the graphics over there. But then all you're going to do is take your rotary cutter and on that dotted line, we're going to cut it all off. Which is even better. Do you put a different blade in when you're... Yes, so this is my paper blade. Right, OK. <laughs> yeah. I know, I am sad, but... It just means no. I'm not changing my rotary cutter blade every single time I use it. It's, it's um, you know, a blade for the job. So mine are all labelled and colour coded. Well, I think that's why it's quite nice to have more than one rotary cutter. Because yeah. then you don't have to keep changing blades over. You just keep the one rotary cutter. Yeah, and then you change it when that yeah. blade needs it rather than... So I've gone ahead and done another one already. So we're now going to piece these wow. together. And they are accurate. Like They're fab, aren't they? Perfecto. So this is the point that I remove the papers. And because I've used that smaller stitch, look how easily that tears away. It's mm. quite therapeutic as This well. is my favourite part. Do you want to do one? Oh, yeah, go on then. <laughs> but you can easily lift at the seam and bring it up. And it just literally falls away. It's just so good. If you forget and you haven't reduced your stitch length, it will still come away. It will just be a little bit more tricky to begin with, but you can see how nicely it tears. Unfortunately, unlike EPP, where you can reuse the papers very often, <laughs> you can't for FPP. Once no, it's done, it's once done. Once it's gone, it's gone, isn't it? But hey ho. But, but you, but it's done an amazing job. Absolutely. Saved me a lot of heartache. So, um, I don't need to press this again because I've already pressed it. And this can all be recycled. That's the other thing I like about it. Everything about it is recycled. Yeah, no, I was just scrunching all of mine up and yeah. then put them in the recycling bin. Exactly. Um, and then all you're going to do is put these together and they want to go so all the arrows go in the same direction. And you're going to make the sets the same all the way through, which makes it really easily. The other thing you can check oh, is... Oh, because they're in groups of four. They're in groups of four. So you make them, make eight blocks of the double ones and then just join those together. Oh, okay. And you don't have to worry about which way round. As long as they're all pointing in the same direction, when you come to assemble the quilt, it, you, that's when you start turning. Right, OK, but at this stage At it this stage matter. it doesn't matter, but there you go. All my flying geese done. Fabulous. So these would then go there, yeah, there, and there, and there. Perfect. So that's that method. Marvellous. Now we'll come on to the traditional. Okay. So or you more can choose. Method. Yeah, you can choose. So I'm just going to give this a press. So this time you're going to start with a rectangle. It's quite a large rectangle because we've moved to the second border now, and you've got squares and generally the rule with flying geese is whatever size rectangle you've got or yeah rectangle you've got you want this a square that's the same height as your rectangle does that make right. sense yes so if this yes. is 
say this is six by four, mm. this, your square needs to be a four inch square. Yeah. yeah? Um, and what we need to do now is mark the diagonal. The other tip I have is mark the diagonal with your pen and then move half an inch over and mark again. I'm just going to mark this one as well and I'll show you why I've done that. We'll move it there. So we're then going to place this on our rectangle so that that diagonal runs from bottom left to the middle and you can pin it, clip it, whatever you want to do um, thereafter. I'm just going to grab a magic pin and put it in. And I actually want that that way round. So what I've done is positioned it so that secondary line I drew that was half an inch away from that mm. one is on the outside. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> it doesn't matter whether you start on the left or the right side of your flying geese block, as long as you're consistent. You want all, you know, if you're going to do it on the left, do all of them on the left first. Right, okay. But you're not going to do two at once. You're going to start just with one, okay. the one. And so I'm going to just run. Remember to rechange your um, stitch length back to the original. So the bundle for the magic pins, which we had in the first tag, so we have got a special offer with them. You get all three, the patchwork, the quilting and the applique pins, save five pounds. So if you weren't here at eight when we did our um, bulk buy deals, then if you want the magic pins, if you've never used them before, they are fantastic. They are like the uber luxury pins. They are, but you, you're but never... worth the money. Absolutely. Really worth it. Yeah. But if you, if you have used them and you haven't tried the others, maybe you've just got the quilting, you want to try the others, you save five pounds. So I'm cutting between those two lines, so a quarter inch away from that diagonal. And this is the reason why I sewed that one, because I've now got a half inch triangle. And by the time you've done all this, mm. you've got enough half square triangles to piece onto the back of your quilt right, okay. with just plain fabrics, oh, wow. just to add an interest. That's lovely. So that's my added tip. Keep that instead of throwing it away. Don't throw it. But what you do have to do now is uh, press this out and you press it out towards that corner before you stitch in the next side. So once you've pressed that one, I can now put my other square in place again with the diagonal running from bottom right up to the middle and I've got that secondary line on the outside and then we're going to stitch this one I do mm. pin because fabric likes to walk well these pins are great because they're sharp yes and sharp and smooth I feel. they are very smooth the way that they've been um drilled and refined they've got that heat resistant end to them that is actually ridged so it's really easy grip as well um, the patchwork ones the quilting ones are really long and ultra fine so they'll go through a lot of layers so when you're putting your quilt layers together or your bag layers together they'll go through that it, they just make the whole process of pinning easier. Yeah, and I think they sometimes with these tools, when you, when you buy them and you try different things, you think, oh, I don't know, you know, is it worthwhile? Is it, you know, I can, yeah. don't need to spend that money. But you, you only buy them once. And Absolutely. you can find them on the carpet. You can find them easily on the carpet. And by some miracle, because they are magic, they land point in. <laughs> really? Don't know why, but they do. <laughs> I've never noticed that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I only know. I'll just it try that, but we haven't got carpet here. Yeah, so. first time I accidentally threw them on the carpet. But they also come in a nice little box. I love the as little well. box. Like a coffin. Okay, yeah. A sarcophagus. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say sarcophagus because I, yeah. Yeah, it's nicer sarc than a coffin. Yeah, sarcophagus. But it is like a little sarcophagus, isn't it? It is, yeah. So you're going to repeat that to make your blocks, but some four of them are use your other fabric. So right, you yes, add interest. yes, yeah. Um, and then you just join them by bringing the sides together like we would normally. Mm, just nestle those seams. You can see that they come mm. together quite nicely. 
and then you can pin or clip whichever you prefer. Oh, I'll use those clips because they're the ones you've got. Um, and join them in rows of three. And this is going to make your outer border. Yes. I don't know what I'd do if I ever didn't have an automatic thread cutter. It'd be very it's annoyed. Insane. Yeah. I have got a machine that hasn't got one, and I, every time I go to hit the button, it's like, oh, <laughs> why? Why not? I know, but it's really strange when you get, because you, you get very used to a machine and what happens and what yeah. doesn't, and then it's really hard. When that hasn't got When you have to then change the way you do things. Yeah. Or think. <laughs> <laughs> Or find a pair of scissors. Because I always forget about the thread cutter on here. The so annoying thing is, is when you don't want to cut the thread and you go, oh, I've just cut it. Yeah. Very annoying. You think, I'm not going to cut the thread. I need the threads for gathering. And then you just cut no, them. You use gathering stitch and it does it all for you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, <coughs> so you can see that I've put the flying geese with the points going out on mm. this. Because then, when you come to do that first border, you've got a cornerstone going in of the same colour. Right. So it fills it, so it makes it look as if you've got a square yes. corner, um, which is why I've placed them that way. If you have them the other way round, you'll lose that effect. Yes, but it's up to you. Yes. If you, you know, you can play around with the, the design if you want to. But that really is how the construction. After that, it's like piecing squares together, strips for the borders. It's not a difficult mm. piece to do. Okay. So that's why I've said it's beginner friendly because everything you're doing is methodical, it's easy, you're working with squares um, and it's easily achievable. I mean, you can definitely make this in a day. Oh, wow. Definitely. That's really useful, isn't yeah. it? So if, you know, somebody... So can you do the um, FPP for these? Um, you could if you wanted to. Right. I haven't given you that diagram. Okay, so it's a way of do FPP for those. Yeah, and FPP then or triangle piece okay. for these ones and then just piece these ones because these are big. Mm. So the other advantage of having a big flying geese is that that bias um, stitch that you do and then press, the warp is less than it is with a small piece. Okay, yeah. Because yeah. if you're slightly inaccurate on a small scale, it makes a bigger difference <laughs> than if the, you're slightly the, inaccurate yeah, no, on a big scale. True. So these are a really good way of, if you've never done a flying geese before, mm. having a go at flying geese. Brilliant. I would say. Well, I'm just going to run through the yep. kits again. So the, the the green Liberty one, oh, the blue one, sorry. Okay, blue, blue or green? <laughs> I'm, I'm listening to the wrong thing. So the um, quilt that's behind um, Susie, the green one. Now in the kit, you get the full instructions, which tells you everything that you need to know. You've got all of the cutting. And remember that um, Susie's included if you're foundation paper piecing or whether you're um, doing normal cutting. There's um, step photographs of every single stage. Lots and lots, including backing and binding. And you've got the FPP templates there as well. And it tells you exactly what you need. So you will need two metres of fabric, so four half metres. But in the kit, you get these two Liberty fabrics. Beautiful. Well, those two print Liberties, anyway. And you get half metres. Let me show you. So you get half a metre of that one. Gorgeous, isn't it? Mm. So that's from the heirloom, the previous heirloom collection. Right, okay. So that's the... Um, heirloom number two. Floral jo yeah, Floral Joy heirloom two. And that's its little And that's little its baby buds. partner. Yeah. Um, and then you get the Wiltshire Shadows, which is the, um, the Liberty Blender fabric in this beautiful... It's called Apple. That one. Apple. I think so. Yes, very springy apple. Yes. And you get a half meter of white. That's used for the background. There we go. So all of that fabric. So you're getting two meters in total. Full instructions, just thirty nine ninety nine. Half of the stock has gone. 
And don't forget that you are and you will be entered in shop to win. Anyone who buys Liberty Fabric today, whether it's online or it's on the or on the website, then you will be entered into the draw to win the Liberty English Garden Aurifil collection. And this is the only bundle in this hour that will be entered you into the draw. Isn't that beautiful? So wouldn't it be lovely if you bought the kit and mm. you win the thread? The winner will be announced tomorrow. There we go. So that's that kit there. Then the next one is the blue one that Susie's been demonstrating with. Which is very close, very close with the green one. Um, now in this one, you get um, again the two meters. Now this is lovely, isn't it? Look at the, um, it's a really lovely large scale print. You've got the navy background and the flowers are really um, pretty, aren't they? They've got yellows and pinks. You've got a nice bit of sort of ochery orange in here and then the green leaves. It's very pretty, um, non-directional as well, which is great yeah. for patchwork, isn't it? And with the size of the squares that you're cutting, you're going to see a lot of that detail. Oh, that's true of those big because ones. Because you've yes. got really big squares going on. So you'll see a lot of the... Yeah, um, of all of pictures. those, because it is quite yeah. a nice big print. It's lovely print. Um, and then we've got half a metre of this smaller print. But it's from the same collection, so you can see it's beautiful. It's lovely when you, um, even if you use two or three fabrics from the same collection, it does help to pull a design together. I mean, ideally, you know, if you use fabrics from a whole collection, then it's all colour-coded and toned. But it is sometimes nice, because I don't think we always need to use designer fabrics in our quilts. But if you use a couple from a collection, then you know that the tonally they're correct. Mm. Because we've also got in here... Um, half a metre of the navy, and this is our, what's it called, this one? That's the, they're the, they just call them mottled. Is it mottled? Yeah, they call them mottled on the website. Mixer. It's kind of yeah, a, it's mottled. a mottled, I always think of it like that marbled look, isn't yeah. it? It's just called a mixer, but it is, it's not plain. It's got a bit of movement to it. i tell you what it looks like, the sun shining on navy water. Should or that moonlight. ever happen? Shimmering across. Moonlight, yes, because it's got that kind of shimmery yeah, look to it. It has. And then you get half a metre of white, which is used for the background. Um, and obviously full instructions, so you know how to make the quilt. There we go. That's the whole blue one. It's lovely. Full instructions. Sing. This one's in single figures now. It is lovely, isn't it? It is a nice one. And just think, by the end of it, you'll be an expert in flying geese. And I would say to you, if you've not done FPP before, this is a really good place to start it. Because if you're like me and you think, I don't like FPP, that's because I can't do it. Mm -hmm. And that's how I always felt. And then one day I thought, I'm actually just going to learn this. And I sat down with YouTube, my headphones, and I learned it. And yeah. that was it, completely hooked. Um, and then you can move on to then sort of the more complex pictorial work, which is fantastic because you can create the most amazing shapes. Absolutely. And I love it. Yeah. I, I love the overall effect, the, how clever it looks. Yes, it does look really yeah. clever. And what I like as well is once you quilt it, it then changes again, Absolutely. doesn't it? All that pieces disappear and it just becomes the thing. Yeah. And it, it's one of those where people stand and stare. How have they done that? Yeah, I know it's joyous. And even if you do with FPP, if you, you can do let words, I've often labelled things which, and just done the letters and that looks fabulous. Yes, it? yeah, it's a really good technique for lettering. So this yeah. could be the beginning of your FPP journey. Right, finally, now this is the Lewis and Irene one. So this is a beautiful, where's the big one? I'll do the big one first. Sort of soft pinks and mauves and corals look at this featuring oh let me turn it the right way up that's always useful isn't it um the owls this it's lovely isn't it and i like the fact that the um the moon is copper metallic so you've got the owl the owls flying it's a beautiful design and this is the one that will be cut as the larger pieces. So mm. um, if you cut it carefully, you should be able to get an owl in the middle of a you square. That, which would look amazing, wouldn't it? And then you've got, um, this is lovely. 
I'm just going to say the metallic on these, don't be frightened. It doesn't come off on your eyes. Okay. And it doesn't wear off when you wash it. It stays. It stays. It's amazing. No idea how. No. Very but it won't come off on your eye and it will stay. And I love this one. So all the crosses, well, yeah. they're not crosses. They're the stars yes. in the middle of these. Are they seed heads? I think they are, aren't they? So pretty. Um, and that's a really lovely shade of sort of deep aubergine and mauve with the gold stars. And then... Um, See, I'd, be, I'd struggle to know which one to use as, as the border and which one to use as the flying geese. That one. Definitely the owl would be this one. That would be that one. But I, I might even use the, the navy and pink for the inner one. And then and use, use the, the pink feather feathers for where you for dump my for border. the borders. Yeah. Or you could do all pink for the features and have the navy border. You could really mix it. Yeah, up, and you? it's a beautiful soft tone. There's also half a meter of white, but it's just, look, the colors in there are just gorgeous, aren't they? And obviously <laughs> you get full instructions. So there we go, 32.99 for that. Right, just to let you know, the navy one, the blue one, there's only two left. Yeah. Just two. So if you want those and you've got them in your basket, you need to be quick because there's only two of those left. Right, pattern on its own. Just 9 99 loads of information in there. And remember, this is a workshop in as much as it's a finished quilt. Yeah. So you're learning flying geese traditional method, flying geese FPP, and you're making a lap quilt all at the same time. If you're using your own fabric, you're just buying the instructions, you will need four half metres. There's also flying geese triangular method as well in there. Oh, is there? Yeah, there's three methods of doing oh, okay. flying geese in this booklet. Right, so we've got about 10 minutes Sit left. Um, so I can carry on. What I, You know when I said, if you do that extra step when you're doing your flying geese? Yes. So when you press out your half square triangles, and I said if you join them, by the time you've done all of these, you're going to have, let me do some quick maths. So that's 3 times 4 is 12 times 3 is 36. You're going to have 36 half square triangles. Right. Which means you can then piece them in whatever, you can do pinwheels, whatever you want to uh, do. Okay. On the reverse yes so you could make it a double-sided quilt bit and then just fill in the gaps because when you've pieced four of these yeah so, so then get, you could use sash you'll get in nine them. pinwheel mm. blocks from it you could then just yeah sash in with your leftovers in between yeah because you don't you can use up your scraps then yeah that's and true and then you could either self bind or just add on a binding mm. And then you've got a double-sided quilt. So if you are going to make it as a play mat or a picnic blanket, that means that if you get something on one side, yeah. you can just, you can just flip turn it over. It over. Oh, fantastic. It. So that's why I suggest... Right, good idea. In, and I do put that in the... Oh, you have, right. I have put it in the pattern as well. Just as an idea for... Um, it, for me, I'm always looking for fabric saving... Well, but also, I also think if I you, like double-sided quilts. But also, if you do it here and now, then yep. you will use it for that. Absolutely. And I, I don't, I've never understood why quilt backs aren't as good as the front. Yeah. I've never understood that because it's, you spend all this time doing this, mm. but why not make the back equally as good? And then you've got two. And then you've a got two. Yeah, yeah, a twofer. A twofer. Um, so that was my next idea. Um, so we've got 10 minutes. What do you want me to show you? <gasps> well, you can choose. I can choose. Oh, is there anything that we haven't covered? We've covered all the techniques in here. So well, is the other be... flying geese one? Uh, the triangle one. Yes. Yep. So let me cut a quick triangle. So um, we want a six and a quarter inch triangle. If I just, oh, is that one? Did I do that one? No. That one's not the right size, so let's cut this. I won't cut the whole strip because then we're not necessary. So a six and a quarter. So you can use your whatever method you like to do a quarter. Um, I'm going to do it with my uh, rotary cutter and this particular Creative Grids ruler. 
on your stripologies, remember to do the quarters, you've got that quarter inch marking on the left hand side of the zero, so mm. you can do that there. So that's done that side, so I'm going to reline that as quarter. So which um, flying geese is this used? So for? this will be for the inner one. Okay, so the little one. The little one as an alternative the way to do it. Right, so if you don't yeah. want to do the FPP. Yeah. So we're doing that and I need a bit of white, don't I? Where did I put all the bundle? There it is. I've used the wrong one, but it doesn't matter. We get the idea. Yeah, so if you bought the kit, you don't have to do FPP. No, you don't. If you want to learn a different method, then use that one. I think mm. these might be the right size, which would be very lucky if it was. And this is a really daft But the instructions thing. explain this one as well. They so do. if you really don't want to do the they FPP. Do. Oh, look at that. Don't let Just that put you right off because you can do this one instead. Yeah, there we go. That's that one. And then I want to take this one down. So this method does, I would say, is not one that is an easy beginner one. And you definitely want to best press before you do this method. Okay. Um, and the reason I say that is because you're, everything is going to be on the bias. Right, okay. So I've got best press here. I know we had this on the show earlier, didn't we? No, you've got the... I've got the cherry blossom one. Right, okay. I don't know what the citrus one smells like, but I would it's imagine lovely. it it's lovely. It smells of lemon oranges, it, doesn't it? Yes, it is very lemony. So it's I'm just going to spritz Zesty. these. But they're not... None of them are really strong. Mm. They're just... No, subtle. springy zestiness. Yeah. But as we said earlier, it soaks into your ironing surface, so it makes that smell nice as well and then your whole ironing pressing experience is pleasant i like ironing so it doesn't bother me but it is, does smell good so i'm just pressing these and the reason i'm pressing them is because we are going to be cutting them on the bias i want to make sure that i've got them as flat and as neat as i possibly right. can um, I, I have best pressed all this fabric before I've started cutting. Okay, so that already. So this so is before its you don't have to do it after you've cut. You can. You, you can always do before. And do it yeah, and now I've done an extra one. So this big one, we're actually going to cut in um, diagonally in half in both directions because it's much bigger than we need. So we're going to cut across and across the other way without moving anything. So a rotary mat, rotating mat is good. So we've then got four. So that'll do our uh, two sets. Okay. But with the skies, as they're called, we're just going to cut those in half once. So this will make the skies for each of the flying geese. But all the numbers are in the pattern. So what we're trying to achieve is this ultimately. Okay. Yeah. So to do that, you're going to line up. Again, it's a, f a, s a stitch and flip, if you like. But we want this to be a neat edge. So we're going to flip them so that these, this bottom edge here, lines up with oh, the bottom okay. edge there. I'm going to move all my stuff and then we're going to stitch with a quarter inch seam um, or if you like a scant quarter inch. Do have an issue with that, it's either a quarter or it's not, but quilters do like to invent their own. I think a, squant, a scant quarter of an inch is fine if you have the ability to move your needle over just one point. Yeah. A lot of sewing machines only have the sort of swing right or swing left. If yeah. with these more computerised machines you can just press a button and move it over yeah. one tiny point. But most machines don't have that. No, and then I think it's really hard to judge a scant. Yeah, the only way you can do it is... Um, mark because remember the machine is yours you can mm. mark with a sharpie a fine sharpie yeah um a line that is just inside and follow that if yes you want that's to. true with the hp foot and the hp plate if you actually follow the edge of the foot it gives you an exact quarter mm. if you come just 
so that your fabric is just inside the foot. That gives you your scan. Right. Um, so that's what I love about these. So I've joined that one. I'm now going to, I've finger pressed it over. I'm just going to give it a quick press so that it lines up. And you do have to press. Like we said before, if you don't press, it's not going to work. So this one's going to come in here. So again, I'm going to line up that bottom straight edge, okay. the 90 degree corner, mm. basically. And then we're going to stitch the quarter inch down. And you will get overlap. That is what we expect. That's the point. Yes. <laughs> First time I did it, I don't know about you, I did it and I thought, oh no, they're crossing. That's not right because I'd done so many half square triangles. Which don't. Yes, which that's don't. True, and I thought, actually, oh yeah. no, I've done it completely wrong because they've <laughs> crossed. So again, finger press it out and then press it. So, like with the foundation paper piecing and the bigger mm -hmm. piece, you do want to press as you go. The next, I would make the second one at this stage the same way um, and then I would join them together. But again, remember, do start with the same side so there's consistency. It just oh, flows by what's, better. Yeah, by what's yeah. overlapping what. But that's a really good tip about lining up the bottom edge because I think quite often you can sew it on and think, well, I don't know. Which well, you don't know where to. Where to and you, it up. And all, uh, the first one I did... That's why I've put it in the instructions, because the first one I did, I wasn't really paying attention, and I just went, oh, yeah, right, we'll flip that. Oh, it's a bit big, so I'll just shuffle it so that they meet yeah. in the middle. And then when you actually stitch it like that, what you find is it doesn't meet in the middle and it doesn't press out properly. Yeah, I see what you mean. <laughs> yes, yes, so, so that makes sense. I've saved you making that By doing decision, it that way. By putting it in the instructions. Fab. Well, it's quite nice to learn these different ways because I'm sure you, all of you out there who do make flying geese, I'm sure you've got your own Absolutely. favourite method. Yeah. But it's not always the one that could be your favourite method if you haven't tried the others. No, and every day's a school day, isn't it? And I also think, depending on the number of flying geese in a project, you're yes, going to adopt a different method. Yes, that's true. And the size of them. Yeah. And because yeah, no, I, and I use the Creative Grids flying geese ruler when I've got a huge number to do. Right. Because you do that using a strip. Okay. And you strip piece it. But this method is great if you've only got a few to do. Yeah. So what I would do now is just trim or square those off um, because it gets rid of all those natty bits that are just going to add bulk when I join them together. Don't need those. Not worried about the ones in the corner, but these ones in the middle here. Right, just so pain. just for when... So I then want to join those two together. So I'd bring those over the top, line them up, scooch it, and I pin or clip, whichever you prefer. I'll clip for speed. But what... I tend to do is now stitch on this side because of what I want to aim for is that point where they cross. Right, okay. So that will tell you how good your quarter inch has been. Because <laughs> if you're way off. Yeah, I sometimes find I'm sort of going sloping down a bit to hit that. Yeah, you might have to be, adopt the one inch. If you've got to adopt the one inch, the eighth of an inch, then you really need to look at your quarter inch <laughs> measurements. Don't Just a slight sloping yeah, down. I'm not saying that mine's going to be perfect, but it's not bad. Look at that. That's brilliant. Excellent. So now we have learned three, three methods. Flying geese methods. Well, that's fabulous. Exactly. Um, so when are you back with us, Susan? Uh, not very long now. Really? Fifth of April. Oh, wow. Not long yeah, at all. So, and I'm doing oh, some exciting new Bozal products. Oh, I love a bozel. Two quilt kits. Fabulous. All in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's marvellous. Gosh. Wow. And breathe. Um, <laughs> good. Uh, well, I'm looking forward to the new bozel project. Yeah, no, bozel they are project. very exciting ones. Very useful ones as oh, well. Oh, good. Even better. Yeah. Um, let me just recap the um, bundles, the kits. The blue one is sold out, gone gone but you can have the liberty one so the liberty um kit has got three half meters of liberty fabric they're all 
folded up together. So we've got um, a half a metre of the two print ones, Liberty, a half a metre of the Wiltshire shadows in the green, apple green, very spring colours. This is the quilt that's hung up behind Susie and a half metre of white. And then obviously we have full instructions too. There we go. Um, everything you need to make the front of the quilt. And if you're very careful and cut off your, your do your half square triangles, cut them off Ed, properly, then you'll have some for the back as well. Um, then we also have the pink version. This is the Lewis and Irene, which is beautiful shades of sort of pinky aubergine. So you get half a metre of the one with the owls. Remember, there's a bit of copper metallic on that. Um, and then you get half a metre of this seed head one, which has lovely sort of aubergine colour with the gold seed crosses there. And then the feather print, all beautiful, really lovely, gentle, dusty shades of pink. It's not sort of um, pastel pretty. It's very um, vintage, dusty pink. And then there's um, gold metallic within the feathers. And you get half a metre of white for the background. And of course, full instructions very important. Now, um, if you've got your own fabric, you will need four half metres of fabric from your own stash. Um, these are the instructions on their own, 9.99. Remember, you, that is, this is a workshop learning journey. You are going to learn three different methods for flying geese, and you can choose which one you like. And at the end of it, you will make a whole quilt. The quilt is 30 inch, 38 inches square, so it's ideal for um, a, a baby quilt, a play mat, a picnic blanket, a lap quilt, a wall hanging, just something to pop in the back of the car. And it's just a very manageable size. So if you're at the beginning of your quilting journey or you want to make a quilt in a hurry, this is ideal for you. Um, so we'll see you back on the 5th of April, you will. Susie. Thank yes. you so much. Happy Easter, everybody. Yes. Oh, that's true, yeah. Happy Easter from yes, Susie. That's this weekend. Um, I will see you back here in a few minutes. It's Monday, it's 12 o'clock. <laughs> it's Yarn Lane. <laughs> He's and laughing. It's, crack, you and it's yes, Friday. It's not Friday and it's not five o'clock. It's Monday, it's 12 o'clock. It's <laughs> Yarn Lane. And I've got the wonderful Mandy Cameron with me who is going to be demonstrating how to make some gorgeous walker chalk um, kits. If you were here earlier, you sure I showed you there's beautiful crochet blanket and a beautiful knitting blanket as well as a bag and a cushion and some tops and they are already flying out. Remember all the needles and hooks as a special bonus to you are free. I will be back with you in a few minutes time and we'll be going through all of them and Mandy's going to show you exactly how. <laughs> Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the combine order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week.
Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one p and with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to sewingstreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. And uh, welcome to Yarn Lane. So we have got wool couture. We have. Now, all of these kits, because we've got a variety of them, they're all made using the same yarn. They are. Now, yes. tell me about this yarn, because it feels... It feels gorgeous. lovely. <laughs> but it's cotton. It is. It's 100% cotton. See, now, I'm surprised at that. Yeah, there's there's very little chemicals in this cotton. It's not mercerised or anything. No. It's really natural. Because quite often, I thought when I felt these this morning, I thought, I knew it was cotton, but I thought it must have another fibre in yeah, it. Yeah, no, no, it doesn't. It's pure cotton, 100%. Um, cotton is very durable and it's... Um, but it's normally, because is it a double knit? It is a double but knit. It normally it can be a bit I hard, can't stiffer. it? Stiffer. Well, the good thing about this cotton is it's soft, soft to start with, but it softens the more you wash it. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Because look, if I is. show you... Because it's such a natural fibre, that's what happens, so it doesn't peel. Well, there's obviously different qualities, because I've yes. knitted cotton tops before yeah. that are much stiffer. Yeah, yeah. Um, and there's also a quality of cotton that you use for dishcloths well, and yes. towels and stuff yes, like that. So this is, this is really high quality. This is like the top. Because look at the get. the drape on it. It feels... Well, that's it. I think... I don't know quite what it is. No, I don't so know. It feels... Oh, what it is, it's, there's no elasticity element in cotton, which means the drape stays Yes, straight. that's true. But it it has no stiffness at all. And no. that's what... If, you're, if you've used cotton yarn... I mean, there are different qualities. To me, when I saw this, I thought this must have a bit of another fibre in it because it has got a beautiful drape to yes. it. Yes. But it's great because you can wash it, so it's great for children and babies. Oh, absolutely, yes, yeah, so it, because it's hypoallergenic. You know, it's mm. such a natural fibre. Now, I love this. So we've got knitting and crochet, because we know that you love both. Now, the this is, it looks a bit log cabin-y. It does, doesn't it? And it, yeah. you know, it starts in the centre, the same as you would do if you were sewing it, basically. <laughs> it's true. So you start with um, one of these squares, and then you'd... Um, change colour here and carry on but then to get the next one which is either going to be sort of the white or no, oh, no it must the be green, the green isn't it um, you pick up the stitches oh, along the side so there's no more casting on you just pick up the stitches so this reduces um, well eliminates the sewing which you is absolutely well also all the and that together. makes it more stable doesn't yes, it yes yeah so the finished size of this because that's what i would like to know i mean you've got everything in the kit by the way you've even got the needle which you'll need sewn in the ends it's 45 inches square so it's a really nice size for um i mean a lovely gift for a new baby isn't it's it it's gorgeous and with all these lovely colors in you i know can't and they're wrong, can you well they're so. pretty but they're soft they're not pastel no lovely colors you get um these all 50 gram balls of their cotton candy three six ten twelve fourteen fifteen seventeen twenty twenty balls twenty balls, 20 yeah. balls. so look 
them in there. And they all come in the bag. Yeah. So they're all nicely packaged if you wanted to buy buy this for someone as a kit. Yeah. But you also get four free circular needles. Now, you get these not because it's circular, but because of the weight of the knitting. It's easier. Yeah. When you come along these edges and you've got <laughs> over 100 stitches yes. to pick up, you're not going to get them on your standard 35 centimetre. I mean, no, and they'd be ones, just really heavy and long. And it will, and it will sit in your lap nicely. True. So you get the, and they come for free. That's the special deal that you get those. And they are worth £12.99. And all of this yarn, and it is beautiful. And I think you'll be surprised that, I, I was, I thought this was mm. a cotton, maybe with a 10% acrylic or something, but yeah. it really isn't, it's 100% cotton. So it's great for um, a baby blanket, a christening blanket. It's something lovely that you can snuggle up under the sofa, on the sofa, or equally in the summer if you just want to wrap it around yourself, yes, because it's right. cotton. And the other thing is, it doesn't peel, like I said, it doesn't fluff up, it doesn't split. It's, so it's very, very easy to work with. And with this being garter stitch as well, it's ideal for either if you're just starting out learning to knit or yeah, if you've true. just done that this is could be your next project mm -hmm. um because it li literally is the garter stitch and once you've done the first couple and picked up the stitches you're away yeah so you kind of challenge yourself to go further yeah so it is kind of journey it's a beginner's but uh, yeah. you'll learn picking up stitches which is a another technique but if you are a great knitter already you'll find this an absolute breeze yes yeah for a and knitter already this is like you're in front of a tv project. oh it is yeah. and i like the way that you you're changing color so it's yeah. not too much is it no and then no. you move on to another color and i like that that's right yes yeah it's so therapeutic because well when i've watched you do like say um the ribbon cushion where you put one piece on mm. and then you put another piece on and sew it and then you turn it over and yeah. sew it it's kind of similar to that because you're putting all the pieces together yes, as you go yes. it's and the color palette is lovely when you look at them they are pastels but they're very gentle aren't they they're very gentle very sort of not muted so that they're vintage but not no bright. i'm trying to describe yeah they're them. not not bright in your face no but they're not sort of sugary pastels no so you've got lemon baby pink mint white baby blue light gray and lavender and um you get the you get the need so it comes with the needle and the full pattern yep and your diagram and the diagram start. on the back yep. it's great i love that so that's the um, knitting one. I won't put them all away. I'm only going to get them back. <laughs> I know what a mess you get in. Do you remember <laughs> last time, though, why I honestly... You did. It was... I think this is easier. This is my theory. Because <laughs> I'm going to keep them all on there. Um, right. Are you ready to be able to show us, or should I do the crochet um, one? I'm not ready yet, okay. no. Right, Hannah, can we put the crochet one on? Oh, I think Hannah's disappeared. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's got a problem with... Oh, maybe she's checking the other blanket out, isn't she? Oh, no. Sorry. It was me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she's Hannah had disappeared because <laughs> she was having problems with... But I realised... I'd run out of batteries. Sorry. Hello. I'd run out of batteries and then it hadn't turned it, hadn't turned it back up again. Can we do the crochet one? It's like I'm, I'm blind and Anna's blind together. We're like, oh, please. <laughs> right, um, I'm going to do the crochet one next. Now, this is exactly the same yarn, so you get that lovely yeah. same drape, but this is crochet. So it just depends on what you want, really. So this one is forty four ninety nine. Um, now, in the kit, you get all of this yarn. So this has got an extra shade in it. So this one has got... Um, 50 grams of pink lemon, mint lavender, baby blue, mushroom, and light grey. So you get the mushroom. I like that. So again, it's these gentle colours. They're it so, is, isn't it? What I like about this is it's completely gender neutral, isn't it? Yes, it absolutely. Really, you know, this, anyone can have this. Yeah. The colours are all mixed. Yeah. You haven't got any anything that you think, oh, that's definitely boy, girl. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to 
oh, I wouldn't put that colour in no. or, or anything else. There's not nothing to, not anything to dislike. And I think the white border just makes all yeah, those colours pop. Yeah, it's really fresh. And it doesn't matter which, which order you put your squares in. I mean, you've got two the same colour there. It, it really doesn't matter. I think, can you imagine bringing your baby home from hospital oh. in this? And the, in the hospital, oh. you go, no way, where did you make that? <laughs> and you get up. Yeah, it's just, it's classic. It is classic, it? yeah. And then afterwards, it would look lovely on a cot. It would. Yeah, it's big enough for that, isn't it? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. But it doesn't have to be for a baby. You know, I'm thinking if you're, um, you know, you're sitting in a chair, maybe you're, um, you know, maybe you're in a wheelchair yeah. or you're in yeah. a home and you just want something over your knees or you just want it over the back of the sofa or you're just sitting watching the telly like I do and you think, oh, it's a bit chilly. I'll just put my blanket over my knees. It'd yeah. be absolutely <laughs> ideal for that as well. It's just that beautiful, and it's the same beautiful cotton candy yarn. You also get with it comes your free crochet hook. Yeah. Now, normally with uh, a double knit yarn, you get sort of four mil. That's your average. Yes. But this one's a three and a half. Oh, that's Just to give it... Um, is that to make it... Is it because it, it's cotton or...? Um, I think it's just to give it a more denser right. um, feeling on, on, the, on the granny squares. Oh, OK. So. so if you haven't crocheted before, this is possible. Well, yes, Granny Squares is basic. Yeah. Um, but I would suggest you learn how to do the stitches first before you venture right. into this. So kind of have a practice with something on a row or just get somebody to teach you how to do the right. stitch. Because okay. with a Granny Square, you start with a circle and then you turn it into a square by putting four mm. corners in. And it really is just about a little bit of, little bit of maths, not a lot. But if you think of threes... Each, each, right. each sort of um, section is three. So, stitches. if you've done a granny square before, mm. you will find this easy piece. Yes, you if would. you haven't, then what we would suggest is learn how to do that first. Squillions and squillions of YouTube videos yep. about how to do that. Then you will be able to tackle this. You would. But I mean, you, you could practice with this if mm. you wanted. Mm. Good. And then you could just undo it. That would be fine. Yes. But just have a little practice first. Yeah. I mean, because if you've never crocheted mm. before, you might you need to learn how to hold your hook. Yeah, but the cotton is very forgiving. The cotton so is very forgiving. This, then, um, well, I would say it's it's all about your tension as well. You, your first square that you yes. perhaps make will either be might too not big be or just, too small, true. depending on how. If you're tense, it's going to be tight. If you're, you know. So with this, I want to know how about joining them together. Is okay. it join as you go? It, um, I think it tells you at the no. end no it's not because that's they're the, crocheted together they're crocheted together so you would put so, so to confuse it so there's a way of join as you go where you actually do the yes and yes them i did together. when i first saw the picture i thought that's what it's what's happened but it's they're it's not it's crocheted together crocheted together so you crochet okay. a strip up there strip there and then as you've done all the long mm. ways you then go all the way across and you can see it Perhaps see that true. ridge. I mean, if you back. are a more experienced crochet, you'll know what we're talking about with joiners. You, yeah. you can do that. But it's not hard, even if you're a beginner, <coughs> because you literally just pop your squares together like that, and you would then match up your stitches. You just pick up one and stitch just, here, yes. you pick up the stitch on the other side, and you do your double crochet. Right. So what are you going to show us? I can show you. I can basically do that if you okay, want. I can yeah. pop that one yes, on there, that would be or I can just start one off. Oh, show us how to do that. I'll be show nice. Show how to do that. Okay. Well, I'm going to use the other end of this. Right, let me put my clip back together. Right. right. Let me and just see where we need to move to. One moment. Okay. I'm, um, I, whatever I do, I always start with a, a, the slip knot because it just, for me, it just makes everything easy. The hooks on my... The so this is how we line. join the squares. So yeah. you make all of the squares yes. and then you crochet them together. Yes. Right. So if I can just turn it round the yep. other way, because then you can, it'll be on the same side as, as this one. I think yeah. this is, I used to think, oh, I'd rather sew them together, but this yeah, is actually I, easy. Yeah, I used to be like that. Yes. This is, this it is, is easier, easier, isn't it? And then learning how to do it, which is a, and a more advanced mm. feature as you go along, is even, you know, even better, but it's what you aspire to, Also, so, if you need to undo it, yeah. it's much quicker. <laughs> <laughs> and I have needed to do yeah. that quite a lot. Yeah. So you're going to go in to the whole, the two chain space of your corner here, 
and in the corner of your other square here and you're literally just going to do your double crochet just like that so then you're going to match up your treble stitches and you're going to take the stitch from one side through the stitch on the other side and we're just going to do a double crochet which is your most basic stitch so if you're going to do your chain, your slip stitch, your double crochet and your trebles. Now these are UK terms I'm using. Right, okay, they're all in UK. Yeah. Hannah says she's struggling with the double crochet. Yes, well, we'll we need to give you a little lesson, Hannah. <laughs> happily, happily do that. So then I've just gone over the three trebles, joined it. So the two chain space, you're just going to do two because it's a two chain space. So you need to do two stitches to replicate right, that okay. size of the space. And then you're just going to go in the top of each treble again. And I guess you just you can just match just, them up. Just match them up. And that's all. And, you know, um, you could, if you wanted to, if you really wanted to be funky, and do it in a different colour. So that it's, you know, yeah. you have And then you'd have lines. lines yes, that's yeah, true. Grid lines. So there we are. We, that's all we're doing going along there. Oops. Here, in, and you can see that ridge forming here. Yeah, but it's funny because it's not like unsightly, no, it isn't. is it? So this so, is the back, can you see? Yeah, this again is, is goes down to personal choice. Mm. And, and it's also a personal choice, a bit of personalisation, if that's what you always do. So you, it doesn't look like it's a right or a wrong side. It still looks yes, nice that's true. Yes. either way. Oh, it does, doesn't yeah. it? Whereas when you're sewing it and you've got to thread ends through and everything else, can be a little um, bit... Julie's asked, Ooh. do the instructions include it? One moment, Julie. Um, what she yeah, doing? we're using yarn H, hold a pair of squares together with the wrong side in the middle, double crochet along one edge. Yep. There we go. And that's what we're doing. And then double crochet to join the columns. Yeah, so you go and go also up one way um, and across the other. Wilkerchur. Oh, is that the? Also, what I would say, Jude, is that um, Wilkerchur do have a lot of tutorials they do. on their YouTube, and the details of that are in the instructions. So, if there's something specific that you yes. want to learn, like you think, oh, I don't know how to use do double treble, how to hold the hook, how to do yeah. this. They do have a lot of their own YouTube tutorials. Yeah. So they have great customer service, so you know. They'll be able to help you. So it does explain in here about how to how to join them together. But if you want a more in-depth explanation, go onto their YouTube. And obviously you can choose your own way. If I was doing it, I would actually do join as you go. But that's the yeah. next yeah. kind of step up where Absolutely. you do all the white at the same time yeah. and you crochet into here and into here all at the same time. Yeah. But and you, you might like the ridge, you could do the slip stitch. Yes. So, so you, you, you would could just take one side of the stitch from each and it lays flat then because the slip stitch sits in. But it's one of those, um, you know, those methods that it's up to you how Ooh. you do it. I, I, Absolutely. I love this. I think this is really nice because I think you, it, it's a nice finish. I tend to do this. But if I was yeah. doing a blanket, I might then go to the join as you go. But again, these, that's one of those methods that if you want to learn it, oh, this yeah, and it's portable, features. isn't it? Because you're doing it square yes. by square. So you yeah. can, if you know you've got to wait somewhere for an hour, you can just take um, one of the colours. So the finished squares. size of this is 96 by 80, centi Ooh. 80 centimetres. It's, it's a fair old size, gorgeous. isn't it? Yeah, it's good, good size. It's good size. Mm -hmm. 44 99 And remember, you get a free hook with that. Right, I'm going to return to the blanket, the knitted blanket. Okay. That's the one I'm returning to. Sorry, I'm just under the desk. I'm back. Um, <laughs> last Love time, Mandy was on the wall cushion. I got all of the kits mixed up and they're all on the floor behind me. In a, and then at the end, no ideas. And I'm determined this is not going to happen this time. Mm -hmm. So I'm putting my instructions back in the right bags because we were all over. <laughs> You're doing it as you go yeah. this time. Now, the knitted blanket is flying out, just to warn you. So I just want to go back to this and Mandy's going to show us. Now it's easy peasy knitting. It's garter, shit. garter stitch. We don't have to do that, don't we? We do. That's, it's the first stitch you learn. And, it is. And it's um, the same as when you would uh, cast on, basically. You go into the yeah. left-hand side of the stitch. Which is knit every row. 
garter stitch knit every row so if you can knit already but again remember that when you get your um instructions on there is the information about wool couture's youtube tutorials which will teach you all of this from the beginning anyway so if you've never done garter stitch then yeah. they will teach you but it is knit if yeah. you can some knit. of these kits actually have the how to knit manuals in them and the how to crochet right. manuals that they supply so um I don't know if they're in every kit, but they're in the most okay, of the kits Okay, but if not, it's on their YouTube anyway. Mm, definitely. So really, the only, the next stage is this joining. Picking up. Picking up the stitches. Right. Okay, which is very easy on your cast on edge because okay. they're all there ready for you, aren't they? So, so just 59 99 and you're making this bag. It's a good size as well. I'm going to just try it on. It's a bit chilly in here. It's always chilly in here. No, I'm warm. That's why I love yarn <laughs> lane on a Monday, because yeah. normally we might yeah. have a knitted garment for me to wear. Near today, it is a knitted blanket. See, now look at the size. Look at that. Actually, I have to say, that comes down to my ankles. I think it's lovely home in your home, Ooh, because I you just know. have it folded on the side. I can arm. imagine being on the sofa yeah. under this. Over the lap, you know. Yeah. Or <laughs> summer dress. Well, you know, yes, yes, just wrap you that round you. Yeah, that would not be out of place because mm. the collars would probably beautiful. Yeah, look at that. Look. Okay, because that's quite square. You could do a diagonal one, couldn't you? Oh, I could. Now I'm wearing it. How do we? How do we do it? Okay, so just picking up stitches. I do do it. I find half it of the stock's with gone. A... Just saying, half of the stock. Wow. Of this is gone. <laughs> I do find it easier to do it with a, a crochet hook because you can just go... Oh, hang on, we need to move you. Over here. <laughs> Bye there. All right, lovely. And I just go into those areas. Right, so you, you put... Hang on, you're on crochet. I've just used the hook to pull it through. Oh, I see. I just find that so much easier. You oh, can... That's interesting. Yeah, you can... So just to start it. Yeah. Oh, okay. You can go in and then sort of... Oh, I'm holding it like I'm crocheting. <laughs> You're doing honestly. I'm <laughs> so then you can. It'll oh. say pick it up and knit it. So you pick so it you up just put and the you knit through. it like that. Basically. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. so just with one needle. One with needle. Yep. Yeah. In, pick it up. Pick up the side yeah. stitch. Wrap it round. Pull it through. But sometimes. Um, depending on your tension and everything else, right. so, so if it was a on a neck band and things, yeah. it might be a little bit more tricky to get your oh. needle in. So I would literally just use a, a crochet hook oh. and just pick it up and, pop and put it, it on the there. needle. Great tip. Yeah. So if you're a all. knitter and you haven't got any crochet hooks, get yourself just one. Just one, that's all For you this. need. Yeah. You don't have to have one, but... Yeah. That is a good tip, isn't it? So that then, and in fact, you don't need a fancy one for this. You could have no, a really rubbish. Any, any, anyone. Inexpensive any, so one. Yeah. So then, once you've knitted that, you'd then go back. I'll use this needle just because it's going to be easy, and you would just knit it, knit the next row because it'll tell you how oh. many to pick up, and then you pick them up. Oh, so it tells you how many along the side. Yep. And then what happens is to create that log cabin effect when you're doing a longer that. one. It'll, it'll tell you. Got to take the blanket so, off now. I'm cold. Now. <laughs> so on here, you've got one and two, so that this one is your three. Ah. This one becomes your next one. Right. So you do then, that one that joins. That, that well, that one. doesn't join. You just keep knitting. Keep, you just swap colours. That one then you joins pick up to the there. Here. Then you pick up the stitches there because then you're picking up the yeah. stitches down here. So as long as you follow the chart, otherwise yep. you go all sorts of It's all of numbered. Ones. Yeah, quite straightforward. And then you do this one. Right. Once everyone's checked out, we've got fewer than 20 left. It is me. But yeah, it I, is I, I love all popular. This. And I love the fact it's log cabin. Log cabin in knitting. Yes. Remember, it's 100% cotton yarn. But if you're thinking cotton is stiff, which it can be, mm -hmm. this is, it's all about quality. I mean, it's a bit like woolen yarn, isn't it? You know, wool yarn can be quite stiff and nitchy and yes. furry, and it can it, be very, very soft. Soft, yes. And that's all to do with the, you know, the quality and whether it's mixed with anything. Yeah, and, but this um, is 100% cotton, so yes. it can be chucked in the washing machine. Yes, But it can. look at the drape on it. Yeah. And I think it's beautiful it, it is good it's good for taking heat away from your body as well which is why they're used in garments yes yep, yep 
Um, it holds, I think it's something like 27 times its own weight in water, which is why it's good for... Uh, <laughs> if it gets very, if it gets very, head. very wet, it will hold a lot of water. <laughs> well, then you can just kind of like squeeze it out. <laughs> just imagine you? this massive blanket. <laughs> Yeah, so it's also yeah. biodegradable. It is because it's it? cotton. It's but don't leave it outside. Oh, no, and it, it's the, the oldest known fibre, I is think, in, in history. Yeah. Really? Yeah. The oldest known fibre. Wow. Because it comes from a plant, isn't it? And all those little. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. Mm. I wonder how long it takes to biodegrade. Um, I don't know for that. cotton. I know for merino mm. wool, it's about a year. But is uh, that all? Yeah. No. Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah, it's about a year for that. Really? Yeah. yeah it's not so if very you long left it, I suppose you've got to leave it outside. Yeah, but then I suppose it's yeah, as it comes off the. Why do you? That's true. Because I used to have sheet, some things. garden string that was wool. Yeah. yeah. And and you tie up your plants, and it does Ooh. biodegrade. Yeah, it breaks down. You know, Amazing. if you if you not you can't if this was merino wool, you can't just chuck this in your garden. You'd have to yes, you know, but shred it. Yes. <laughs> and well, the string does go quite quickly. Yeah. Anyway, fifty nine. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Somebody will Real message us in with how long it takes cotton to buy a degree. <laughs> Fifty nine ninety nine. How many balls was it? Was it twenty? Twenty. Yeah. Twenty fifty gram balls in all of these shades of spring joyful colours. I've got. I've got another one here. Have you got? Oh, no, I've got it. It's just it it there. disturb the packaging. There, I've got it. There we go. In. Um, so you get three lemons, three baby pinks, four mint, two white, two baby blue, three light grey and three lavender. And you also get, don't forget for free, for free, you get the circular needle, which is brilliant because I know, I remember the first time I saw, who it was, somebody showed me about using these for blankets. And I'm like, yeah, but it's not a circle. We didn't understand that. Yeah. But, um, They're not, but not, uh, where are we, circular needle? You could make a circular blanket and then it would that's, be a scarf. That's 12 99 12 99 Yeah. So the thing is, is that it's not just about the needles having to be long. It's about the weight, isn't it? And I it know is. if you suffer from arthritis yeah. or yeah. holding those big needles. Yeah. yeah, and to stop it doing coiling while yeah. you're working with it, just, just pop it in some warm water. Okay. And it, it will straighten it like that. Not the microwave because it's got metal no. bits on. No, <laughs> it's definitely not really the microwave. Bad. Warm water. So how long? Bowl of warm water. Minutes. It's minutes. It's just to soften that, oh, okay. that plastic. And then I didn't you know just that. dry it off and then you've got oh. your... And then you see what you've got is you're just knitting with like a few stitches here. Yeah. The blanket. Is, yeah, the same as what I'm knitting here, isn't it? So yeah, I'm only holding... True. The way I knit, I only hold the ends. But, you know... Because I honestly thought they could only be... What you do is, once you get to the end of one, you just, just like it's two turn needles, it. you just yeah. turn it. You don't keep knitting round. Yeah. Or you'd have a tube. You still do it row by row. Yeah, yeah but that took me a while to work that out. <laughs> but it does sit on your lap, which makes it a lot easier. So oh, then yes. So are these, oh, these are four mil. Yes, that's which right. Which still looks fine, doesn't it? They are quite fine. I think we've gotten to... Um, well, I certainly have used chunky yarn. Yes. Um, Maybe that's it. And I've gotten used to using six mil, eight mil. And then when you come down, back it down to the It feels weird. Although like, I am getting a pair of socks at the moment. They're tiny. Two and a half mil, so Ooh. I'm surprised. See, socks is never something I've... I love. I want to. I love I've knitting got to socks. Do them. Just because all just you need it. is there's little needles and the ball of one. That's it. Yeah, and you just keep going round and round and round, don't you? Yeah. And, I, until you get to the heel. Mm, then I that's love uh, knitting foxes socks. Knees, but, um, yeah, otherwise, quite easy. Right, we should do it. <laughs> I absolutely I will love do it. it. I will. This is really popular, just cotton. to warn you. Fewer than 20 of these kits left, so you do need to get checked out. Remember, right. you get free needles worth 12 99 which has got to be a bonus. Yes, right, definitely. I'm going to keep all of this together. What should we do next? The stripy crochet cushion. Where is that? Now that came from somewhere. Oh, yeah. Pardon? That came from somewhere. Ah, might yes. Out of the then I know shade. exactly where that is. That's it. No, no, I know exactly where that is. <laughs> You'll be surprised. Right, next we're going to talk about cushions. Okay. I love a crochet cushion because it always fits. Well, it does, <laughs> doesn't it? Because it's got the texture of crochet has a quite a lot of give in it, you know. Yes, so. if you had a beach hut, how nice would this look? Oh, in stunning. It? Stunning, or even on your patio. Yeah, it is. You know, lovely, whether you've got it? chairs or whether you've got a bench outside, mm. um, that's lovely just to place on there. Um, now, in it, it's only twenty-four ninety-nine. 
you get, again, it, they're all featuring this gorgeous cotton yarn. So we have got two balls of lemon and two balls of white and the pattern. And there you go. Ah, now this has got the crochet yeah. manual, manual in it. Yeah. And it comes as, with a free hook. So let's have a look at the crochet manual. So you'll get one of these in there. What does this tell us? Right, there we go. Let's learn to crochet. So this actually, it, well, for you, it's great if you're a beginner, but this is a good gift. So if you Definitely. know someone who wants to learn mm. to crochet, yeah. everybody wants a cushion. Hannah, you need to have this. <laughs> everybody want, needs a cushion. So what a lovely gift. $24.99. And look, just because it's important. Wrapping is important. It is. Um, it all comes in this lovely envelope, my bag of happy. So that's a really nice gift for somebody. Look, how to make a slip knot, how to hold a crochet hook. Yes, their suggestion, that's, but again. That is what know. people ask, isn't it? Yes. How to chain stitch, how to double crochet, how to treble. At turning a row and joining a new ball of yarn. Fastening off and weaving in, there we go. There we go, what more could you ask for? And that's and all you need to know. And don't forget as well, they do give the information about their YouTube. Yeah. So all Let of this. Lazy days. <laughs> all of that is on their um, YouTube as well. What a lovely gift. That's a lovely someone. gift. And it is, it is done in two squares. And mm. it's the same stitch. You're just doing it in blocks of okay. um, four rows. Um, now, we do have the cushion pads as well. So if you need the cushion pad... Um, you can buy one of those and they are exactly the right size. That's lovely, isn't nice, it? Nice, isn't it? I like that. And I guess, is that just in doubles and trebles? It's just uh, UK treble stitch, yes. Um, okay. I can't see where the doubles are, although the manual teaches you how to do the doubles. Let's have a look, shall yeah. we? Yeah. Treble, 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 treble. Maybe there's no doubles. It is all trebles. It is all trebles, isn't it? Yeah. And it is designed for beginners. Yeah. Most definitely. Absolutely This lovely. is a good project to do because you're just going backwards and forwards and you'll get that rhythmic motion. You will get your tension. Yes, and also right. because everything's in here, you've got the hook yeah. as well. I think that's lovely, isn't it? A good price as well, 24 notes. Well, it is, yeah. And it's, it's a great definitely. practice because um, by the time you finish that, you'll know how to treble. Yes, and to be honest, I know a lot of people say when they begin crochet, they start with the granny square. This is easier. This is easier. I would not. Why is it? Well, I don't know. I think crochet it has that granny square thing about it. Yes. You know, that granny square. Um, when I first did lessons, I started with that. Mm. And yes, some too. people got it, some people didn't. And then I'm thinking, why am I teaching them to do a technique <laughs> before teaching them <laughs> to do true. the stitch? So I would always do just a row of say 30 stitches, mm. 30 chain, and I'd do a couple of rows and then I would give it out when people arrived. Oh, then I'd show them see. just how to do the stitch so that they could work out how they hold the yarn. Because lots of people yes. get a comfort, you know, if you're- Well, the hardest you might thing about it. crochet is that first bit. It is. And you sort of get yeah, people and you go, oh, this, and they- And, 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 and they can't do and it. And it's all falling off. Yeah, I'm not coming back, that was, yeah. you know. So if you teach them just to do the oh. stitch first, mm. Then you go on from that stitch, because doing the stitch, just turn it, tell them what to mm. do when they turn, do the stitch. And do that for half an hour, an hour, right. depending on what time you have, and they will get into the flow of it, and, and they'll is, feel confident. So doing these rows, yeah. way easier. Most definitely. Than a granny square. Yeah. yeah. The, from once you've done the row, then definitely go on to your granny square, because the stitch is oh. the same. Right, another cushion, it's hiding. Oh. Hayden. I wondered where that was. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, the bubble. bubble cushion. Yep. Is this a little bit more advanced? It is. This is a half treble stitch. Right. And uh, a bobble. And all the bobble is, is doing the same stitch as um, the stripy cushion, but only halfway up. <laughs> okay. Makes sense. I can't say it's half a treble because we're already doing half treble stitches, but I've got a little swatch here that I can demonstrate. The oh yes, that would be good. So. so this is, I mean, obviously this is a beginner, beginner, beginner. But you know what I always think with these things? What do they say? Um, so easy, easy says rather yeah. than beginner. Easy. If you've done a little bit of crochet, yeah. Or do you know what? If you just determined you're going to learn it, then just learn it. Well, that's it, isn't it? <laughs> you, you, if this stitch says half treble, and oh, I haven't done that. And just 
you then know, learn how to do, to do it. it. The instructions are on the pattern, how to do the bob, yarn over, put it through mm. the stitch, pull the yarn through and everything. So you in the kit, you get nice packaging, obviously. Instructions, needle, four balls of the mint cotton candy yarn, the crochet hook, and that's free. They give that away specially. They're not normally in their kits. We just get them. Yes. It's only with Sewing Street. Otherwise, if you were buying it at other places, you'd have to pay for the hook. But you would. For free. Yeah. So, um, how bonus. do we do this then? So, Mandy? this one, um, it's a four row pattern. So, three rows is just straightforward half treble in every stitch. Right. And a half treble is you just put the yarn over your hook first. Then you're going into the stitch, both parts of the V. You're engaging the yarn and pulling it through. So you've got three, three stitches on your hook. Then you're going over your hook and just pulling it through all three. So it's kind of like a cross between a treble and a double. Are you watching this, Hannah? So it's over your hook, into your stitch, engage your yarn and pull it through. So you've got three on your hook over your hook again and pull it through all three. It just creates a, a, a denser thickness. So over your hook, in your stitch, bring it through, over and through. And this cotton really does make it easy to yeah, see your it stitches. Yeah, it does. It's, there's, what does it say? It's good stitch definition. That's it, yes. Good stitch yes. definition. You can see, these are your stitches. This is your mm. V on the top and you just got to pick up both parts of that V and with this it just slides like yeah. through. It's, just, it's even as if it's made for you just just to slip. I think Hannah slip maybe in. you need to start with cotton. Just let it glide through your fingers if, if you're very loose just weave it through another finger or wrap it around your little finger just whatever mm. whatever gives you the tension. It needs to be tight need. but loose. <laughs> <laughs> loose but tight. Yeah so over through the stitch and I know I've gone through both because if you didn't you would get this sort of business going yeah. on. You'd get a hole or a, a big loop a big loop. So if you did the stitch on that, that's just a double, you would get a big Yeah, so big you know you've done, so you've done it. Yeah. And the joy of crochet is it's really uneasy to unpick. I've got to unpull them anyway so I can show you the bobble. So it's just like that. Easy. Oh message from Christine. I love crochet. I haven't done it for years. Um, the old lady next door taught me when I was 12. She was lovely. Yeah. Um, my, what's it? No. My late now, that was the one, <laughs> taught me to knit at age six. Oh, that's nice from Christine. Well, mine yes, was, well, my, um, who, which one taught me? I think my nan taught me to crochet and my auntie taught me to knit all the other way around. Well, my mum taught them. me to knit about five. My auntie taught me to crochet when I was about nine, eight or nine, and my nan taught me to sew when I was ten. Oh, wow. Well, I was definitely under ten when I learned all of those things. Yeah. Because that's all, they, they knitted and, all of them knitted and crocheted all the time. They so did. if you were sat yeah. there, you had to learn. You did. You did. And you, and you wanted to. <laughs> and I wanted, wanted something to anyway, to do, didn't I know. You? And then I knitted no. mainly for years, didn't do lots yeah, of crochet. Yeah, me too. But then you kind of, I don't know, I came back to it. I knitted for years and then when I found sewing, mm. uh, you know, being a teenager, you just wanted yeah, I'm trying something to. different. I know, I always else, did a bit you? of both. Yeah, a bit of both, but probably more knitting than crochet. And then crochet I found again later on. So I'm going to do a bobble now. Okay, do a bobble okay. and then we'll do the bag. Okay, so we're going over the hook, into your stitch, engaging the yarn, pulling it through, yarn over, but this time just through two. And we're going to leave that one on. So that's the one you started with, that's the one we've just made. So it's yarn over again, into your stitch, engage it, pull it up, yarn over, through two, leave it on the hook. Over, in, engage, over, through two, leave it on the hook. And you do that until you've got six on, that, on your Oh, okay, so you just pull hip. it through two. two. Yeah, so it's over, still go over first, into your stitch, pull it through, over through two until mm. you've got six here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So now all we're going to do is over, and I, I'm creating tension here because if you just go like this, they're not all going to go through. <laughs> so I'm pulling down on the work right. and pushing away with my hook to create the gap in your stitches so that I can just go like that. Ah. I pulled it straight through. 
and then so is that pulling it down yes so just to create that tension okay. to open the stitches and then i'm going to over my hook straight into the next stitch just with the half treble which is up through those three oops there and that is your bubble popping out there so it's all those stitches yeah into See, one and stitch. it's funny isn't it because that looks like you've done something complex absolutely yeah but it's just lots of stitches in one place yes and they're all in line so mm. you'll know if you've missed one or one's just slightly off you've counted but five you know stitches what if they're in not four. in line don't worry about it because yeah. the pattern could be that they're not in line yeah couldn't it? You can do them random if you wish. If you wish. I mean, obviously, on like the real it. thing, that look, they're in line. But you could have them different, yes. should you want. You could. Right, and so that's the... offset them, don't they? So yes. But the the great thing is, is it's very quick to undo. So you'll be soon be able to see if it's not in the right place. Yes. Just go back. Right, next one we need to talk about is the bag. I love the bag. Okay. Lots of love for the bag. Oh, this bag comes with a free stripology ruler. <laughs> Well, the floor manager found that and I thought it was perfect. Perfect, look shape. at that. Gives it a bit of shape. Yeah. Good size, isn't it? <laughs> it's not that gorgeous. I tell you what, these are all, all the rage on High Street, aren't yeah, they? Very much so. Very much so. So you've got two sides done in. This is similar. I'm not quite sure if it's called the arcade stitch or is it just similar to the arcade stitch. But you've got all these nice arches. This going around. beautiful, isn't it? And this is so on trend. Yeah, see, that, and that's because Hannah loves it. <laughs> so yeah, what do we get in this one? The colour. beach bag. So we it. get 10 balls of cotton candy yarn Ooh. in mint, which yeah. is quite a lot, isn't it? It is, because you use two strands together. Oh, I so see. that also means your hook size is 5 mil to give that denser, stronger no. um, fabric that you need for a bag. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot Hannah, you've got it on no, there. No, Hannah's going, can you actually show people it rather yes. than just wear right. it? <laughs> no, no. Look, so what you've got, you've got this lovely stitch, whatever, we're going to find out what it's called, just one moment. Um, it doesn't say what the stitch no, is called. No, Some people call them shells. These pieces are called yeah. shells. Um, if you were to find this in a stitch encyclopedia, that's where it might say arcade stitch, but um, Arcade. Hannah says it's called Art Deco it Cinema is. Stitch. Oh, okay. That's made up, <laughs> Hannah. Um, but it could be. <laughs> so you've got the front and the back that's made with this lovely Shelly type stitch. Yeah. And then you've got a gusset, which is always all the way great. Around. Love a gusset yeah. all the way around because that gives it its depth. Same on that side. And then you've got the handles. Now, because it's cotton, it's not going to stretch. No, it's not going to have it? the elasticity. It doesn't give, but it's going to be strong. It is lovely. And, and look, again, in the and machine. when you made yours, you will look exactly like that. It would. It will. You will. Most definitely. Well, your bag will. Yeah. Now, Hannah, you will look like that. Well, as in, you will look cool and sophisticated <laughs> and trendy. And everybody will say, oh, I like And everyone goes, where did you get that oh, from? And you go, oh, what this? <laughs> oh, yes, I made that. Oh, yeah. I had it years. <laughs> <laughs> As you do. As you do. Yeah. But, I mean, again, this it's easy rather than beginner. So yes. this might be your next project. But I always think, yep. you know, do you know what? If you really want to make this and you're determined, yep. then just do it. You've just got your chains, your double crochets and your trebles again. So, so really, it's a bit like knitting. If you can knit and purl. Yes, that's it. You can do the rest. It's what you do with those stitches. And right. you've only got Are one. Are you going to show yes. us how to do it? Well, oh, we've got enough time. Yes. Good, good, good. Fantastic. This is a nice one. So. Let me just move my stripology bag out of the way. On out here. So, mm -mm. here we go. So this, this row, you're creating the um, chains to put all those stitches in to make that shell. So it's right. Um, and the pattern will tell you to miss five stitches, do three chain, miss five stitches. So it's one, two, three, four, five, and then do one double crochet in here, which these are sets of seven trebles in there. So it's the middle three that you're going to use. So your double is just the same as we did before. You're going into the stitch, engaging the yarn over the hook and through the stitch. And that's your double straight away in your stitch. <laughs> you're prancing. Mm. Yeah, just a Hannah. <laughs> She's like, are you keeping this? And I thought, no one's watching this while I'm going. <laughs> so we've got three, three double crochets there on the top of that shell. And we're just going to do a three chain. 
So it's three doubles, three chain, and we're going to miss five again. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to double crochet in one, two. Oh, I see. So it's got three. like a foundation. Yes. So this is like your foundation row to create the areas for all your shells to go in. And, and working with um, two strands is not difficult. The worst you can do is, is that, and then you'll know you've done it, so you'll just undo that part of the stitch. Maybe. Oh, so, it's, so do you just like have two balls on the go? Yeah, yeah. Right. You do. Okay. That's the easiest way to do it. So then it's just three chain, you miss five, it says you five stitches, it's actually two trebles there, a double there, and two trebles there. But it's you will get into the pattern of it. So there's three. And it's a four row pattern purely because of what you have to do at the ends. Oh, okay. Okay. So on one end, you might just have to do a double in the last stitch. On this end, I'm probably going to have to do a one chain and a treble. Oh, so that's just to keep the edges straight. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. No, that so makes I'm going sense. to do one chain and a treble stitch in the last stitch, which is there because I did a, a chain stitch at the beginning of this row, the previous row. So I miss all my trebles and I'm going to do a treble down here. There, and your treble is through, let me show you how to treble something like that, over into your stitch, bring it through. So you've got three again, mm. over through two, over and through two. So then we're just turning. Mm. And I don't let go of anything when I turn. I just flick it over. Right, yeah. just keep hold of it. A lot of people time. will go, oh gosh, I don't know what I'm doing, and then they're right mm. and wrong will be wrong. Literally, you just have to do that. So at this point, I've got to do three chain because I need the height because I'm doing trebles this mm. row and not doubles. And in here, I've got to do sort of um, half of a shell because, as you can see here, yeah, to you're keep the alternating the, yeah. over the the shells you do like half a shell so okay. I'm just going to do three trebles in this first one chain space because I did a one chain there that's what they're calling a one chain space right so over in there gauge the yarn over through two over through two and it'll tell you to do three of those and one of the things I like about giving um, or giving working with two strands is it gives it a bit more texture and you know you can see things more the more stitch definition so then it'll tell you to do one double crochet it will tell you to miss one stitch double crochet into the next stitch which is the middle one of those three that you did on the previous row so you're just going to go in there pick up both parts of the V as normal mm. engage your yarn over your hook and through your two, and that's your double crochet stitch. And then in this three chain space, because we did three chain on the previous row, you're going to do seven trebles to create that fan. Oh, and you literally okay. do it straight in there. You don't do any chains or anything. So you increase the in. stitches to do that and then you bring yeah. them back again in the next so row. So when you do seven, the double crochet anchors that treble and brings it oh, down, fun. which creates the fan. So when I do my first one here, it will slant to the top of that little double crochet. Yeah, no, that makes so sense. So by the time I've done, shall I do them quickly or slowly? No, do them quickly. <laughs> so um, in this kit, you get 10, 50 grams. So you've got 500 grams of cotton candy yarn in mint. You get the crochet hook and the pattern. And it makes this beautiful. I tell you, it's quite heavy, this bag, isn't it? It is. So but lovely. But it doesn't create a weight on no. the shoulder. It's lightweight but heavy. Yeah, you know just, you say well, things earlier. It's substantial. <laughs> That's the yes. word. But isn't that beautiful? I mean, you could use it to carry for the beach. You know, I feel like you could sort of even use it to do your knitting and your crochet out of. Yeah, it's, it's a good. beautiful bag. You could line it if you wanted Absolutely. to. Absolutely. But isn't that gorgeous? So thirty nine ninety nine. I mean, it is a designer piece. It's the sort of thing you'd find in one of those high end designer stores. Yeah. Crochet bag, very Absolutely. expensive. Yes. Way more than thirty nine ninety nine. And with it being with a loads of you coming in to check that one out. If you are a beginner to crochet, then learn the stitches, learn the double crochet and the treble. This really is just the next step on from that. And honestly, yeah. honestly. Doing rows of crochet is easier than doing rounds of crochet. Oh, it is. 
yeah most if you're because... if you're new to it and then it's just picking up those skills right yeah, while you finish that off, I'm going to talk about the knitted blanket. Okay. Because we are very low in stock and I don't want you to... Oops. I don't want those of you who've got it in your basket. Sorry, I'm just... That's all right. I'll just, <laughs> I'll just move out your way. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> just throwing blankets around. <laughs> you just finish that. You? Yeah. You just carry on and I'll just throw this blanket over you. <laughs> Maybe you could crochet... Oh, Collector of Northumberland just messaged you saying you explained that so well. Oh, really? Despite oh. having a blanket thrown over you. Yes, <laughs> you did. That's Thank nice. you. That's very nice. Thank you. It's always nice to have some feedback, isn't it? Well, it is, and it's seeing it yeah. that makes a difference. Yeah. Now, oh gosh, look at the time. Right, so the blanket, the blanket, 59.99, 20 balls of yarn in that, in this. You get the free circular needle, which will save your wrists. Um, they don't normally come with these kits, no. but this is only garter stitch, but it's lovely because you've got a little bit of picking up and then you change colour, so it's a lovely thing. Um, now, the tops are knitted. Now, we have yep. these in a variety of sizes. So, now, the way it works is we've got a different kit for each size, so you just need to choose your size. So, obviously, yes. each kit has a varying amount of yarn. So we'll just play these through. So yes. again, this is in the cotton candy. It is. Um, and like we said, with the cotton, um, garments made in cotton, although you'd think they were heavy, they're not. They're very lightweight. And like we said, it takes the heat away from your body. And they breathe. So yes, exact, that's exactly what it is. I think um, and the word breathable on my <laughs> notes. And also, it, um, <laughs> it has a lovely drape to it. Yes. That's what's really nice. Yes. So this is a short-sleeved um, jumper. Yep. Only in two pieces, a front and oh, back. Okay, so no addition of extra sleeves. Not on the sleeves. You've just got a nice the ribbon. Just on the nice sleeves. rib. Yeah, that I think that is done as as you finish this off. But on the sleeves, it's done extra. So you would pick up the stitches on the sleeves and just do the rib. So this is a lovely item to have for a summer holiday because it'll be mm, nice and cool definitely. over a pair of shorts or a long pair of um, wide leg trousers would look really nice, or over a skirt. And then obviously, you know, if it gets a little bit cooler, you can because it's lightweight, you can easily pop a cardigan over mm -hmm. it. So we've got it available, all in this, all in blues, but in a variety of sizes. Um, now, if you have a look on the website on sewingstreet.com and click on watch live, we do talk there on about the details on the sizing. You can then mm. see which size you are and pick the one that you want. Um, these come with free needles. The other top, this one is knitted in mint green. Um, again, now this is a three quarter length sleeve. Yes. Again, knitted as two pieces, front and back. Well, um, it These isn't. aren't separate. It's, I think it's in one big piece. Oh, really? The way I've read the instructions, because the two stitches are going... Oh, I see. So, so it's going all the way around. Horizontal. Ooh. So you will start, I think, here, and then you knit across this way. Or in fact, right. you start with the sleeve. And then you knit across. And then... Um, now, in the um, if you, again, if you want to see the different sizes, obviously, because there's different amounts of yarn in each size, go on to sewingstreet.com, click on Watch Live, and all the details are on there. And that's in this beautiful shade of mint green. But, yeah, yeah quite clever that it's knitted from side yeah. to side. That goes from um, extra small to 2XL. Oh, OK, so, so a really, really kit. big size yeah. range. Fantastic. Um, have we covered them all? I think you've got a poncho, haven't you? You've got the lavender poncho. <laughs> there is a poncho as well, but I don't know where that is. We didn't have a sample. Oh, we didn't have a sample, no, but we have got is... the kits of the poncho available. Yeah. Um, again, that it's in this lovely cotton candy yeah. yarn in lavender. Yeah. And this is a beginner project. And that's large, medium and small. And if you go onto the Sewing Street website, you'll be able to see more details of that if you want to choose one of those. Now, if you want to check out on this knitted blanket, be very, very careful. We are in single figures of this. So if you want to get that, you need to get it mm. checked out. You haven't got a lot of time to decide because mm. we've had loads of you in baskets. And yeah. what happens is as soon as we come off, everyone checks out. So if you want to have this, um, it makes the perfect gift for you or someone else. It is. Or a lot of yarn in there for your money. Lots of lots yarn. Of there is mm. 20 balls. A lot of yarn for your money. Right, um, thank you very much, Mandy. Thank you. It's been it's lovely been having you again. <laughs> um, so, coming up tomorrow, on tomorrow's show, who's presenting? Is it John tomorrow? <laughs>
How they can't find the menu. I think it's it, John, tomorrow. I'm sure it is. Um, he is with Samantha Williams at 8 o'clock doing the Grace Cutie Quilting Frame. Um, at 9 o'clock, Kim Suleiman from Six Penny Memories will be him in, with him. And at 10 o'clock, he's joined by Rebecca Harrison, who's going to go through the Essential Guide to Pattern Making book. 11 o'clock, Kim will be back with him from Six Penny Memories. And at 12 o'clock, he'll be finishing off with Rebecca Harrison making the Fran Pajamas from Closet Core Patterns. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will be back with you next Monday, which is Bank Holiday Monday. Um, oh, it is, isn't it? It is. So oh, I will God. be, the joys, I will be with you for Bank Holiday Monday. Have a wonderful Easter and I hope you eat lots and lots of eggs. Chocolate. <laughs> Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street.